Good morning. Now, which day of the week is it today? <laughs> I have, you know, I have no idea whatsoever. Hang on, it's Thursday, isn't it? Wednesday. It's Thursday, which is one better than Wednesday, isn't it? It is, yes. Because that means that we are nearly there at the weekend. I know I'm not Carol. <laughs> I know. I've noticed that too. Um, good morning. It's lovely to have your um, company here at Jewelry Maker. It's Thursday morning, everyone. I haven't done JM for ages and ages and ages. Well, welcome back. I am so glad you're here, Hayley Kruger. Oh, I'm I am I haven't so seen... Glad. In fact, we haven't worked together for... Not in this building. Not in this building no, for years. No, it was, it was back in t'other place in gorgeous <laughs> little ivy house yes. with the deer running through the yes. ground. Oh. And here we are right now. I've literally come from next door an hour ago. <laughs> well, your commute's been quite far. Yep. Yeah. I had all of three steps to go from one <laughs> studio to another. Um, listen, we have got... Uh, my name's Derek, by the way, if we've never met before, because uh, I'm cheap and I'm right at the end of the list. And they called this morning. I was like, oh, OK, all right then, that's fine. Oh, I wonder where everyone had gone then. <laughs> They're back, it's fine. Tom is in control today, yeah. thank heavens. We've got the top team at work. Let's go to the gallery uh, because we've got Tom and Ollie. Thank heavens for them because I will literally... What will happen today, by the way, between now and about 11 o'clock? I don't know what happens at 11 o'clock. I think <laughs> nobody knows what's going to happen at 11 o'clock. You could have Scott here at 11 o'clock yet. But basically, Tom will say words in there and I will repeat them. That's it. That's all that's <laughs> going to happen for the next three hours. And, Hayley, we've yes. got... Right, we've got all of these amazing, amazing little kits. Yes. I want to know, I want to know this here. How do you transform this here? What does it become? A ring. How though? Yeah, well, we'll bend it into shape. Oh my word. And we've got all kind of different shapes of these. Exactly, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you can do so much with it. It's a blank canvas, basically that you can texture, which is what we're going to be spending time on. Yeah. Uh, you could stone set, which I'll talk about our, uh, some of the previous samples I've stone set in the past. Uh, or you can keep it plain and keep it nice and polished. So it's... Amazing. It's a beautiful signet rings in different shapes. I've never seen anything like it which in Jewelry very Maker, much... so I'm super excited. And we've got all the little burring tools, yes. haven't we? Yes, so they come that in go different... on the Dremel. They go on the Dremel and they come in different shapes and they're mm -hmm. going to give us interesting texture. Oh. Yes. That's amazing. So are all three of these different then? Yes. Well, no, the three in one pack are the same. OK. But we've got variations in different kits. I can't wait to see what they do. <laughs> that's amazing. Listen, you've got to stick around because that's all going to be happening in nine o'clock, right? Yes, it is. Oh, good. So that's only an hour from now. <gasps> oh, my crikey. Right, now, it's so serendipitous that I'm here this morning because I've just done an overnight shift at Gems TV. So I was on air from three till seven this Doesn't morning. Doesn't he look good? <laughs> <laughs> it's five layers of makeup. That's all it is. I promise you. I promise you. Uh, it's like fright night under under here. Let me tell you. If you want to know what death warmed up looks like, I'll take the makeup off later <laughs> and show you. Um, at Gems TV, we talk about the word paparaccia quite a lot, but quite often when we say the word paparaccia, it's usually followed by coloured paparaccia coloured quartz mm. or some gems are, are, are sort of given a given a nod to, to paparaccia um, to try and increase their value but let me tell you here at Gemporia we have a huge 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 insistence that paparaccia has to be a unique combination of three things it needs to be orange, it needs to be red, and it needs to be pink. And it needs to be all of those things in once. Or, and, and this comes from Steve Bennett, our company chairman, who you know set up um, Gemporia as a company over 18, or oh, coming up 18 years ago. And he said from the very, very start, we are not having anything pa called paparaccia unless it has that unique blend of those three colours. We've only got... Today, as our deal of the day, paparaccia sapphire. Notice there were no other words in that sentence. Paparaccia sapphire, not paparaccia coloured, da, 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 which is fine and acceptable because stones can be made to look paparaccia, but there is only one original, so desired um, paparaccia. And we, oh, do you know what I've forgotten, Tom? That book I gave you, I've forgotten to bring it with me. The price tags, 
for Paparaccia loose stones in the industry, and I've only got information for 2021, are that we could be talking for some of the higher grades of gem quality Paparaccia sapphire, something like six to eight hundred dollars per single carat piece, which is amazing. It was Princess, was it Princess Eugenie? Yes. Yeah whose engagement, and I found this really bizarre. I only found this out this morning. I mean, I've been talking to you about gems on telly for 15 plus years now. I had no idea one of the royals, because it's a really kind of, it's a bit of a curveball for it an engagement, is really, isn't it? Yes. Massive curveball, curve yeah. but it's one of, the, um, one of the royals has a paparaccia sapphire as their engagement ring. Yeah. And I don't know many people that have coloured gemstones as engagement rings. I know Tanzanite's very, very popular as an engagement ring. Angeline, who's one of our presenters at GEMS, has a, a Tanzanite engagement ring. Other than blue sapphire. Yeah. That's, uh, you know, what Diana had and Kate's got. Yeah, yeah. But this is, like you said, a curveball and a, a bit of a quirky one, isn't it? Uh, you, you can search where you like, by the way, um, to find jewellers that have any paparaccia sapphire. It's just not going to happen. Actually, we only have, in the, we looked on the Gemporia website this morning, and I think we only have, was, is it three pieces of actual paparaccia jewellery, I think it is? On, on, oh, no, it wasn't. It was paparaccia. Here it is. Here's the gem guide. So the gem guide for paparaccia uh, corundum unenhanced, even looking at, uh, at middle grade one to two carat pieces, 200 to $300. I mean, uh, incredible per single carat. Um, we've got it as our deal of the day today. I don't know how we've managed to do it, to be honest, quite frankly. I have no idea how we've been able to do it. Uh, we've got paparaccia, um, yeah, no, we have got a couple of paparaccia sapphire pieces on our, uh, on the Gemporia website, full made up pieces of jewellery um, at four or five hundred pounds and a bracelet there, gemstone bracelets. It, in, on Gemporia, gemstone bracelets are becoming less and less and less as time goes by. Anyway, listen, that's at 10 o'clock this morning. But the good news is, the, the reason I'm drawing on about it now is because it's on pre-order right now. I don't know who sourced it. I don't know how it was sourced because I'm a late addition. I'm like a supply teacher today. So I don't know who sourced it and how. But all I know is that we've got it. How many have we got, Tom? Yeah. Right, we have 150 chances. Lord knows how. <laughs> And it's going to be amazing for jewellery making because you are going to be able to create actual paparaccia um, sapphire jewellery, not paparaccia looking this, paparaccia-esque or Ella or whatever. You've got the real deal coming up for you as our deal of the day at 10 o'clock. It's going to be amazing. Right. We also have... I can't hear you, Tom, properly. I don't know why for some reason. Oh, uh, hello. That'll be why. Right. In this hour, we have got... Our jade nuggets, which are absolutely, mm, 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 look at you. And we've got nephrite wheels as well, which I'm sure, Hayley, that you are dying to actually get your hands on because <laughs> they're absolutely gorgeous. They're, they're almost like an emerald. Oh, yeah, they are. They are superb. And I do believe it's all absolutely completely natural as well, which is brilliant. Right, now I can't hear anybody. Hey, that's good. Right, let's start with... Moonstone. Oh, I've got you. I've got you. That's not Moonstone, is it? Uh, oh, this one. Oh, wow. OK, right. This is, this is Moonstone, <laughs> but not as you know it, Jim. Look at this. Wow. Oh, my crikey. Now, this is super, super exciting, isn't it? This is like a big summer maxi dress. Of yeah, a, this of, is a Glasto special, this one. Right? Oh, yeah, true, yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, Amelia, who's on, on Gems right now, she's about to nip off to yeah, Glastonbury um, tomorrow for the weekend. Her other half's already down there setting the tent up. <laughs> Tell you what, she's got him well-trained, isn't yeah. she? Yeah. Get you down there That's first. You, you do can it. do the grubby bit, <laughs> and I'll just come and enjoy the glam bit and enjoy the music. Uh, right, OK, message already. Good morning, Derek. What a surprise to see you on JM, considering you only finished on Gems <laughs> at 7 o'clock. I know, I know, it's fine. Some people just can't say no, you see, that's, that's the problem. Susan is speechless, completely and utterly speechless. <laughs> I am as well. Uh, right, listen, $29.99 is not your price tag. I love this. I just think this is really, really 
This is going to get you inspired to make jewellery as well, isn't yes. it? Something like this. It's a good strand if you want to try something new for the first time. Mm -hmm. Stretch your bracelet, one bead on an earring drop. That looks amazing, actually. Yeah, it does, actually, really doesn't it? Really vibrant, yeah. If I was off to Glasgow right now, I could rock that very yeah. easily, especially with this shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <gasps> Hang on, we were at $29.99 just a moment ago, weren't we? Right, $12.99, right. Go, 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 go. Uh, 75 carats in total. That's got to make you happy, isn't it? That is beautiful. £12.99. Right, next we go for Praseolite, some green amethyst. Oh, my word. Do you know, I have to say, I have to say, I live in North Yorkshire and I uh, quite often have my nose pressed against the jeweller's windows up the posh end in North Yorkshire. And I've seen praiseolite and uh, regular purple amethyst set into gemstone rings, maybe three or four carats in a single stone set into gold. And you can be, and I honestly, I've got a picture on my phone somewhere, gemstone rings in gold, four and five thousand pounds wow. with the equivalent of one of these larger stones in the center of this strand in it. I honestly, I need to go back to that jeweler and see if they've still got those jewelries. But listen, jewel, uh, those pieces of jewelry in. But you know that that kind of thing is not going to be in a window if there's not a customer somewhere that's prepared to pay that price because yeah. you don't waste time filling a window full of, full of things that won't sell. Yeah. You just don't, no matter how good a jeweler you are. You're not, your window space is your real estate, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. Okay, now, Praiseolite is just gorgeous because it has a really, I'm going to try and put some skin tone just so you can see that light, soft sage um, within it. And it is such a valuable gemstone. I've got a family member who has a pair of green amethyst earrings and they are literally, what, two, three carats uh, each. And I know that her husband paid over 200 pounds for the earrings. Well, listen, they're beautiful. And I'm not knocking it, and I never told him while he was alive. Never said, I never told him. But being on a channel like this, it makes you appreciate just how ridiculously low yeah. our gemstone prices are. Um, Susan, what I was trying to say uh, was it was a great pleasure to see you both. Been far too long, Derek. Do more JM shows, hopefully after sleep first, though. Yeah, that's sensible. probably quite a good idea, hasn't it? <laughs> uh, Mandy. Ah, uh, oh, so lovely to see you on JM again, Derek. Will you be making along with anything by chance? Oh, oh, well, only if, if, if I'm allowed to. I could do some, could I, could I do some, um, some marking, some texturing oh, later? Oh, yes, I'll get you to do some of that. All righty. Do you know what I was going to ask you as well? Because, um, you know, uh, in our house, I'm not the talent, talented one. My other half is, is a sculptor and sculpts in marble. <gasps> Would, would that, those texturing tools work for that? Because we've got a big Dremel and all the uh, twisted yes, bit. Uh, yes, it probably does. But he, I uh, suspect with marble you need to add a bit of water. But I'm uh, not sure okay. he might know. Wet and dry. Yes. Right, where should we go next? Ta-da! Oh, gosh, look. Look, look, look. Yes, it does, doesn't it? It's like grape bubble gum, isn't <laughs> it, from our yes. childhood. It's yeah. come back. Ah, that's beautiful, isn't it? Really, really lovely, deep intensity of colour as well. I don't know a lot about Lepidiolite, actually. It doesn't appear very often, does it, Ooh, actually? I no. Like Where's it come from, Tom? Where's it come from? Oh, Brazilian. Absolutely natural. Gorgeous. It's very like, fruity and juicy. It's yeah. almost like you feel like you could squeeze it and taste the juice and it would taste gorgeous. Uh, £14.99, if you love those. Nice big rounds to work with as well, aren't they? 9.8 to 10 millimetre round. So you would only need one or two of those as a centrepiece um, in a nice necklace, be absolutely gorgeous. Or for a bit of a drop earring, maybe not that long a drop. <laughs> uh, next up. Here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look, they're all so lively as well. Now, we haven't seen these since February. And what I want to do is take you down the strand because quite often what happens when people sell strands of Labradorite is there'll be one or two goodies and there'll be lots and lots of duffers along the way. But actually, I don't know, I mean, I'm not sure you can, see. yes, you can. But look, I'm looking all the way down this strand and I'm seeing nothing but the most gorgeous color play that you will want to enjoy from this gem. <gasps> what a treat. And we've not had it for how long? February. Wow. We February? actually haven't had as much Labradorite in general. No. 
It seems to be becoming rarer. No, but I think actually, if you think about it, uh, because the price price of everything has gone a, a little bit lulu, mm. then people are heading towards, they're kind of coming down the scale. I mean, we've been talking in Gemporia about the certain grades of diamonds that we're not buying anymore because yes. the price has shot up by over 50%. That, that has us looking right the way around the yes. inventory at the colour gemstones and saying, well, where do we go? Where do we go? And so suddenly, Labradorite steps up yes. the staircase of desirability. And you want to get these now while they are. And listen, I'm not telling you, I'm never here to tell you, but what I would say right now is that would be a very, very wise investment because like everything, the price of these gemstones, I mean, you just think about logistics of getting things around the world. Just think about that for a second and the, the price increase in that. So even getting these strands to us, our buying power might be really, really good, but actually getting them around the world is just not as easy as it used to be. In fact, very, very tricksy. Um, and parts of the world just suddenly become very, very tricksy, just like that, all of a sudden. Right, next up, I have... Oh, oh, do I need to give that to you? Oh, really? Oh, very Is that good. what you meant, Tom? I can't hear oh, okay. him, so I'm not sure what he's saying. Oh, OK, Hayley can't hear you. Should she be able to? Oh, she can't. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, that's fine. I can be a go-between, that's fine. I don't mind. She can't hear anyone, can you? No. No, she can't hear anyone, apart from me. And that's because I'm sat next to her. Now, check this out. Look at how beautiful these are. Now, are these microfaceted? Oh, no, that's two millimetre, isn't it? These are three millimetre, but they are incredibly sparkling, aren't they? Really gorgeous. The colour's amazing. I love it. Do you know what? I only have one piece of coloured gemstone jewellery in my life ever, and I bought it from Steve Bennett as well. Um, and it is a garnet sterling silver ring. What you don't appreciate in the studio with garnet is when you take it out into the sunshine, oh my word, does it leap up. It leaps up in colour and it's gorgeous. Look at that, $9.99 and that can be all yours right now. But you'll need to be super, super quick because that has amazing sparkle. Now just think about that, just on a simple bracelet or some drop earrings because you've got lots and lots of sparkle and lots and lots of facets all the way around. Um, yes, and actually, coming up, we've got the jadeite nuggets that are coming up later on. Just think about those in combo with each other. You know, one, one big nugget and two or three of these garnet in between, and they would be superb. The more gemstones you have, the more inspiration you'll have. It's as simple as that. Because the more you've got, the more you can do. It's as simple as that. So that is coming up a little bit later on. In fact, it'd be rather nice with the nephrite wheels as well, actually, because look at the way that this strand has been spaced out. And you could go in with your garnets in between it and, and take that real sort of flora and fauna opposite. Oh, Derek, says Mrs. Wender in Oxfordshire. Hello. Uh, says, so great to see that you've, they've let you loose again. <laughs> I know, I know. See how desperate they must have been? They're back again. Morning, Derek. It's great to see you back on JM. Please do more shows. Oh, thank you, Marjorie. Uh, thank you for the three, three kisses on the bottom of your message. Thank you very much. Uh, the thing is, you see, um, because you start at eight o'clock, don't you? And I only finish at Gems TV at seven o'clock. So there's only an, only an hour in between. And I'm, you know, I'm past 27 now. <laughs> and I need my sleep, <laughs> honestly. Especially when it's hot. Yes. I just, I just want to hibernate. <laughs> Look at these, they're like little earthly worlds, aren't they? Now, clear quartz and optic quartz, I think, are always winners in jewellery because there's so much you can do with them, isn't there? They're just very, very satisfying as they are. Very, very colourful. Is there a little bit of fire coming through there? It's almost like they're picking up some light from around the studio, some colour from around the studio as well. It's beautiful. There's almost like little flashes of fire. Yes, there is. Fire. The blue. Yeah. That is super, super incredible. And the more invis invisible the threads you can get in there, in the middle, the more magical and mystical this is going to look as well. They are superb. OK, 19.99. No, 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 no. I didn't come here to have these at 1999. I haven't been up all night for that to go to 1999. Uh, 9.99. There you go. That's amazing. Uh, remember, you can check out as many times as you like. 
uh, for just 3.95 PMP all day long. I'm probably moving those too quickly actually, but there's so much sparkle. Um, we've only got five chances left. Karen in Worcestershire, go, 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 go. Make sure that you check out as quickly as you possibly can. Uh, Samantha, uh, and I've got four chances left. Be quick, um, because they are pretty amazing. Oh, I love it. You never tire of, of just seeing more goodies to play with, do no, you, in jewellery making? Especially when they've got a bit of sparkle. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, actually, to be honest with you, because uh, obviously I've, I've been with JM uh, uh, on and off for, oh, longer than I care to remember. I've got loads of strands of gemstones at home, and quite often, actually, I make decorations with them. Yes. I'll have them hanging outside. Yes, I'll make things the with them. Yeah, I'll make wire work Christmas trees and I'll use gemstones as the baubles yeah. and the decorations, you know, seasonally. Um, I think they go, and I really, really, I still do it, I promise you. I've got all my reels of wire um, up in my little, I call it an office. No work ever happens up there, it's all just play. So I've got my card making bits and pieces and I've got my jewellery making bits and pieces from when I was here first time around, all the uh, pliers and the wires and, and gemstones and, and I love them. And I've still got all of my, in fact, you know that I bought one of the big star buys with Scott when he was on uh, not too long ago um, in Ethiopian Opal because it's my favourite oh. gemstone and I love it. Right, what have we got? Oh, is it both of these? Ooh, okay. A twofer. <laughs> a two for in gorgeous pearls. Oh, honestly, it's that word again. It's that word. I just wish they wouldn't associate that word with pearls. It's so <laughs> wrong. There's nothing further from a pearl than a potato, Absolutely. is there? No. <laughs> it is funny. It is bizarre. Um, I love them anyway. Listen, um, pearls, you know, always hold their value. Always hold their value, don't they? They always have this perception of high value because you will always find somewhere where there is a necklace with a single pearl on it, which is multiple hundreds of pounds. Yes. And you, and you think to yourself, well, listen, that might be perfectly round and it might have a big name with it, but it's still several hundreds of pounds. And I'm watching every pound at the moment. I don't know about you. Because I look at every, every time I, I put diesel into the car and I'm just oh. like, don't say the number. No. Don't just let me tap. Don't say the number because I'll cry. Right, here we go. Oh, how much jewellery could you make out of these two strands would be my question to and you. And bridal jewellery. Yes. It's bridal season. So. It is again, isn't it? Yeah. Everyone's getting wed. And actually, weddings are getting more elaborate and more imaginative, aren't they, as well? So it's not just that the bride will have, you know, a tiara with some pearls now. She might have them all the way through her dress, through her, you know, through her, her day outfit, through her night outfit as well. You know what? Amazing. £24.99. I still maintain, um, I quite often go to Gibraltar. I used to work over there a couple of years ago, quite often. And that's duty free, right? So everything should be a lot cheaper, theoretically. And some things are and some things aren't because a pair of pearl stud earrings in a window are still 20 quid a pair. And I'm not so sure, looking at some of those pearls, whether they're actually pearls or whether they're possibly shell pearls. Oh. I know. And you just don't know, do you? Marilee in Arizona, good morning. Marizona? Marizona? <laughs> Arizona. Arizona. I don't know where I was thinking of. Although there is a place in Cornwall called Marizion. I may, I may have got it confused. <laughs> Wishing you were there. <laughs> oh, you were, you were telling me, Hayley, as well, the flower on my shirt is a, tell me again. Astralitzia. Astralitzia. Yes. Do you know I didn't even know that? Yes, well, I think there's a, two different types. But yes, that's the national flower of South Africa. Ah, there you go. See, I, I chose this shirt because there was something a little paparacchery about it. Uh, Maker Shelley, Alan, Paula, um, make sure that you're checking out as quickly as you possibly can. Right, next up. Ooh. Is that, is, that, is that these, Mr. Tom? Oh, I love loose gemstones. I'm such a magpie. In fact, I've just been talking to um, Matt Bennett, who uh, runs our Gem Collector channel, and he sent a bit of an email out a couple of weeks ago saying, oh, does anybody just fancy learning how to do things just so you can be on standby? And I was like, yes, absolutely, <laughs> that'll be me then. Because I've got to be on every one of our channels eventually. Yeah. Oh, look at this. <gasps> Is this allowed? Did Gem, did Gem Collector know about this? Because Alex and Emily would love this opportunity. 
And they'd be doing the stones individually, wouldn't they, pretty much? Yes. Or they'd be doing sure. them in pairs. And all the colours in that collection as well. It's amazing. And that could be your, your stash for months. Yeah. Oh, completely and utterly. And listen, when you get a green tourmaline that is as deep as some of the, um, the tourmalines that you've got here, bear in mind that green tourmaline, it's difficult to get any kind of decent carrot weight out of them because the crystals are so tiny and long and thin and skinny and... It's really difficult to get any yield out of them. Um, but actually, it satisfies our insatiable appetite for deep green gemstones because, of course, um, there, are, there are certain deep green gemstones that, you know, we, we don't have access to now that that will satisfy perfectly. How amazing. $12.99? Are, are there plenty of those, Tom? Oh, so I can't pop one in, in, in the pocket that I haven't got. <laughs> Darn. Right, where are we going next? Ah, uh, I've seen, this is very auspicious, this gem, isn't it, actually? Uh, lots of people have it for its purported healing powers, don't they, Selenite? Um, I saw on our Gem Aura selection, on Gem Aura, actually, um, Selenite wands. Yes. Which people absolutely love. And they singing find it... bowls and Selenite as yes. well. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. And it's a charging gemstone, isn't it? A recharging gemstone, um, it's described as, isn't it? For those people who, who love... Say again, Ollie? Oh, you leave it, you leave it to so. charge in a full moon, it apparently. It gives you energy. Oh, oh okay. amazing. I could do with some of that, let me tell you this morning. <laughs> I don't think the studio lights are going to do it, though. <laughs> let's, let's just tie that round my neck and see how we, we, how we get on by 10 o'clock. <laughs> Right, we have five chances here, and that is not your price tag. We're going to do a crazy one on this one. In fact, it's almost like the light of the moon within every yeah, single one is. of those stones, isn't it? It's quite beautiful. A little bit lunar, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it is a little bit like Tiger's Eye, actually, Ollie, isn't it? It's, it's almost slightly chatoyant, isn't it? Let's have a little roll, shall we? Let's have a little rock and roll. Oh, look at your price tag. Sorry, I... I'm so sorry, Tom. I completely forgot that no noise happens here when a price <laughs> changes. So it just passes me by completely and utterly. Um, $29.99, and we only have three of these. Two chances. I forget, on Gems TV, we have, we have music. So, so things like, even through the night in particular, a noise happens, which kind of makes me go, oh, something's happened. Um, but here, I forgot it doesn't happen. Uh, £29.99 pence for that. It is beautiful i think i think there should just be some kind of little noise <coughs> i think maybe someone should sneeze just in case at 29.99 marie good morning in south yorkshire congratulations we've got julie there in somerset we've got paula in greater london as well aren't they just very very different aren't they do you know what they remind me a little bit of you remember we used to have lunar cabs a million years ago and they, and they were kind of created, weren't they? They weren't a real thing. We, they were sort of like yeah. a, an impression of a chatoyancy, weren't they? This is all about like, like two moon-coloured lunar cabs back to back, isn't it? But they're real. And it's gorgeous real selenite. Oh, you're moving me over, are you? I'm, I'm going somewhere. Oh, I'm <laughs> going somewhere. Are you sending me away? I'll, <laughs> I'll see you later, Hayley. You're going to make a noise and a mess. Oh, OK, so that's fine. Yes. I'll be back for when you do, um, <laughs> in, in earnest, at 9 o'clock. But you and I have got a date over there because it's time for the sun to rise. <laughs> Aha! Look at that. Marvellous. Oh, isn't it lovely over here? It's nice and bright over here, isn't it? Right, OK, let's start. It's very bright over here, actually, although it's a lovely sunny day here, although uh, there are thunderstorms threatened. We've all got a thunderstorm warning today, although don't you feel like it needs it to clear the air a little bit? Don't you feel it's just been a bit like... Could just do with... A, a, the garden could do with it. Absolutely, the garden could do with just a, just a little shower. Just a passing thunderstorm, then off you go again. We'll have the sunshine back. Thank you. It's meant to be summer. Let's have one. Right then. We have, and, and, and again, we, this is not material uh, that should be on with, with even one of our regular presenters, to be honest with you, let alone 
this Herbert. Um, I, I feel like, is Jake in the office or is Dave in the office? They should be here right now uh, to present nephrite. Oh my word, completely and utterly natural material. You think about how workable this gem is as well for you. Those wonderful differential tones in colour. It almost, Hayley was right, it almost does look like you've literally got wheels of Zambian emerald. It really does. But of course, we know that with nephrite, we've got something which arguably its rarity is well, off, off the chart, as we know. We are so lucky when we, when we get any of these in the business. Oh, right. OK, apparently this is a problem. So Tom is telling me there are two early birds because look at the quantity that we have here. Apparently that's nowhere near what an early bird should be. 25 chances only to come on in. So that's why we're having a double early bird this morning. Well, that's fine with me. Listen, I, don't, I haven't got a clue what's going on. It's great, this. I'm loving it. And it's not my money. So we'll, we'll spend, we'll spend jewellery makers' money, shall we? Let's get you a deal and a half then, shall we? Are you ready? Start price first. Come on then. Oh, right, now that's where it should be. Took you a while, didn't it? Uh, okay, so 99.99 with only 24 chances available. Oh, crikey, right. Now I really feel in danger territory here. I feel like I should be um, cutting the strand in two already at 99.99. But I, I'm, I'm guessing I'm not going to, Tom. I guess you're the only one. Well, yeah, uh, for 99.99's worth, I feel I should sort of, I should have to sort of give you that much than, than, than the whole thing. Okay, we're going lower. Now, because these gemstones are, are quite, I mean, it's 300 carats all told. So you'd say that each piece may be, what, two, three, four carats in every single piece. You've got something there which is quite weighty as well. It's quite dense as a gemstone, which is fantastic. So if you're doing a bit of a stacker earring, you only really need one of these or two. And actually, hmm, I'm going to do the counting thing. Only because I think, even in terms of earrings, the way you would have these, I can kind of see it. You'd have smaller round pearls, maybe, um, and combine those with the nephrite. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 10, 12, 14, 16. Because this will give us a rough carrot weight as well. 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. I wish I could count faster. 30, 32, 34, 36. So does Tom. 38. 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 51. Don't quote me entirely. Um, uh, only one eye is fully open. But we are at 69.99. So what does that give the rough, the rough carat weight of each one then? 300 carats divided by 51. Oh, I was so wrong then. So it's actually the best part of six carats per piece. Right, let's look at jade prices then, shall we? So, skyrocketing prices since 2008, the Jade West groups, because this is Canadian um, nephrite, of course, um, has seen the price of Canadian nephrite jump by, ah, uh, not much then, 9,900% since 2008. And actually, do you know what? Do you know what? That, <laughs> if this started at a pound, we'd now be at, yeah, 10,000 pounds which would be ridiculous, wouldn't it? Because, because we wouldn't see anybody come in for £10,000, would we? We could basically say, OK, should we sell these one by one? Should we sell them one by one for £100? No, that would be utterly ridiculous, wouldn't it? Um, it's funny as well, because however old that information is, it's way out of date. Because if you think of what's been happening in the world over the last 12 months in terms of gemstones, all of, like, the, the rules of the world have changed. So things will have moved in quite a linear fashion over the years because gem companies forecast ahead, they plan ahead, their ranges are planned ahead, and that determines the popularity of gemstones. Well, and then there was this great big full stop in the world for two years. So all the demand dropped out of the jewellery market, and we, we carried on regardless, no matter what. We got some great deals in that time while everybody else stopped and the, and the doors were closed on every jeweller. But... Now the doors are open again and the ranges are being made again. Everyone's fishing in the same pond. 
and they are fishing furiously because the demand is back in the jewellery industry. Now, we have 19 chances. Oh, yeah, and the costs of everything involved in getting gemstones. Actually, the, 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 same, the same issues regarding staffing, regarding expertise, because I think a lot of people have made different life decisions after COVID as well. So people who were mining away gemstones have thought, you know what, I fancy going to paint with, uh, with my life. Why have I been underground mining gemstones my whole life? I'm going to go and paint. I'm going to go and fish. I'm going to go and do the things I love. I've got other career and life choices I can make. And a lot of people are doing that. And every industry is suffering that kind of, you know, it happens in broadcast as well. It's trying to find enough people to do the amount of things that you need to when people have so many different choices is difficult and therefore more expensive. Okay, I see a clock. Sorry, I didn't hear a clock, but I see a clock. <clears throat> and there are only 15 seconds left on it as well. So if you'd like to come and join us this morning, I, Tom, I've never heard him agonise so many times over a single price change. Is that, is that, is that because you know there'll, be, there'll have to be explanations? <coughs> Excuse me. Forty-nine ninety-nine. Now, listen, there, there are only a small number of chances. So if you want to come on in, I would love to see you. And I would love to see what you do with these as well. What ideas have you got for them? Please let me know. You can still... Can you email here? Oh, no, you, um, you message, don't you, via the website? That's right. You go to jewellerymaker.com or download the app. Or you can text us. Text JM Studio. And your message to 78070. Oh, we're still not done. Oh, Tom's playing with us. We're going lower. Second clock. Right, Maker, Lorraine, Susan, uh, Paula, Alan, Makers. I mean, make sure that you get yourself in on the phone lines right now. Do not be, do not be caller number 14. Because how often do you get this chance? And listen, can I just, can I just say something for a second? It hasn't taken half an hour to establish a price tag, has it? Because I didn't know this was coming. I didn't know I was going to be here. So let's take advantage. Take advantage of me while I'm here. Because I'm, do you know what I'm doing secretly? So I'm playing dumb so that we get a lower price tag. Don't tell them that. Don't tell them that though, will you? Listen, I'm just taking advantage of it. Listen, I haven't been in this business for 20 years and haven't learnt anything along the way. Are you ready? Half the chances now have sold out and gone. Do not be number 13. 29.99. Now, I'm telling you now, anyone else sat here right now would not be taking that price to 29.99. Scott Stone himself would not be taking this to 29.99. And, um, and um, I have no other explanation for that price tag because you know this shouldn't be. Let's show you that graph again as well, just, just for giggles. Since 20, uh, 2008, the price of Canadian nephrite, which you're looking at right now as your, uh, as your um, uh, what do you call it, early bird, early bird, has gone up. And 2008, that's what, 14 years ago. 14 years, blimey, imagine if you'd even invested in that mine in 2008. Imagine, imagine you'd, be, you'd be on your ranch somewhere now, wouldn't you? <laughs> down in the deep south with a big pool and everything. Oh, amazing, that sounds nice, doesn't it? Uh, please be quick, I've now got people up in their orders from one to two, and do you know what, I can't blame you. This is like you came to a show, isn't it? 29.99, you are gonna have to be very, very quick now though, because these are flying out of the door. I'm gonna leave the last five there, there, but please make sure that you do check out because we are over allocated now. Um, and that's only going to get, because what I, what, when I speak to you, it takes so many seconds for it to go up and down and, and come to you. So what we see on the screen happens some seconds later. So I want to make sure, fingers crossed for that one. Okay. Am I going to get away with it twice? I hope so. Okay, we are going to see a, a never seen before price tag now on jadeite nuggets. Now, please be un under no misapprehension. I am well aware 
of the value that this gem holds. And, and we are in danger of devaluing the gem by doing what we are about to do. But I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to play a numbers game with this one because we do have 300 opportunities. And I know that there are a lot of you who love Jewelry Maker. Um, if you look at the potential as well, the kind of things that you can do with a strand like this very, very simply and very, very easily and how satisfying that is. Now, I'm not suggesting... I'm not suggesting necessarily that you would commit that many pieces to a single piece of jewellery. You might, oh, hello. Oh, that, that'll be mine, that one then. Um, I'm not suggesting that you would commit that many gemstones to one single piece of jewellery. You might decide to be a little bit more sparing with your designs. Um, but when you see the price tag of this, you will be able, and remember, this is utterly natural material. Quite often, when you see jade in the marketplace, it has been dyed to give it a consistent colour right the way through its entirety. Ours is absolutely 100% totally natural. And you're looking at $29.99. Um, don't even wait for this one. What? Right. Okay. Okay. It's already busy on the phone lines. Apparently, we're nowhere near the price tag. Listen, I, I don't even know because I don't see jade jewellery at Gems TV. There are very, very limited collections. They're always accompanied. They're always in the primetime shows. You're not going to let me in the primetime show, are you, for heaven's sake? Um, they're always led by Jake or by Dave. And so, okay. Let's just wait and see. With 300 op odd opportunities, we're under 20. 50 of these have already left the building. Well, they're about to. And people are going to be upping their orders on this one as well. Oh, my word. Every time, every single penny that comes off this from now, we are just seeing more and more people coming in. And will be upping your orders as well from one to two, from two to three. There is no limit. Listen, I've got those 300, and once they're gone, they're gone. Okay. Right, you're forcing our hand now. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. See, I'm glad I was here. Uh, so many, honestly, my screen's going absolutely bonkers. Call us right now, 0800 644 655, jewelrymaker.com, jump on the app, grab two, put two in your basket right now. I would say everyone ordering right now, up your order while you can. Because again, this is keeping you the right side of price rises, isn't it? It's as simple as that. 14.99. Phones are going crazy. There will be, we're, we're trying to help out the call centre at the moment by holding back the price drop. Oh my crikey. One of the world's most auspicious gemstones. And so very, very difficult for us to source. It is only our established bylines over the years that is allowing this to happen. I now feel guilty. <laughs> I now. I now feel guilty. We're at £12.99. Have you ever seen a jadeite strand on air for £12.99? And actually, when you see this made up as well, Ollie made a very, very fair point. When you see the nuggets made up like that, you will select, you'll be selective about how you arrange them and whatever, but you can arrange them. So, I mean, that's the last thing they look like, isn't it? They don't look like nuggets. They look like they're all sized matched and, and, and pretty well color matched as well but with that lovely variation of colour as well that proves to you that they are natural. Because that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, listen, we, we could dye these any colour we like and, and make them one... Aren't you glad you were here this morning? Aren't I glad I'm here this morning? And that's purely by chance, by the way. Sorry, everyone. I, I hope... I hope I hope none of the other presenters are watching. So like, hang on a minute, he popped in for five minutes and look what happens. There are people up in their order from one to two, two to three, three to four. Please do be quick. 
I honestly do not know. I have no idea, by the way. I don't know where this is going. We did promise you the lowest price tag that you have ever seen, though. Honestly, I can see my screen out of the corner of my eyes, and this is incredible. Am I going to be hounded out of the building? Oh, that's true, actually. It does sit with you, Tom, doesn't it? Yes, that's very, very true. Okay, £9.99. pence. Watch that number absolutely fly out the door now. Listen, I caused enough queues overnight with a secret sale on Gemporia. I'm doing it again this morning. I will be handed out of this building, you know, just by the, uh, the team of warm-hearted individuals up there might, might just turn on me and say, get out, you, get out, get out. Get out, what are you doing? Oh, my word. Um, Angela has just upped her order to six. By the way, we're now approaching double figures on these. Uh, Norma, well done. A couple of these coming your way. Carolyn Cornwall. I tell you what, if you make jewellery as a business, as a way of life now, $9.99 to get a strand like this. I mean, it's like pennies from heaven, isn't it? You have us on in the background. And you're probably thinking, how, how, when, where, why? Listen, that's why we come to Jewellery Maker, isn't it? Because for us to sustain a business over a long term, you've got to keep coming back, haven't you? The more of you keep coming back and shopping with us, the bigger the buying power we have around the world, the bigger buying power we have around the world, the better deals that we can get. So hopefully, this should be self-fulfilling. Listen, I can't promise you you were ever going to get anything like this again. I mean, listen, that's, that's way above my pay grade here uh, within the company. And I have to tell you, oh dear... Oh, dear. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Right, please make sure. I'm just going to leave this on screen for you and keep checking out, keep checking out, um, because now we're going to see your talented work. It's time for the Wall of Fame. Oh, please don't tell me I've got a meeting with Colin later. Not again. Not in that room with the cactus in it again. I really hope not, honestly. Will you come with me, Hayley? Yes. Ex explain that it was just, he was tired, bless him. He was tired. <laughs> he forgot all his jade facts. Uh, right, anyway, listen. I feel like I'm at the news desk now. <laughs> don't suit being a newsreader, really. <laughs> My special correspondent on the other side of the studio is Hayley Kruger this morning. <laughs> oh, amazing. Right, are you ready to see all the talented... Yes, uh, please. Talented? This is my favourite part of Jewellery Maker, I have to say. Um, it's the Wall of Fame. Right, let's go to Abby first and see your beautiful ring. Ah, gorgeous. Oh, this will be right up your street, it really uh, is. I saw Hayley. It here and I was so pleased. It's lovely. Let me tell you what it is. Uh, dear Jewellery Maker, this ring was made with uh, 0.8 rose gold plated uh, and hematite wire and has a small gemstone in the centre. It was quite literally grabbed and held to the heart of the lady it was given to. She loved it and I hope you like it too. All, f uh, all from Jewellery Maker. Good luck in the draw to my fellow waffers. As ever, thanks JM. You creatively fill our worlds. Take care and stay safe. With love, Abby. Thank you, Abby. You are 379 and good luck. When do, when do we find out who's won? Wednesday. What's today? Thursday. Oh, Wednesday. Not long to wait then. Right, Gail next. Uh, Gail Troman, uh, please find my entry for this week. More pearls. A three-stranded necklace using fresh water. Oh, there's that word again. Potato pearl. Potatoes. Uh, with sterling silver spaces and micro-faceted zircon. Uh, all from JM. Good luck to everyone. Gail, it's beautiful. It's really, really lovely. Well done. Right, Claire's next. Other button. There we go. Uh, ah, yeah. we just had that strand, yeah. didn't we? The moonstone we strand. It, Claire, nice work. See, and see as well. She's used probably about what a third of that strand. Yeah. Amazing, Claire. Uh, here's my wall of fame entry for this week. One day I may win. Lol. Uh, coated moonstone and silver slider items, all from J N. Uh, J M. Even <laughs> what's J N? Is that a new <laughs> channel? That new channel starts next week. Uh, thank you, Claire. Good luck. Vera's next. Vera, Vera. Morning all at Jewellery Maker. This moonstone necklace was created using sterling silver findings. The blue sparkle comes from 
It is not highlighted in the image, unfortunately. Difficult to take pictures of things that sparkle sometimes, isn't it? Uh, but Vera, it's very, very nice. She says, good luck to all in the draw. Hazel's next. So you're 382, Vera. 383 is Hazel. Hazel says, during the Jubilee weekend, I won the crown jewels, which contained diamonds, sapphire, ruby, spinel, and pearls. Was that a competition then? Yes, it was. Oh, it was, was an it? amazing competition. Oh, that yeah. sounds all right, doesn't it? Yeah. See, it's always worth keeping an eye on us, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I used the pearls to make a stretchy using sil sterling silver spacers so I could see them when I wore them. Hope you like them too. Now to decide what else to make with my win, says Hazel. Well done. Good start, Hazel. Yes, beautiful. Well done. Uh, next, we go to Lorraine. And Lorraine says, oh, Lorraine. Look at those. That's I feel like fun. I need a bracelet like that today. Yes. That's and that's gorgeous. another kind of festival vibe going on there. Yeah, it, it's it got a little bit of an Aztec vibe yeah. going on in those as well. Uh, hi, jewelry makers. This week I've been playing with Matubo beads with instruction from Mark Smith. Really enjoyed making with these lovely beads and they are a lovely summer day make. Good luck, everyone. Enjoy the sun. Lorraine. Lorraine, they are superb. Do you sell those, Lorraine? That would be a good thing to do, wouldn't it? They are lovely. And finally this morning, from the Wall of Fame news desk, Gillian Thompson. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> Gillian. Oh, my crikey. Good morning, all. Uh, here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame, prompted by Mark's recent demos for carrier beads. I've added natural ruby rice beads and that I've had for a while and covered the beading thread with French wire. Oh, that's clever. That's amazing. All components from Jewelry Maker, of course. Hope you like love, luck and love to all. Says Gillian. Gillian, that's genius. Yeah, that's high end and a lot of work. Yeah. Gillian, can I have one of those to sell on Gemporia? Because that would be like a <laughs> that'd be like a three hundred pound buy, wouldn't yeah. it? I love it. Uh, well done everyone. So you will find out on Wednesday uh, who is the winner. And what's the prize? What's the prize? Is it hundred pounds credit? Oh, and there's two winners, is there? Oh, brilliant. So £100 for the um, top, top, top winner and £50 credit for the runner-up. That's all right, isn't it? What is, that? is that once a month or is that once a week? Once a week? Wow. Scott's getting very, 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 very generous, hey? Right. Sorry. Let me pop that in a pair of tweezers. There we go. We can see it better now. <gasps> Do you know how wonderful? How wonderful. Do you know what? There's so many people right now that need this as a message. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Just as a, yeah. oh, you know just what? To zen you out a bit. Yes. Yeah. When everything else in the world is just a little bit billy bonkers. Yeah. Do you know what? Yeah, this with that, you're so right, Ollie, actually. Imagine popping that on a bracelet with those jade nuggets, which mm -hmm. if you haven't checked out yet, please, please, please make sure. Would they? Ollie's just saying, if you, I've, see, I've never been to a festival whatsoever for various reasons that I won't go into. Um, but actually, um, Ollie said, if, if this kind of thing, a bracelet like this, with a charm like this, was on, uh, on a glass, Glastonbury, that would be a £100 buy. Really? Well, people are very loose with their... Uh, <laughs> Loose yeah. with their everything at Glastonbury, aren't they? <laughs> yes. Just let it all go, don't they? <laughs> yes, I'll have it. I love everyone. <laughs> One for everyone. We're going again. How much silver here? Does it say? Right, gram and a half of silver here. It's the work that goes into this, actually, though, isn't it? It's not necessarily about the gram weight. It's about how much detail there is in there. I love the little granulation there as well, because that's very, very reticent of the handmade artisan silver work. Um, sort of that we associate really with barley, don't we? Yes. Are you ready? And steady. You're not going to... <gasps> okay, I thought 9 99 would be good. 7 99 that's brilliant. Now your little bracelet can have a couple of these on it, couldn't it? That's really, really good. I love that. Do you know what? I was once given a little stand-up Buddha, and it was a resin... I think it was made out of resin. It was like silver-coloured, and I absolutely treasure it, just as a keepsake. Yes, because as you said, it's a reminder of keeping yourself calm. Yeah. That there's good stuff in the world. And also, I think that um, we don't really have enough tangibles in our world these days. Do you know what I mean? Everything's, everything's digital. Everything's got a battery in it. Everything needs recharging. 
Sometimes you just need to look at something that's evocative. Sometimes you need to just hold something that's evocative and it might remind you of someone. It might remind you of a place, of a time, of an event, of a, of a journey, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I've got a couple of friends at the moment who are really going through the mill health-wise, in and out of hospital, like there's no tomorrow. You can't be there all the time because you don't want to put them in anymore, yeah. you, know, you know, and there's all the regulations and whatever, and you want to keep them safe. Um, and yet, sending a card just doesn't feel enough. Yes. Do you know what I mean? You just think, I want to, I want to be there, but I can't be there the whole time because you can't, you know, just kind of stop your life, but you kind of really want to be there in a way that you can't be there. Does that make sense? Yeah. And listen, you don't have to. A, 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 a charm like this, you know, what, whatever your thoughts and beliefs are, you don't need to be a Buddhist to appreciate the, the calm and no. the Zen no. of a Buddha pen. It's an understanding all. of all of humankind. Isn't yes, it? it is. About togetherness, isn't it? Yes. About unity. Yeah. And I think that's really, really lovely. Oh, don't, I've, I've been up all night. Don't let me emotional. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be in tears. I'll be in tears on this desk in a moment. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, I'm holding them back now as we speak. Get the blue <laughs> roll. Uh, Seven ninety nine. It's a good price though, as well, isn't it? I think that's really, really sweet. And you can make a very, very nice little chainmail bracelet and add that to it very, very easily if you want to. It is delicious. Now, um, how many have we got left, Tom? Yeah. Oh, there's only about ten left. Right, time for us to go for a break then, because then. Then the talent is on the show, let me tell you. Then we dive into the fascinating world. And I've never seen this kind of jewellery making ever before. So I am, you'll be glad to know that I will be absolutely quiet as a mouse during that hour. I'll just be taking it all in and hopefully having a go as well. Will you stay? I hope so. We'll see you after the break. Jewelrymaker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelrymaker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelrymaker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. 
so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Oh, that's a bit funky, isn't it? It, it is. It was like some... It's a bit Star wars -y. It was a bit like a game of Space Invaders. <laughs> I, I, I was looking for the controls then. <laughs> that's very funky, isn't it? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the talent that is Hayley Kruger. Um, Hayley. Yes. This is exciting. It is, isn't it? I have it? never seen this type of jewellery making ever. Okay, well, yeah, we're doing lots more sort of silversmithing metal work here. So advanced, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, so what we're going to have is... Um, we kind of have two kits that help us get it started without having to do it from scratch. Mm -hmm. And it makes life so much easier. Um, so we end up, as a result of these kits, yeah. with a signet ring. Yeah. Uh, which blows my mind completely. And, and signet rings are and, hugely and on trend. Look, look. I mean, this is superb. Do you know, uh, and it was a, a, a thousand years ago now. Like, I'm so old. I'm older than everyone here, I feel. Um, I remember back in, oh, I can't even remember how long, a friend of mine made jewellery. I'm not even in touch with her now. It's somebody I worked with, but made me a sterling silver band with some gemstones around the outside. And I could never figure out how it was made. And I loved that, but I knew it was made. Yes. It didn't come from a store. Mm. It, it, there weren't thousands of other people that had it, and I treasured it. And you know what? You know what happens. You fall in love. Somebody else ends up with it and doesn't give it back. And then you chuck them. And you know, oh. <laughs> da, 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 da. and you never see it again. But I actually think there is such a trend for the kind of skill that is involved in something like this. Now, I don't know whether you've seen these kind of methods before at all. Um, if you've got a Dremel already, so much the better, uh, which is brilliant, but you don't need to have one. Um, no, well, with some of them you will need it, mm -hmm. with some of them not. So um, with a more deep, deep cut texture, mm -hmm. we will need a, a heavy duty motor. Yeah. So the Dremel will give us that. But we've also got kits with non-motor ones, battery, sort of like an electric toothbrush. Yeah. And those are for people who don't have a Dremel or, or who might be a little bit afraid of working with that kind of a tool. Uh, which will be me, because I, I, I will be a baby step. <laughs> so you're the perfect yes. presenter for me to be working Absolutely. With. Right. OK. Let's show you what we've got. Where should we start, Tom? One of this one. Should we go with this one? Oh, cushion. This one here. No, uh, are you a cushion? Are you a cushion? Yes, that's a square. Yeah, this is the cushion. Ta-da! Right, so this is, and I've never seen these before at all. So this is all sterling silver, yeah. and this becomes uh, the ring itself. And you're going to talk to us about shaping and forming. Yes, I'm going to um, borrow one of those when you've yep. gone through them, and yep. I'm going to shape and form them. There is soldering involved, which I'm not going to demo, but... Yep. Like you were the, you, the thing you asked me was, how does this become a ring? And so yes. that's what I'm going to show you. Yeah, because I'm like, well, at the moment, it's... it's, it's Yeah, it's, it's flat. It's like, <laughs> it's like somebody cut it in half and <laughs> trod on it. Uh, and it's like, well, how do I make that right? <laughs> so this is the actual... So what do we call this then? This is the ring blank. It's a blank. Okay, yeah. right, cool. So it is all Hallmark 95... Well, not Hallmarks, but it's stamped 95, of course, because that's 95 sterling silver. Now, it also comes with the three Dremel engravers, and these are the 1.6 millimeter engravers. Now you get three of these. Yeah. Um, well, why three? I guess because they dull over time they, if you're doing exactly a lot of Exactly that. Them. So yeah. they're actually called burrs. So any attachment 
Um, is it called a bur? B U R R. Uh -huh. And um, that, as so you said, that's a 1.6. So we're going to use that to make texture, but you can actually also use it to set a 1.6 mil stone. So uh -huh. it has multiple purposes, okay. and all of those things, you know, it's metal rubbing on metal. It's going to wear it out. So yep. three is there, you know, for your supply. That's good. Yeah. That's really really good. Okay, so this is the cushion shape. Um, I guess I should put it over a finger, really, so you can get a kind of idea of the... Yeah, sizable. You know, sizable. I mean, obviously, the, 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 the two wings on either side will be wrapped around to form the <laughs> ring. And, of course, that means that you can size it to any size that uh, you exactly. want Exactly. That's the advantage of yes, it. Yes, and that's a really good and thing. And if so you go to um, big suppliers, yeah. sort of, that people know in the industry, mm -hmm. that's often how you buy ring blanks, and it gives you the the ability to size it yourself and to finish it yourself as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you know what? I had no idea anything like this was ever available. No idea whatsoever. This is kind of real next step stuff. Oh, I'm going re to regret seeing this, I know, because <laughs> I've got a full-size Dremel at home. Right then. So, we're taking this price tag, first of all, to here, $79.99. Now, um, that's a price tag we will stay nowhere near, by the way. So you don't need to worry about that whatsoever. But we found this online, which is, again, I have to tell you, uh, signet ring style. Uh, I mean, we've, we've picked one that happens to be in, well, it says gold, gold for May. So that could be over... That could be over anything. It's not necessarily sterling silver. It, it, well, I think it, it will be. Probably will be. Yeah, sterling silvers aren't usually over. Um, but, the but, 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 I have to tell you, there are some big, big um, ring jewelers who will use a base metal and will use simulated diamonds yes. and would ask you a lot more for a lot less. I have to tell you, in a base metal. So. Oh, even even base metal, Tom. Yeah, I mean, even, even base metal. They will. And they'll simply uh, colour it. That was made of uh, recycled silver. Brilliant. That's a great way of using silver again, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and I guess you can amass the skills to recycle yeah. silver yourself Keep in the future as you go through your journey. Right, so let's see where we go to, because I'm fascinated by this. So it comes with the three burrs for the Dremel as well to do the text. <gasps> right. Now, what, what is, can I, can I just be geeky for a second? What is the gram weight of the silver? Right, it's four and a half grams. Okay, now, given the fact that this has been already been polished up for you yeah. as well. And shaped and formed and cast into that. Yes, that's made. incredible. Yeah. That's it, and right. you can really feel that as well. There's nothing worse <coughs> than actually, than something feeling like one of those not even base metal rings that came out of a, you know, yeah. one of those plastic eggs at the seaside. Do you know what I mean? You've <laughs> got something here. Well, let's just, you know, call it what it is. Um, here, you've got something which, you know, you can see from the profile there, you know, beautiful fit, already beautifully formed, so you haven't got that work to yeah. do. All you have to do is to form everything else. Hang on a minute. Not for this, though, Tom. Really? Okay. We're not done yet. We've got one, two. We've got three of these kits, haven't we, with different yes. shapes. This will be interesting. Yes, it will. Because the other thing is, is that each of those burrs, although if you go to that these suppliers again, yeah. if you buy one of those burrs of a different brand, yeah. you're looking at around about six to seven pounds each. Yeah. So if you've got three in your kit, plus all that silver, that will take you into that region, won't it? So we're, we're giving you, really, the, the, the power of, okay, buying more on a wholesale basis than buying more of the, on an individual yeah. basis, really, aren't they? We've done the big order, so you don't have to. Exactly. Um, okay, I can't wait to see what that price will be. Honestly, cannot wait to see. Because you know what you spend on your Dremel. You get an attachment that you absolutely love, and you love what it does. You don't want to have to keep buying it again and again and again. You've got three in this kit, which is amazing. Right then, where's this going? Ooh. That doesn't, that doesn't even do the sterling silver gram weight. That doesn't even do the sterling silver gram weight. I thought, well, I think we, well, I don't know, this discussion we had earlier, right. seems like a very naughty price to Yes, me. well, I mean, I'll tell you for nothing. Well, listen, you know, it happens here at Jewelry Maker, it happens at Gemporia as well. 
two grams of sterling silver in a very, very plain link chain, where they make miles and miles and miles of it at a time, is 10 pounds. And this is what, four and a half grams, did you say? Yeah. Four and a half grams, but it's formed in a very, very different way. I mean, there's a lot more work that goes into forming this than there does in feeding silver into a machine that will make miles and miles of link chain, and therefore, your margin, let's say in business terms, is going to be, you know, bigger, therefore. It takes a long time to make these, so you can't make as many as quickly as you would like to. £17.99. That is incredible. And bearing in mind, how much did you say these birds could be? Six to seven pounds each, depending on the... Okay, so we're getting three of them at seventeen ninety nine. Now you might, I mean, it doesn't look the sexiest thing on TV, but <laughs> it's not the kind of thing you want to spend six or seven pounds buying no, but individually. Can you imagine the precision manufacturing that has to go into making yeah, yeah, yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and they need to be sharp and, yes. and function well. So, so that in itself. Oh, I know. Um, my uh, my cousin, just purely by chance, my cousin has uh, an engineering firm in Kent. And he makes specialist parts for the Formula One industry. And so to create tooling to make one part for a Formula One car, that can be many thousands of pounds worth of investment. Now, you're not going to do that unless you know you're going to get it back. Do you know what I mean? And so you are going to charge for those things an absolute premium. So every time a new design of something like this is made, new tooling is made to create just that one thing. Just that one thing. Um, you're getting 17.99 and you're getting three of the burrs and the sterling silver ring blank which men means of course you could end up making that ring to any size you like listen you get how good this is i know you do there's loads of you there there's lots of you multi-ordering as well have you we got plenty of these tom have we done the bulk buy on these oh 50 so it's not that big a buy actually no. we've got about another 50 chances that's all uh, Pauline and Karen and Michelle and Judy and Sheila and Helen and Maker in, Maker in Lanarkshire, three coming your way, Susan, Marion in Devon, Lynn, uh, Lynn in Hertfordshire, Lynn in Greater London. We're very popular with people called Lynn today. I've noticed have <laughs> got one in Hertfordshire, one in Greater London, one in Lancashire. You're all over the place. So come on, Lynn, all come in. Uh, and listen, even if you're a Margaret, you can come in as well. £17.99. Now, um, in terms of the soldering... Yeah. You've, we've got demos, I presume, have we, have you done soldering Yeah, demos? I mean, we, quite a lot of our present, uh, des, uh, designers do soldering. So Claire okay. does, I do, uh, Gemma, they've, everybody's kind of grown with Jewelry Maker as it's gone into this area. And yeah, yeah. Uh, so there's loads of demos on soldering. Mm -hmm. I will, if anybody has any questions, send them through and I'll answer okay, them for cool. you. But there will be demos as well on our YouTube videos. Oh, and, yes, there's and loads. Videos as well. loads. Right. And if, if you look back at some of my uh, my shows, there'll be a lot of soldering there as well. In a roundabout kind of way, OK, we're going to do the oval next uh, again. So this has a different burr, right? Yes, so that one's a slightly bigger burr, but it's also a round ball burr. Um, I oh, think okay. that one is a two or two and a half. Let's change the details and see what comes up. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Come on, <laughs> come on then. Here it is. Yeah, so this is a point eight. Ah. Mm, oh, so that's a different one. So that would have been the more elongated one, I think. This one? Yes. Ta-da. Yes, this, is, this would be a point eight, wouldn't it? Yeah. Ah, so we've just got the run the wrong way, have we? <clears throat> Right, so we've got, so we get three of those as well. Yes. Right, so I swap those with those then. Do, 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 do. So do they go over there? Yeah. Anyway, you're going to be buying multiples anyway, aren't you? Exactly. Um, right, so this tool does. So this tool, fantastic, because um, it's elongated, it's gonna, so it's going to cut in and give you slightly longer shapes. Ah, okay. Or it will give you little bites. So I will show you if you look at these samples here uh -huh. let's get my specs on if i show you that one oh i see, see i see so i see i see yes so the little kind of the divots that kind of yes. bite in yeah. oh okay so so this can almost go in at an angle yes. and create those yes i see what exactly. you mean by exactly or this one this is actually one that i did before without that tool but you can get an elongated <gasps> line like oh that as gosh well. right okay this is super super cool so that That's allows you to channel it 
to yes. tunnel it down then, does yeah. it? Or would you start at the centre and work your way out, or would you go in? Or? Uh, no, you could actually start flat on. Oh, okay. You've got to learn to control it a bit. It does right. have a little sort of mind of its own. But yeah. once you get the idea of that control, you can play around with the kind of marks that they make. Ah, yeah. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, that's green, <clears throat> isn't it? So, the shape, actually, this is the same it's shape the same as well, shape, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so this I've is the shape of mine. the blank. So it's a bit battered about. It's loved, it. that's what that's it is. That's what it is. It's yeah. loved. And that's what sterling silver jewellery is all about, isn't it? So, you get the blank in the oval shape, thank you very much, and three of the elongated burrs, which are 0.8 millimetres. Now, the price is under discussion right now, I do believe. Are you going to match the price? Mm, naughty. Because actually, yeah. OK. Well, listen. On your head, beard. <laughs> I don't mind. Listen, I, I, I don't know what it should be. I, I, I actually think that twenty nine ninety nine seemed to be like a pretty good price yeah. tag when you consider, when you consider what the end product is. Because the end product, remember, of course, is the work that you put into it and the design that you give it, isn't it? And that's going to be worth a lot more, isn't it? That's incredible. Now, let me put this as a little as a little pinky. I love that one. signet. That's cool, isn't it? Mm. And of course, this I guess there's so many different types of um, uh, pattern and engraving you can go with. Even yeah, I mean, you could tool. even actually um, take it to a professional engraver and get an initial mm -hmm. engraved on there. You could, um, you, I mean, the next one coming up, I'll show you what you can do. You can do it in reverse, so it's actually on the side, on the band, rather than on the top. So oh, that okay. contrasts. That's um, a good idea. Yeah, you could do little star patterns. Seventeen ninety nine is your price tag. Again, lots and lots and lots of you um, coming in there. Remember, you get you get with every um, set here, with every kit. It's a different attachment for the Dremel as well to do something different. Well, that's really really good, isn't it? Right, let's move on to. Let's go to. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ah, now which. Do you want? Do you, do you want which yes, one? Yes, whichever want one. The biggest it one. Really let's go for the biggest yeah, one because it'd be easier for us to see it, won't yeah. it? Right. Let's go for the oval now, and I'll just make <laughs> sure. So this is a ah. Oh. Isn't that isn't that the one we just had? Oh, sorry. We might have just this one, or this one. Um, so it's the. Oh, so east west, right? So we've had the wrong details on for the last <laughs> one, did we? Sorry. So this is the east west one, right? So we do an apology um, price for this one. So. <laughs> <laughs> so which which Dremel tool am I looking at? The one that we just saw? Yes, it would be, wouldn't it? Oh no, hang on. It's a round one. Right, ah, right. gotcha. It's there this one. Go. It's this one. So isn't that's it? your bigger, bigger, the bigger round burr. Right. Okay, we are we are gonna do. <laughs> okay, okay. We've just got to let what happens happen. Exactly. Well listen, they're all very, very similar looking and you know, it's we're all very tired. <laughs> uh, uh, and any other excuses I can come up with? Uh, Fourteen ninety nine. Yay! Let's just celebrate That's an that. Amazing price. Oh, that appears yeah. to have hit the sweet spot, yeah. doesn't it? Oh dear. Uh, yay! Just tuned in, and two of my favourite JM people are on. Woohoo! Oh, so oh, hello, lovely Deb. to see you. Nice to see you. Oh, lovely oh. Deb. I've not seen your name on screen for ages oh. and ages and ages. Brilliant. <laughs> lovely to see you. Amazing. See. JM, JM viewers are JM viewers. Oh through yes, through, absolutely. They? Stuck with us through through left, through right, through up, through down, <laughs> through Christmas. Soon be Christmas, won't it? It here? will be. Yes. Soon be Christmas. What is it next week? Well, we'll start prepping for Christmas soon yeah, enough, yeah, won't yeah. we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is right. Um, yes. So that's this using one. Using texture on the side. If you look, turn the band to the side. Mm -hmm. I've given it almost like um, a pitted. Oh yes. Texture. But just on the outside. Yeah. So it's almost like a hammered, yeah, hammered like a hammered. Stone, almost like yeah. lava type feel. 
That's so cool, isn't yeah. it? And, and the, that's what this tool will yes. do. Yes. And again, because that's Amazing. a round stone, yeah. uh, sorry, burr, yeah. you could use that one for, so it's 2.4, so you could use it for a, a stone in that size range. 2.5, 2.3 size stone, you can use that. Fabulous. Yeah. Right, let's go. Let's go through the heart window now, shall we, Tom? <clears throat> heart. This is with the uh, this is with the battery tool. Yes. Wimp, wimp, wimp. Oh, hexagon. Uh, yes, with the battery tool. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. This is going to be the one I'm going to do. Right. So, if you don't have a Dremel, if you're new to all of this and you just want to try then this is the one that actually comes with the portable engraver. Now, obviously and clearly, it's not going to give you the same level of power as the Dremel no. will, but it will still, pardon the pun, make an impression. <laughs> yes, it will. <laughs> It'll give you a lovely sandblasted finish. Yeah. Right, OK. Now, um, battery's not included with the, uh, with the tool. There's a clock coming. Now, how much silver is on the hexagon blank? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But I'm on I the am, spot. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm a gems presenter. We want to know the ground weight of everything. <laughs> Square root of nothing, we want to know. <laughs> He's going to look at it now. Sorry. I've just caused him a nightmare. Right. Three grams of 95 sterling silver. Again, which has been beautifully, beautifully. Um, again, you can you can texture around the side profile of this one as well, can't you? Because yeah. you've got plenty of silver to be Absolutely. able to do that. Absolutely, you could really experiment. This is one. Please excuse it because it was an on-show demo. Ooh. It's a bit battered and not finished well. Woo! Hang on, that's just for that, right? Is that is it one of the? <laughs> have you made another one of these boo <laughs> Hang on a minute. Hang on. Stop everything. <laughs> have you? Have you? Tom, is that just the tool? Okay. That's it all. Okay, right. It's the tool. Battery's not included. Well, what do you expect at fourteen ninety nine? For heaven's yes. sake, you shouldn't even get the silver blank at fourteen ninety nine. And you've got actually, there does feel like a fair bit of power. Yeah, there is in that so, as well. So those, that one there. Yeah. Is the textured bit is created with that tool. Oh. So you get good texture with that. So if you've got existing sterling silver jewellery as well, yeah. this is going to be, be, um, yes, be if fantastic got, for that. If you've got something that's got a massive scratch in and you can't get rid of it. Oh, sorry, there's only nine chances here. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> please be quick. Uh, <laughs> five chances. Four, three, two, one. Right, moving on. <clears throat> right, we've got the heart. Okay. Yes, this is are you are you matchy matchy? Did I just ask that out loud? Did I just say that out loud on telly? Sorry. Okay, have a little look. So again, with this one, you get the tool and you get the heart blank. Oh, that's lovely. That one. So cool. I isn't never it? got that sample. Oh, the engraver pen as well will engrave not just onto uh, metal, but onto wood, onto plastic, and to glass as well, so you can etch glass yes. with this. Yes, yes, you can, <gasps> yeah. Get me a tile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go around every window. <laughs> the Gemporium Museum is right next to us, by the way. It's got lovely windows. I could write my name in there. <laughs> Derek was here. <laughs> a new type of graffiti. I could be forever part of this building, even if they throw me out. <laughs> Which I would, if I was me right now, if I was my boss right now, I'd say, right, get him out. But no. we'll let him off because he's been awake since, uh, well, since too late. <laughs> uh, right, now, are you, wh where are we going, Tom, on this? What? What? Where? When? Yeah. Yeah. Heart, heart shape. Heart shape, very pop. Right, OK. We're going to make this one of these. He's he's done. <laughs> <laughs> we only how many do we have of these? <clears throat> right, it's a hundred opportunities. Go. It's going to be the lowest you've seen. Can't believe I just said that. What? Just just because just because we played a little video and 
and said star by, that's, that's the... That's the go-ahead. That's the go-ahead. Wow. Blimey. If that's all it takes, I'll come in there and press the button myself more often. <laughs> um, OK, get yourself in there. Hazel, uh, Hillier, Agnes, Caroline, please check out straight away as well. I never nag you about checking out because I can't bear hearing being nagged about checking out, but I'm going to tell you on this one, check it out or you're going to miss out. It's as simple as that. Um, that's so cool. I just want to, I, I want to start engraving on the desk, but we share this studio with hobby makers, so I best not. I just want to engrave something. You'll have your moment, don't okay, you? Okay, all right. I just want to engrave something, anything, to be honest with you. Honestly, just the inner child in me is just dying <laughs> to get started. Uh, get me something wooden. Oh, I'm on a desk here. I can do it now. <laughs> Derek was here too. <laughs> right. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, you can. You no, can. no, no, no. I'm not going to do it on the table. No, not on the table. No. No, on the silver. No. No. Oh, I'll like tell you my what, job. actually, I need, you can find a side on that and have a little go on. I like my job too much. Okay, well, listen, I, I will do that in a second, but to business first. <laughs> 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 At least I've got something to play with. Twelve ninety nine. Go, 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 go. It's literally. That's fantastic. We, we only had 100 chances to start with and they are flying out of the door. Phone lines have gone bonkers. Good. Sorry, team. Again. <laughs> Oh, and sorry, Amelia, I've just shouted into Gemporia as well. Oh, it is worth shouting about, though, isn't it? Yes. Uh, Caroline and Dale and Nicola, uh, if you can, up your order to another one as well, because it is well worth doing, isn't it? Right, OK, let's have a little little bit of ingredient. Any way I should hold this? I guess ergonomically, like that. It's, yeah, that's how it's designed. Yeah, it feels comfortable. And I'm left-handed. We All us more, uh, more creative people now are. It might start to burn, so if it does, just keep an eye on that. Oh, look at that. I can Quite transfer my gorgeous handwriting onto the wood. Do you know, it's really strong and you've, you're in great control over yes. it as well. Yes. I know you it, can't see what I'm doing. And it's not like uh, when you're using a Dremel or an other kinds of pen motors, it's, it does feel scary if you're not used to it. This one... Really, like you said, feels like you're in control. And you're not, I'm not putting any pressure on it whatsoever. No. I'm just letting, because obviously this is wood. Yes, yeah, so I make it a little bit more pressure. Yeah, so you much. will do, but I'm, I'm just letting the tool, and I've never handled a tool like this before in my life, I promise you. Yeah. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> Ollie. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> Stop it, I'm concentrating. <laughs> Slept. There you go. That's not bad for a first That's go, is it? That's really good. That's not. I feel like and I should do something. giggles as well. I feel like I should. <laughs> I. I feel like I should. That do is something a demonstration. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He's addicted now. That's it. I'm there now. <laughs> have these all gone yet? Actually, why don't you have a go on the metal blank? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, have a try. Find the, the top of that square, and I'll I'll form it for you once um, once you've done your pattern making. <laughs> Love. Ah. Ah. Grammatically incorrect, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> you can't have everything, can you? Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I, I did think about it and then I didn't leave myself enough room to be able to do it, actually. I should have done. So this is the one that will create the sandblasted texture. Yes, yes. Right. OK. So where shall I go? Shall I go in the shoulder? I would say in the... You can... Yeah, start off sort of in the corner, but not right on the edge because you could fly off. Right. But the best technique you get is if you go in a circular motion. OK. Um, because to get perfect lines it yeah. doesn't really work. You would try it, see what happens. You can go over. The, what's the best way of holding it? Because um, I tend to hold it, yeah, flat on the desk. Yeah. Pinch it with your holding hand so it's nice and firm, and then you can. Oh, oh, look! Oh, you know, I said I was going to do a little corner.
Do you know what? I'm not making enough contact, am I? That's what it. Speed it up a bit and go until you do an all over. That's it. Uh, oh. Here we go. And oh. You <laughs> oh, I tell you what. And you do just need to. It's a bit like. It's a bit like. You know when you first get on a bike and you're a bit tentative? A bit wobbly. And then you find your way at your. your your freedom. Yes. Feet off the ground. And then and then you're off. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what do you mean what do you mean stop now? <laughs> what do you mean stop now? I've only just got started. That looks fantastic. It does look good actually. Yeah. And then I could I guess I could take deeper impressions just in one direction then if I yeah, wanted to out. across. See, see, Shall I? Yeah. Shall I? Why not? Why not? You could have had the day off today. <laughs> didn't need to be here, Hayley, did you? It's the easiest shift I've ever had. <laughs> oh, hang on. There's silly other hand was in the way. But actually, if I just wanted to... And you could... Um... Mark a line and mark yes. the corners. Oh, yeah, that, look, look. Actually, let me... Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, which one are you? Up, up there, aren't you? So you see what that's done? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I could echo that and make a square. Yes. And then I could go right deep into the centre and, and set a gemstone there. Oh, yes. I tell you what, you need to have a go with this. Right, listen, have you got yours? Where are we now? We're on the heart one, aren't we? How many are left? There won't be many. Right, 15 chances there, but I can see a lot of you with this in your basket. I don't nag about baskets. Check them out. Because, <laughs> listen, otherwise, I, as soon as I come, because I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm not sure who I'm leaving you with at 11 o'clock, but I'm, I'm staying till 11, because, you know, at my age. Um, <laughs> and I'll be in the queue to get one of these as well. I don't think there'll be any left, though, will there? You're going to have to be quick, though. Yes, and I'm going to try and nab some of the heart signet rings, because they are right. perfect. Do you still want this one back? Yes, I'll just show you how to form it, okay, and then I'll brilliant. do some other demos with the other attachments Okay, as cool. Well. <gasps> so I'm not, as I said, I'm not going to solder, but some of you might just wonder how to get that into shape. Yes. Um, I don't have my big juicy ring mandrel with me, but I'll show you anyway. So here we have some D-shaped pliers, okay? So they are the pliers that have the half round section on the front, oh, sorry, on the inside. Uh -huh. And that you place on the inside of the band because that curve will echo the curve of a, a, a ring. So you just start to bend that down. I'm just going to get some spectacles on. I should have done that first. And then I will do it on the other side. And the reason why I'm starting on these bits here is because they are really thick and chunky. Okay. So they're the strongest They're part. strongest. And they will yeah. be the most difficult to move. And as you start to move the metal and work with it, it becomes harder. It work hardens. Okay. So work on those bits first. And then if you've got a ring mandrel to hand, you can put it on the ring mandrel and hammer it round. Or you can continue on with your D-shaped pliers and actually just start to bring the curve round. Using those pliers, and I'll re repeat it on the other side. Now the rule is that you always go smaller than the size that you need rather than bigger than the size that you need. So here I've got a bit of an overlap and they're going to get in each other's way. Mm -hmm. So you can actually just twist it so that they will go side by side and we'll deal with that later on. And then the same thing applies on the opposite part of the band. Now, when you get to the thinner part, it's so easy to manipulate. It's really, it's almost like it's been pre-annealed, which means it's been pre-softened. Ah. And there you go, where it crosses over. Now, don't worry that that's not a perfect circle. Yeah. Pop it on your ring mandrel. Yeah. Hammer it down, excuse me, to the size that you want. So let's say you're at an M. Take it to about an M. Um, JKL, L and a half, so you take it a half size smaller. Yeah. Then you saw through there and solder. And then when you've got the, uh, uh, when you can do some cleaning up, it will probably go up to an M anyway. Uh -huh. Or you can just stretch it up. But it's easier to stretch it up when it's soldered than it is to make it smaller because you'll have to open it up again. Yes, because you have to take it away. Yes. Yeah, exactly. and then when a, when a jeweler does a resize or when they're actually making larger sizes at our, when we're making fully made up. Yeah. That's, that's the point at which they're doing it. Yes. And, of course, you, you will have quite a lot of scrap in that. So as you were saying earlier, 
keep that because you can recycle it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were talking about uh, somebody else's ring who they had used recycled silver. Yes. If you keep all of your scraps, you'll have enough to... Well, it's funny it. because, I mean, <coughs> sterling silver jewellery, we amass a lot more of. Yes, we do. So therefore... There are pieces that naturally fall out of your favour. Yes. They looked all right when you were 19 and you think, <laughs> can't really carry that off anymore. But you could recycle it, couldn't you? And Absolutely. you could make your own jewellery. And this, these kits give you the tool to be able, <laughs> tools to be able to do that. Absolutely. And a perfect first blank. That's almost yeah. a template to follow, almost. Oh, that's totally. Right, yeah. Totally, yeah. Use it as inspiration. Um, so, yeah, so that's one. That's the one that I sold it earlier. And so I've cleaned it up with a file, although there's still a little bit of cleaning up because I'm going to use one of the burrs or a few of the burrs to get some texture on the surface. Uh -huh. So it's easier to work inside a ring mandrel or ring clamp rather. So I'm going to pop that into there, um, get the wedge nice and firmly into that. Do we have those, Tom? The ring a clamp. A, a ring wedge. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one of the burrs. So I'm going to go for the elongated one because uh -huh. that one is different to ones that others that people have seen before. And I'm using my Dremel um, and I've got a flexi shaft in the Dremel. So you might have a different type of pendant motor. You might have the same one as me or you've got the more advanced one, which is almost like the pro Dremel mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So um, to put that into the uh, multi chuck, which is on the end of the flexi shaft, Turn that, uh, switch the little silver button, open that up, and that allows the jaw to open up to accommodate the holding pin. Pop that in there. So you've got a little bit of the pin sticking out, and then keep that button pressed. And that's actually the locking position or the mechanism for that. Otherwise, if you don't press that, your, um, your tool could come flying out. Right, okay? yeah. So yeah. you really want to tighten that up. And if you find that your um, attachments are slipping, there is a little spanner in the kit that you can use to tighten that up. Yes, just in the collar, isn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, anytime you're using any kind of motor, get some safety goggles on. So mm -hmm. I've got some good safety goggles on. And you could do a bit of planning on your signet ring. Um, so you could mark it out, but it's not essential. Um, so I'm going to do a line. In fact, maybe using a ruler is sensible. Do a line down the middle. Um, I just so you can create two different textures yeah, on, uh, yeah. on both sides. Yeah, and if you want to, like I've done on this sample here, you could actually saw a line where you've got your dividing line, and that gives you real definition. But you can actually do that once you've done your texture. Just it's almost like going in when you've done a drawing and you take your more fine, delicate um, marker and go in. So now I'm going to use this. Now, ideally what you do is work on your bench peg. So you, I probably will go down to my bench peg. So I'm just going to adjust the way I'm sitting. I'll turn the tool on and I'm going to move myself onto the bench peg or at least up against the table so that I can press up against that. Okay. There we go. So now you might want to practice on a bit of scrap first. But start by holding with your um, holding hand thumb. You can actually manage it. So there I've got a nice Ooh, yeah. little mark going on there. Yeah. Okay. I actually think I'm going to see if I can fan that out. As I said, sometimes it does sort of fly away and that can be a problem. But then what you can do is get the tool that Derek had and actually add some texture and hide any... any mess that might have happened. There you go, you see? So if you have your supporting hand. There we go. It's ever so strong, that tip of it that is. tool as well, isn't it? Now, I have, it is on, you do get different speeds, and I've currently got it on a four. I will take it down a bit. But actually, sometimes going at faster speed is better. Yeah, it's actually better at a faster speed. So that's kind of using it lengthways. But you can also use it at an angle. So... And you get little, little sharp bites in. Almost like a little star 
Stardust. And if I switch that off, I'll just change the burr to a round one, and I'll show you what one of the round ones do. Um, and the different sizes are very similar, just different sizes. So I'll go in with the smaller one. Oh, I can see lots of purchases coming <laughs> on. <laughs> I, I never imagined, because you always imagine that the actual making of pieces like this, it's like a mystique. Yes. Like you never get to see behind the curtain and how it's done. And actually, I think this is brilliant. But you know, jewelry making—that's why—that's why it's so addictive, mm. and that's why we—that's mm. why we exist, because you never know it all. There's mm. so much you can learn, and there's so much that's interesting and quirky and fun, and mm. you try it, and it's just fantastic. So, once you're into jewelry making, there's no looking back, mm. except uh, looking back and going at uh, thinking, "Oh, look at all these amazing tools." It's called um, a tool addiction. Well, and, the, and the Dremel is such a coverall, isn't it? Because it will literally... It will, yes, but it, you know, I know people who... The whole family uses it. OK, so I'll just show you that. You could just experiment. So that's giving you a slightly Oh, look, smaller. like a sunrise I mean, on one yes, side. Yeah. that was with an elongated one, and then I guess that's the shimmering water and the... Yeah. But, I mean, spend time. Let me switch this off. That's super cool. Um, can I just tell you that the um, we have got details. We have got a Dremel right now. This is more of the... Uh, this is the 40 Flex, which is the more right. sort of advanced Dremel. So this thing, Dremel, it? I'm slightly miffed because I bought the other one. And this is the pro version. Right. I think the 3000, I think, also is the one that is in our... It, it's in our lives at yes, home. Yes, it is. And it's amazing. I use it all the time. Yeah, still. well, uh, the, all I was going to say as well is that you see it in a jewellery making context here. Yeah. But for such fine detail in so many aspects of your life, this is the go to. Yeah. You will find that the hundred different things that you need a tool for, the Dremel, and it comes with everything in the box as well, doesn't yeah. it? Like it comes yeah. with so many different and lots of guidance. And there are thousands of YouTube videos about how to do everything with your Dremel. So that one, which we have on screens, the reason why that's a pro one is because it's got a foot pedal. So you see, I had to stop what I was doing and then yes. move that with my hand. And it, so the pro versions have a foot pedal and it just gives you freedom. That's really good because actually, one of the things, wherever you have your um, your Dremel, and listen, every Dremel's brilliant, but with like the 3000 that you've got, you need to find somewhere to hang it yeah. where the flex attachment is still within your reach. So you then have to find somewhere, or it has to be on the desk next to you. Every time you want to use it, you need to hold the flex tool. You need to do the speed thing to be able to literally just have it on and just well, like a sewing machine, you know, yeah. and have, yeah. your, have your foot pedal. Yeah. That just brings things up. And look at all the attachments that come with it as yes. well. And Drill literally, bits. there is an attachment for almost any job you like well, that the Dremel has. Absolutely. And in fact, the demo that we're going to do um, later on at 12 o'clock, I'm going to be drilling. And that is the perfect tool because you've got your drill bits in there in this control. And I'll talk about that as well. So, mm. yeah. uh, it's amazing. So we're just going to put the details on there. There are more details on the website. Uh, for you as well, because I realise that's a costly investment without seeing a lot more detail. There is a lot more detail on our website um, about that. It's amazing. Now, listen, have all these ring kits, have they... Right. Uh... Oh, well, yes, 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 yes. We'll, we'll come back. We'll come back to that. We have got one of the most ridiculous, and I mean super, super ridiculous, and I just hope this is authorised after everything that Tom's been doing already so far. But, hey, listen, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to go with it anyway. I'm only here for another hour and a bit as well, so let's <laughs> yeah, crack away with another star buy. <laughs> Right, OK. Now, with this star by Tom, did you say it was... What, 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 what? <laughs> what have we got? You know why? Because you just said to me, right, well, let's get, let's get through these fairly swiftly because there's more things that we want to see. Do you mean everything here? 
Right. Um, oh, okay, I get you, get you, get you. Right, okay, let's go through them then, shall we? Oh, sorry. Right, these these are from Gem Collector uh, as well, because look, 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 look. Do they know we've got them? Right, so we've got a, par a, a small parcel of multicoloured sapphires, which is going to be difficult for you to see uh, there as well. There's some more multicoloured sapphires there, but what I do want to do, just grab my tweezers there quickly for a second. Oh, I left the good ones over there. But I just want to show you this one. I'm just getting into training for this, you know. <gasps> is that? Because, because... That's what we were talking about earlier. Yes, it was. Yes, it is. It's multicolored sapphire, but don't you think that one's a bit um paracha coming at you? Right, let me show you another one. There's another one here. Oh gosh, you're not gonna get a job on gem collector if I'm chasing them around <laughs> like that tadpole's in a pond. <laughs> Go fish. This one this this is ridiculous, this bundle. Sorry, I've got the wrong tweezers here, that's what it is. Oh, here they are. Oh. Thank you, darling. Right, this is going to be a monster, monster, monster opportunity. Look, 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 look. look. There's so much in here. Um, Multicoloured sapphires, multicolored gemstones. Let me just show you some of the pieces that we've got as well, because they're the, the individual ones, the highlight ones. But look, look at all of these selections that we've got here. OK, tell me some. Madagascan ruby, Hessonite garnet, amazing, citrine, peridot, topaz, amethyst, garnet, all of these that you're seeing, by the way, are all in this bundle. I look, how, how are we doing this? Right, so that, actually, let's put all this out here. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six monster selections of gemstones plus two selections of multicolored sapphires, which are not going to be easy for you to see. Uh, yeah, blue ones in the diagonal. This one. They're blue sapphire. Oh, sorry. So blue sapphire. The dark one is the sapphire. Yeah. Tanzanite, iolite, aquamarine, and topaz. What a wonderful ombre that is. Okay, right, one minute on the clock, please. No, scared. 72 stones in total. I have to say, though, for me, I am utterly, utterly fascinated by these multicolored sapphires. Particularly, there's a couple that are so paparaccia coming at you. It is ridiculous. Um, are they ovals? Yes, Hopefully, they, they are. If I could get hold of them, I would show you. <laughs> but they're slipping around. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm never going to get to cover. Oh, that's never going to get to cover a gem collector if you can't pick up a gemstone, are you? There you go. Look. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Let me just show you against a white background for a second. Look. How paparaccia is that colour? Yeah, tell me, tell me, tell me. So. That's amazing. There's a couple in that little selection which are very, very paparaccia-y colour. Um, okay, right. Listen. Sorry. Getting all giddy. All giddy. And you get your auth certificates for your sapphires as well, of course. Um, amazing. For the whole lot. What? Can, can, can I just... Can I... Can I just tell you that that is the most ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous opportunity at 99.99, when you've got so many incredible sapphires in there and so many precious gemstones as well, um, I love that blue selection. I yeah. think it's, I think it's incredible. Um, all of this could be committed to jewellery tomorrow. The blue selection has never been on before. Mm -hmm. So this selection here, which is going from sapphire all the way to topaz through iolite and tanzanite and aquamarine. Um, is ridiculous. That could easily be, that blue selection could easily be like a 29.99 buy on its own, if not a lot more. It's difficult really like for me to know entirely and exactly what the price should be individually. We're not done. We're not done. Oh my word. How, how many of these have you been allowed? 50 all told. 
but the first 20 or so are already out of here. So listen, if you want to allocate right now at a lower price, and I mean just not like a couple of pounds lower, we're not gonna play with you and go, oh, it's 97.99. No, it's a big drop from here, I have to tell you. So if you want in on the deal, now is the time to get this into your basket or to get yourself on the phone lines. The reason we do these clocks, by the way, again, it's not to play with you. It's just so it gives you a bit of breathing sp uh, space to say, OK, well, I, do you know what? I think I'm in for a fair crack on that one. So I'm going to put that into my basket. What's the worst can, that can happen? If you're not entirely happy with the price tag, you can release it from your bas basket. There will be three people behind you ready to grab it. Please be quick. I mean, I have to say, like, even for the sapphires, I mean, I did, I, right, okay, £69.99. I have to tell you, because you've got two one-carat multicoloured sapphire selections there, that £69.99 is done in those two selections. And they've got their auth cards with them as well. Um, £69.99. And I know you can't see them particularly, but they are a gorgeous selection of genuine sapphires. Quite apart from the blue selection that's in here as well. I can, I can, I can hear Tom's palpable stress it's puffing away, isn't is it? feeding into my brain. <laughs> I can actually feel he's making me anxious because as a producer here at, at JM, well, listen, is, is Scott in the building? Is he? Is he coming on to take over at 11? Oh. Uh-oh. And this is on in the office, isn't it? Hi, Scott. Uh, this, we're at a big screen in the office now, and JM is one of the... It's one of the big... He's sorting out his show for 11 o'clock. I'm so glad, actually, that it's Scott, because you know what? He is going to... I just know he's going to pull out all the stops at 11 o'clock. <laughs> you know he can't help himself, can he, when he's on? Yeah. The last would. time he was on... I think, was it his birthday, I think it was? And I ended up buying like a monster star buy that he did in, um, in Ethiopian Opal. And then I forgot my name came up on the telly as presenter, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't working at the time, so... It's all we're, about we're all the same, aren't yes. we? When we're not working, we all it's love, like... We all love the stuff that we I'll sell. I'll have a sneaky little buy of this. Um, Jeanette, well done in Yorkshire, guaranteed... I, I don't nag about checking out baskets, but honestly, if you could hear the stress yes. levels through my ear right now, you would, you would actually, honestly, because Tom is one of those people who, it, what you see is what you get. So if he is stressed, everybody knows about it. <laughs> everybody knows about it. It's not like he hides it. It's not like he goes, okay, well, I'll worry about this later. Uh, like he's like, oh, <laughs> yeah, he really is like that. Um, so if you have this in your basket right now, please do. Check it out. Please do check it out. I never nag about these kind of things. Caroline in the Channel Islands, Shirley in Moray, Pam in County Antrim, Pauline in Cambridgeshire. We are almost at the point where we're oversubscribed if everyone checks out. Maker in Dumfries and Galloway, please. Again, I'm not nagging. I promise you there's nothing I hate worse than hearing, check out your baskets. But, but, at the end of the day, this is so, so good. If you set, if you love gem setting, and listen, I didn't, I, I mean, listen, I, I am a viewer of, of, I'm hardly ever here presenting with you, as you know. I'm on Gemporia overnights and I go to Hobby Maker and here, there and everywhere. So I'm quite often in this studio, but different channel. Um, I didn't know that Jewelry Maker had advanced into the whole gem setting yeah, thing. Big time. The, 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 I mean, when I was here like three or four years ago, we were... Um, uh, what's the word? Setting tiny, tiny gemstones into the top of pearls with um, jam. Yes, that's right. And we still do do that. Yeah. 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 Um, but I didn't realise yes. that we were like, because I'm like, hmm, hmm. And you must be the same as well. I mean, maybe you've seen this kind of thing before. But. Yes, our, our makers and, and students have actually gone on to do tube setting, flush setting, um, claw setting. So, yes, well, this, we've this grown. Is, this is the start of something, isn't it? Um, Anne in Greater London says, uh, Hayley, I've bought some lovely small oval and teardrop cut stones from JM and would love to inset into pearls. How did I, I honestly didn't know that message was coming. <laughs> it's pearl insetting that I was trying to think of. I was trying to think of the name of the, the method. Um, is there a way to drill this? 
Yes, there is. So, um, actually, the, the ball burrs or the round burrs that came in the kits, I'd say start with the smaller burr mm -hmm. um, and map out the shape that you want and actually use the burr to actually get the shape. And you actually need to look at the curve or the shape underneath the stone to and, and copy that. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, with the pearl, when you drill into it and you burr into it, you go, it's going to smell like burning hair. So go slowly and gently. You can even use your um, your the cut lube or some beeswax, but go slowly and gently and actually um, you're copying the underside of the stone and then you can pop it in there. Uh, you can glue it in, but be careful that the glue that you use does not make the stone frosty. So no super glue, no um, epoxies. M you maybe even a PVA would work quite well because you don't want it to frost the stone. So yeah. Fabulous. Any other questions for Haley? Please do get them in because it's fascinating. We have got another um, kit and it comes with a polishing compound. Why do I feel like that's from a song? It's an, an advert. That sounds like an advert. I don't know. There's there's something about compound in a song. Is that oh. One of you will know. A blah, 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 compound. Anyway, oh, this is a polishing Nelly compound. Nelly the Elephant. Is it Nelly the Elephant? Is it? Yeah, it could be actually, couldn't it? Yes, it could be. Someone send me the line if you've got it at home. So this is <laughs> the Sterling Silver Kite Blank. Um, and then this is the polishing compound, which is, a, it's a Dremel compound. Medicinal compound. Medicinal compound, that's <laughs> it. Yes, you're right. Now, you can buff your Sterling Silver pieces, can't you? Yes. Because yeah. there is a buffing attachment generally that comes yes, with the Yes, there is. So Dremel, I did haul out a couple. Depending on which one um, you have. So, now these are dirty because they've been used, but that is a cotton mop. You can get a felt mop, and that's a felt v version that's got a bit of a tapered end. Put some of that collagen pop compound on there, and you'll get a nice shine. Okay. <laughs> He's almost oh. overspilling with excitement. Oh, my word. <laughs> Honestly. How many have we got, Tom? 50 chances. 50 chances. Uh, okay. This is something that we've, we've just put together for you. So it's a polishing compound for, for the Dremel, but you can use it with, you could use it with, you know, if you've got attachments yeah, for other tools that can. will buff, it's you can use it for that as well. Sorry to interrupt. No, you. go it's on. It's essentially a rouge, rouge compound. Okay, it's cool. It's a polishing compound. Uh-huh. Uh, right. Are you, are you ready? Five, four, three, two. I have no idea what's about to come, by the way. So it's a different shape as well. <laughs> I have no idea what will pop up now. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. Right. How much will Dremel ask for a polishing compound on its own, I wonder? And it's gorgeous. This is like a waxy compound, is it? Yes, it's an oil-based compound, uh -huh. um, and it's got some particles that kind of, a bit like fine sandpaper, and yeah. they, are, they buff the surface. So with the motor and the rotation, it, it polishes I, away. I feel like we need to have a look in. Don't put your finger in there, because it's mucky stuff. Oh, OK. Yeah. <laughs> Because this is designed to go onto the wheel, isn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So um, as you've got the, the motor rotating, <laughs> you, you pop it into there and you pick up some of the, um, the compound yeah. and then you polish your I'm not, not even going to tell you what that reminds me of because it's not for this time of day. <laughs> uh, £12.99. pence. Right, OK. Oh, yeah, honestly. Yes, right, you and I have another hour together. Sorry, I haven't woken up properly still yet. Lily the pink. Lily the pink. Lily the pink. The pink. The pink. That's it. That's where that medicinal the compound. Thank you. Thank you so. See, you're amazing, you people. What? How that came into my head, I don't know. But you were probably thinking the same. And I'm sorry you're going to have that as an earworm all day. <laughs> yes. I'm so so sorry. Right. When we come back, it is the incredible deal of the day, and there is paparazzi coming at you after this. <laughs> Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide this will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Oh, hello, we're back. Oh, and everything, everything I touch just drops. <laughs> everything, everything. That's one thing that's never changed here at JM. <laughs> Every time you breathe on something, you think you've got it in the right place, it will just drop off. <laughs> um, good morning, everyone. It is a bit of a different JM today, I have to tell you, uh, but you've only got me for another hour, and then you get the boss. I, I believe, is that right, Tom? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Scott's gonna look after you. <laughs> is he? Is sat right underneath the big TV. Hi, Scott. You're right down there. <laughs> Marvelous. You ready? Because uh, everyone's ready for Scott. Uh, seriously, it's going to be amazing. Eleven o'clock. Please just stay where you are. It's a very, very different day today. It's like you've got a, a whole load of oh, supply teachers really in place now. It's certainly in terms of your presenter. Thank heavens there are professionals around, which is amazing. Uh, Hayley, of course, with us right the way through until one o'clock. And then Scott, you, well, you know that Scott will just, you know, yeah. it'll be like a game Make of Make the most of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He'll be taking out all of the, uh, all of the stops for you. I've got some amazing pearls coming up later. Right, OK, time for the main attraction right now, uh, which is your deal of the day. Yeah, I was going to stay for that. I wasn't going to welch off now and miss <laughs> the deal of the day, especially when it's a gemstone that actually has a lot of mystique around it as well, I have to sell you. Um, the Paparaccia Sapphire, I forget there's a, oh, we used to know, I was here at Gemporia as a company, uh, well actually it wasn't called Gemporia then, but anyway, Gems TV, 
15 years ago, so long before, I don't think JM was even a little oh, glint no. in, yeah. in Gems TV's yeah. eyes then. Um, but I was at Gems TV like 15 years ago, and I remember us sitting down as all of the presenting team at, at Gems TV um, sat down and we had this big presentation, most of which went in there and, and straight <laughs> out of there. As you know, I have, I have noodles here, that's all. And one brain cell, it's around there, but it is dying of loneliness. Um, <laughs> And we had a big presentation about um, paparaccia. And, and I don't know why. Maybe it's just because it's got a funny name. It's got a catchy name. It's got an unusual name. You'll never come across the word in any other context unless you're in, is it Sri Lanka? Where do they speak Sinhalese? Yeah, it is Sri Lanka, isn't it? Um, uh, yeah, our material um, here for the sapphires is Madagascar, but I think the, the origin of the word paparaccia is Sinhalese, and it is Sinhalese for lotus flower. Okay. And there is a, there is, I, I forget what the Sinhalese word, but it's a very, very long word. It's a bit like the name of that very, very long train station in Wales that nobody can pronounce. <laughs> Does mean? Like it's got a huge, I, I tell you who will know, Ruth. I don't know if Ruth's in later. But ask Ruth about the long name. It, it's Litsalipoli something. Well, that's how it finishes. Anyway. Oh, it's a Sanskrit word. Is it now? Have you got the Sanskrit word? It's like a long, long word, isn't it? It's like Quetzalotzalipoli or something like that. Anyway, listen, that's irrelevant for now. Um, but paparaccia, I think is something that is eternally very, very fascinating. I mean, hugely fascinating because most sapphires, and I think you'll agree, most sapphires are, sapphires are singular coloured, right? Um, oh, actually, let's have a look. The appeal of paparaccia sapphires. So uh, paparaccia sapphires are one of the rarest forms of sapphires, extremely rare stones, unknown to most. That's very, very true, actually, even 15 years later talking about them. Still, when you say the word, people go, what? Um, extremely rare stones, unknown to most, but when discovered, usually become an absolute favourite. They are strikingly beautiful, and almost no other coloured stone compares to this unique mix of pink and orange. And actually, it's, it's three colours, if truth be told, because you've got the pinks, You've got reds and you've got orange, and that really is the true combination. Everything else sort of emanates from there in paparaccia. And I think, well, listen, let's just say it from the get-go. The reason why so many companies create paparaccia colour dot, 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 is because of the rarity of the main attraction. Bear in mind everything about the attraction of this comes from the sapphire. Mm. And actually, if you don't have the sapphire, you're not necessarily settling for second best, but it's kind of like, this is the original. This, this naturally, it's not created, it's not synthesized, it's not, you know, it's not tickled along, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it is as it is, which is fantastic. Now, look at the color. And I love the fact, and I didn't even know, I, honestly, I didn't know until Tom told me this morning, because celebrity, 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 I don't, I don't follow celebrities, I, I, I don't give a damn what they're wearing, what gemstones they have or haven't got, but I did find it fascinating that Princess Eugenie actually has an engagement ring. Now, if that had just been a, <coughs> excuse me, if that had just been a run-of-the-mill everyday piece of jewellery, I'd have gone, well... Uh, and she was probably giving it, giving it on a trip around the world um, that they're, you know, very privileged to enjoy. But to choose a gemstone like that as an engagement yes, ring is an unusual choice. That is really, really significant. And I think it's it's significant of actually the generation that we are in right now that you don't necessarily want to follow the same traditions as previous generations as well. But you're absolutely right, um, Ollie, as well that. A sapphire is a traditional engagement ring. I mean, spot the unmarried man. We don't look at these kind of things whatsoever. Um, oh, do we, know, do we know the price? Oh, is there an estimate, is there? So there's an article here. Of course, everyone speculates on this kind of thing, don't they? So how much was it? Uh, what does it say? President of the Natural Sapphire Company is estimating to have a price tag between thirty-five to 55000 US dollars in the wholesale market. Is that just for the stone? 
Other estimates, oh, the rings retail, but rings retail yeah. value has been said to be over $140,000. Well, that might be, have the provenance with it as well. Oh, yeah. Because of her. Oh, you can betcha. Yeah. Well, that, that sapphire, how on earth it was sourced, I mean, we will probably never know. No. We will probably never know. Um, in the entire company, and we are a gemstone company, funnily enough, uh, you might have noticed, yeah, specialising in coloured gemstones. In, in fact, probably one of the, well, if not the UK's largest selection of coloured gemstones uh, available, arguably. In our entire inventory, look, on our website at gemporia.com, and please, you know, go and check it out right now, Paparaccia Colour Sapphire, we have very, 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 very few pieces indeed. I can't believe there's a whole bracelet there. And they are exceptional price tags because we are doing less and less full gemstone bracelets. Here's the thing as well. When you want a full gemstone bracelet, you have to compromise. We have to compromise as a business at, at Gems TV. I sit here with many hats on, as you know. So when I'm looking at gemstone bracelets there, I'm looking at two or three gemstones, the rest of it's chain. That's the economics of jewellery making, yeah. professionally for retail. But actually, what we have here is the ability to create a complete gemstone necklace because we have got the most amazing buying lines. And we've had those buying lines in place for a long, long time. Um, we literally have people all around the world who are sourcing gemstone for us. I mean, how, how they do this, I don't know. We just are connected with a lot of people in the gem um, trade. The other thing is, when we're looking to buy gemstones, because we are a, and I, I say this carefully, but because we are a cash richer business, there's not a lot of money tied up in what we're doing because we retail very, everything very, very fast. That allows us to go to not just the JCK and the trade shows, but we can go beyond that. We've got connections that are literally at the mine. We'd have people that will be cutting out the middle of it. Often, if I was a jeweler standalone and I wanted to buy a paparaccia sapphire stone, a single cut faceted gem quality stone, I'd have to go through somebody who'd have to go through somebody, who'd have to go through somebody, who'd have to go through somebody. And you get where I'm going here, don't you? And all of those somebodies, funnily enough, they're businesses. So they need paying. Helen in Flintshire says, Hi Derek, uh, I have two paparaccia rings bought from Gems years ago. They're beautiful. Yeah, they are. Exceptional. But the thing is, the availability isn't there anymore. If you wanted larger gem weight paparaccia sapphires, you're about 10 years too late. Now, I have to tell you, and they are, are amazing summer gemstones as well. The sunrises, the sunsets in Paparaccia are just incredible. Now, we've got quite a sizable strand on offer as our deal of the day today, and you are incredibly lucky, let me tell you. There is no other company that can do what we are doing right now. Even our own gem collector business is going to struggle to offer you as many as we have actually today. Remind me again of the number, Tom, of today's deal of the day. Okay. And again, that's quite extraordinary. Can you believe there's 150 of these? It is, a, it is an extraordinary amount. That's a, that's a big yes. parcel Given of stones. Given the rarity. That's a big parcel of stones. I mean, it is, it is how we do things, and quite often what we will do is actually trade one parcel of stones for a, another, because there will always be one that that tips the scales. It may be because of our amazing access to something like Tanzanite that we would actually trade a parcel of Tanzanite because we're so well connected there to have what we want here in terms of Paparaccia Sapphire. Now, right, one more, okay, right. I'm just gonna take you to a first price and then I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna give you a cast iron guarantee that comes directly from the company chairman. First price tag is here at three hundred and seventy nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Now, how have we come to that? Bear in mind the difference between this strand and this necklace here online is findings. Right? 
So the only difference between our strand and actually, to be honest with you, the colour there, and again, I'm not knocking this company at all, due respect and love, etc., etc., but the colour consistency is a bit too consistent in there. It is most likely that that has been given a beryllium infusion, which is, uh, which is a treatment can, that can even out the colour all the way around. Now, this one, this one, uh, personally speaking, I think is a little bit more reflective of a true paparaccia sapphire because you have got a variance in colour going right the way around. Remember, the difference between our strand and this piece here again is findings. Now that's 220 pounds and 61 pence. Well, listen, findings, that's the easy bit, isn't it? That's the bit we could bring you those all day, every single day. Do you know what I mean? That's not an issue. They're not rare. So we've beaten that price already at 199.99. Now, let me tell you, as a company, I know that our, our founding father, Steve Bennett, chairman of our company still to this day, will never compromise and will never allow us to compromise too on the essential ingredients, the essential colour mix that makes up paparaccia. Um, you know, our business is all about the story of the gem. It's all about the sourcing of the gem. It's all about going directly to the source for the gem as well. That's not to say as well that we will, we will not compromise. So we won't say, oh, you know what, it's close enough. It's got two out of the three colours we're looking for. Let's just call it paparaccia because there is a natural premium to it being paparaccia. There's another clock on your screen. <laughs> this is the culmination of all Tom's stress this morning coming out <laughs> in one, isn't it? Listen, everything, everything that has led up to this auction so far... <laughs> there have been so many conversations this morning about the price that this is going to be. And no one, absolutely no one, I, I think, has still made a final decision here. So, we're at 99.99. Now, let's be under no illusion. This is confirming price tag. This is the only... This is the only paparaccia sapphire piece that we have in the whole jewellery maker company. In Gemporia, we saw, what, two pieces of, uh, of jewellery with paparaccia coloured sapphire. We are not done, but this is confirming point. This is the point to come on in and place your bid. Because actually you're in control of this. You're in control of this. Oh, hello. That's with rose gold plated. So it just shows That's you how beautiful awesome. it looks with the... Look at that. Yeah. I'm just, and I'm going to start adding to that. So. That's incredible. Just where, as it catches the light as you're, yeah, 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 you're moving. Yeah. As every sapphire does. Of course, that is the characteristics of the Corundum family as well, is that not only have they got this amazing body colour, but they've got this incredible sparkle to them as well. Every luster on a sapphire, I think, is gorgeously satisfying. That is amazing. And do you know what? Even the TV cameras can't do it justice because actually it's only when you're looking at it. It's so funny, you know, with the rose gold findings, it's almost like the sapphire is absorbing a yes. little bit of that coppery tone the from the pinks. rose gold. Yeah. And it's picking out those beautiful pinks within yeah. the stone. So okay. These are, yeah. Okay. 64 pounds and 99 pence. Right, so that's a third, that's a third off the price we were just at. Now, there will be a point at which we have to say, okay, guys, look, the deal we did was great, but we have to stop at some point. We're way beyond that already. We are way beyond that kind of territory already. Um, the size of the strand, by the way, and I'll keep showing you the bracelet, but it's, it's a full uh, 20 centimeter strand. So you've got, I mean, look at all of that color variance going on there. Gosh. Honestly, that's so, so beautiful. That's perfect lotus flower as well, isn't it? Again, look at this slide and you can see, if we just lower the graphics for a second, if we can, just so you can see, you see the blue um, or, or the pen circle there that's sort of been circled. 
you've got the reds, you've got the oranges, you've got the pinks, you've got that perfect balance as well, which doesn't happen often in sapphire either. Usually they are very, very singular colored stones. I can't think of many sort of bi-colored or tri-colored um, sapphires. And that's where the demand is in the marketplace. Oh gosh, look. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there's another clock coming. <laughs> oh blimey, I feel like I need to run out of here pretty quickly <laughs> after this, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be chased Are you out. I'm gonna be in trouble. I'm gonna be chased out, I think. Um, yeah, it is incredible. And I can't, I can't tell you how few times in jewelry makers history that we've had this kind of opportunity. Yes. Um, and I don't know whether we will have that. Yeah, paparazzi colour quartz, um, simulant gemstones, heated and coated and you know, this, that and the other done to them, which you know what, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I'm not knocking it in any way, shape or form because when it comes to the satisfaction of paparazzi, it's, it's such a popular summer colour as well, it really is. I mean, look, that's stunning. And the colour is just delicious. Okay, right, five seconds. It's a one-off opportunity there. Good luck, everyone. Right, we've had so many discussions, so many discussions, some of which I've been involved with, some of which I've been hearing vicariously <laughs> through the last however many hours, two and a half hours. There has been so much debate about what the price should be here. Um, but all things considered, Scott has decided <laughs> uh, $49.99 is going to be your price tag um, for this one. It is incredible. It probably isn't repeatable either, to be honest with you. Uh, it's one of those opportunities. Deal of the day should just be that, shouldn't it? An absolutely unforgettable opportunity. An incredible window of opportunity. You think of all the colours this team's up with as well. You think of all the different designs that you could create with the colours that you've got here. You think of the other gemstones that this will go with as well. It'll go things with things like your kunzites and morganites. It will work beautifully uh, with your garnets and your, olive, uh, your orange gemstones as well. Think your mandarin garnets. Think about your rubies as well. Think about so much that this will go with as well. So, Hayley, how often have you had this gemstone to work with? Oh, I don't know if I've actually ever had it to no. work with. No. We hear about it. It's like one of those legends, isn't it? It's like when you hear the word Alexandra, you go, where? Yes. Where? Where? I'll have it straight away. Um, we're at 49.99. I just need to get the gem um, buyer's guide again, just a second, because, oh, sorry, that was the chair. Um, just looking at, and, and this is quite, this is out of date information now as well, because this is for July and August last year. So pretty much this time last year, the gem buyer's guide for Corundum Paparaccia, um, even, right, so let's go, uh, even upper middle upper commercial grade paparaccia, you are looking for a one to two carat stone, two hundred to three hundred and fifty dollars wow. for per stone. Now that's oh sorry, that's a one to two. Um, even if we took, yeah. So even if we took the lower end, we'd be talking over three thousand pounds potentially. For a thirty, for a sixteen carat um, haul here. Oh gosh, Davinia, yes. yes, you're so it so really right. Would. Yeah, Thai black spinel. This would go amazingly with because they because they sparkle like black diamonds, don't they? That's incredible. Right, ladies and gentlemen, keep checking out on that one. Amazing, amazing deal. Right, let's bring you some cognac zircon now. Now, Ollie, who recorded um, this cognac zircon, sometimes known as cinnamon zircon, it's being likened more to chocolate diamonds these days as well because it's so, so popular. Because people are looking for uh, gemstones left and right of the diamond equivalents because diamonds, a lot of people are being priced out of the diamond market completely. Zircon, you know, I hope I don't need to explain the whole um, 
zircon is a real gemstone thing. Because I know sometimes we forget to have this conversation that people see the word zircon and they go, oh yeah, like cubic zirconia. Mm. And listen, I'm not knocking cubic zirconia. Oh, a lot amazing. of it is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. But zircon is a real gemstone. Predates the diamond by billions of years, by the way, um, and gives you some of the most satisfying luster, refractive index, brilliance, fire. I mean, it's, it's kind of got everything. Now, listen, they say, don't they, that if zircon had been marketed the way diamonds were, the price tag on this gemstone would be a very, very, very different affair. If you think about it, it's essentially the same thing. Yeah. It was, it was that diamonds were championed and marketed in a certain way. And of course, once the toothpaste is out of the tube, then that's it. Very difficult to get it back in, isn't it? Um, zircon. Look at the size of the nuggets. I was just going to say, I don't think I've seen them that size before. No, no. No, 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 no. Even when I see full, right, your price tag is not 49.99 by the way, so make the call right now or or add it to your basket, add it to your order, do whatever you need to do, but but get this as quickly as you possibly can because this is super super fiery as well. It I, I don't think it's really being picked up in the studio, but sadly Television studios and lighting that we have in television studios often is the worst way to actually see gemstones. Your own two eyes and broad daylight are the best way to see them, to be honest with you. But you are seeing lots and lots of depth of colour here as well. Right. OK, it's another deal of the day. We've been, you know, we've been, we've been promising you not just the paparaccia today, but it's like a triple whammy deal of the day today. That's incredible. I mean... How how much in carat weight must that be just on its own? We started with just under 100 chances here. Grab it quickly while you can. 19 pounds and 99 pence. We're looking at 35 more chances. Go, 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 go. 0800 644 And... They're so workable, Hayley, as well, because you can set these in so many different ways, yeah, can't you? Yeah, you can use one at a time as a single pendant. You can mix them up with spinel again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They look amazing. It was amethyst would look amazing. Anything, actually, because it's quite a neutral colour, isn't it? And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's just gorgeous. And it's got interest to it. It's got hidden depths with it. It's got everything that a satisfying gemstone needs as well. It's got wonderful luster from really, really interesting... Um, facets all the way around. You've got huge carrot weight going on. You've got a wonderful variance of colour. You've got fire going on in there as well. It's tremendous. 19.99. Uh, so many of you coming through. Right, last 15 opportunities for those. Congratulations. Right, let's move on to. We've got blue zircon. Now, where is this blue zircon from, Tom? <laughs> Okay, right, yeah, it is. It's Cambodian blue zircon. Actually, do you know what? These have been fashioned almost like they're ready to go straight into jewellery as well. Because, look, oh, it's, it's almost like they've been preformed. Yes. But then they, then they kind of stopped at a certain point, <laughs> isn't it? It's almost like, oh, these, these were almost destined to be cushion cuts for jewellery. Um, and, and for whatever reason, they, they weren't. Well, actually, They're I think um, rough nuggets are becoming more and more on trend. Oh, completely. I've even seen diamonds cut like that. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, it's amazing to see diamonds like that. I've seen, like, polky diamonds like that as well, yeah. and I think they are super, super cute. Right, now, listen, blue gemstones, we all love blue gemstones. This is very much like an aquamarine um, kind of tone of colour, but hugely, you know, with the saturation turned up to max. Um, and then you've got that diamond sparkle going on because again zircon highly refractive this is utterly natural tom right as well yeah we're just right just a little bit of heat treatment and all that does was just in enhances the color totally accepted um in gemstone treatments it's amazing tom says he goes red when he's heated up which has probably been most of this morning so far actually <laughs> yeah since we got here at uh, at seven o'clock. Well, some of us were here before seven o'clock. 
Right, okay, well done already. There's lots of people grabbing this one. £24.99. Well, I have to tell you that a single... Oh, this is not the price, by the way. So come on in right now. We sell in, in finished jewellery, obviously, you know, utter, complete, asher-cut gem quality, a very, very tiny carat weight in gold, and you're looking at 250, 300 pounds instantly. Right, okay, deal of the day price tag. Here it comes. <laughs> oh dear, I don't think I'll be back. 14.99. Tell you what, we've made the most of it though, haven't we? <laughs> 14 pounds and 99 pence. Oh, this is not a good morning for the business, is it? <laughs> this is not a good morning for the business. Yeah? It's like a legal smash and grab here at JM this morning. <laughs> Blimey. I'm going to get carted off by the price police. I just know it. Uh, and the boss is in at 11 o'clock. And there's no way. I can't. I can't. Yeah. I have to, you have to go in and come out the same way of this studio. So I can't, I can't avoid him on the way out. Well, I think he's going to. I think it's a day. That's how the day is going to be. So I think you might get away with it today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you watch the naughty things he does from 11. Yeah. You know what I mean? This this will be a walk in the park compared to uh, what Scott's going to do at 11 o'clock. £14.99. Uh, Maria, well done. Karen in Lancashire, maker in Essex, maker. Uh, Pat, other makers there as well. Congratulations. Well done. Right, next. This one. This one. Oh, OK. We've got now lots and lots of former deal of the days, which we're going to... Um, Show you again. Look. Oh, okay. What we got? Oh, wow. are these all Ethiopian? Oh, my crikey. Right. Okay. Which one we're starting with? Oh, my crikey. Okay. Right, less than 50 chances on all of them. Which one first? Okay, start with the orange. Oh, okay. Right, we've had dinner the day. Oh, now it's time for a steal of the day, apparently. <laughs> OK, Ethiopian opal can be dyed any colour. So it all starts as white opal, then they can dye it any colour, but you don't lose the colour play. There's the headline. So this time we've got orange. Now, orange uh, opal, when you dye it, and sometimes they use a sugar solution to dye um, the white opal to orange. Oh, really? Apparently, that, that does the trick, apparently. But you actually get, predominantly, it's difficult to see the colour plate in the studio, but you get predominantly a green colour plate from an orange opal, yeah, funnily can, enough. You can see it. Actually. Yeah. So, think mandarin garnet with a little bit of a, a foliage colour play going on. That's what orange opal is going to give you. Right, we've got nine carrots in rounds here, so they graduate from two to five. These, super, super satisfying. These, these I would want, because I, I love pure, unadulterated Ethiopian opal, but I also love the ones that have been dyed, particularly, and I think, Tom, can I, can I just say, word to the wise, do the blue last. I'll tell you why in a bit. Right. It was just produced from the floor now, Derek. <laughs> Honestly, that's it. Just, just yeah, disgrace you yourself with everyone. You can see the product, everyone. so you've got yeah, the yeah, insider yeah. knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially on Opal. Honestly, it's my gem. Uh, Forty-nine ninety-nine. Yeah, uh, Forty-nine ninety-nine. Absolutely nowhere near. Absolutely nowhere near. This is ridiculous. Simply add some findings to this. You've got the most satisfying bracelet, but I would actually use these sparingly with other colours as well. Oh, uh, Mandy says, tangerine opal is beautiful. I have a few strands and it's mesmeric. Highly recommended. Yeah, it is. It's just beautiful. Oh, excuse me, I've got windy pops. Um, <laughs> that's because I've been talking too much this morning. <laughs> Honestly, it has to come out eventually, doesn't it? Um, yeah, Mandy, you're absolutely right. It's gorgeous. And, and get as many different colours as you can. And go search on the website for more to if we've got other colours as well, because um, that is just superb. To, to maintain that colour plate. That's why they dye these opals and they actually use a, a sugar solution. Uh, I don't know quite how sugar and opal creates orange. I don't quite... It's molasses, I guess. When yeah, it's, I, there's a bit of heat involved. I suppose it must be. Um, but that's all they do. But nothing you do to dyeing drowns out the colour plate. Yeah. And I love that. 
but what it does with the orange is it majors on the uh, on the green. I first came across Orange Opal, somewhere completely a different company actually, um, but it was it was amazing, amazing to see because there's very few gemstones that are orange that can give you a second dimension. But of course, Opal, Opal is like a magician in the gem world, isn't it, really? Because it, it, it has lots of these sort of hidden treasures and hidden secrets as well, doesn't it? And I love it. I love it for its colour play. Um, anyone that, that, that believes the nonsense about, oh, Opal's a bad luck and they contain tears, codswallop. Absolute rubbish. I don't know where those stories came from, but nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Right, which one do you want to do next, Tom? Pink or green? Pink, yeah. Right, let's see what we get with pink. Actually, with pink, now I'm not sure how they do the colour change to pink, to be honest with you, but it will be another dyeing process, I would imagine. Um, but with pink, you get all of the pin fire um, yeah. uh, colour play. So instead of just getting one major, you get actually loads of variant colour play in this one, almost like the traditional pin fire rainbow colour play. Can you see it? Difficult sometimes. Sometimes I need to shield shield studio light to show you in fact actually there's the daylight view so the lamp in that it simulates daylight so that's going to give a much better and truer idea than the studio will okay straight down straight down to 19.99 i've never I, I mean i've seen i've seen natural um opaque pink opals peruvian pink opals you can think of um, and there are a couple of other places as well that I've completely forgotten. I've gone out of my head for now, but that's amazing. So this is Ethiopian. This is Ethiopian willow opal, which has simply been dyed and colour changed to a different colour. But you get, I know, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know how changing the body colour of a white opal or a clear opal, jelly opal as we used to describe it from Mintabi in Australia, can actually keep all the colour play. That's Mother Nature for you, though. She's darn good at what she does, isn't she? Amazing. Right, let's do green now. Now, when we changed orange, we got a dominance of the green colour plate. So, and I don't... Hmm, have I seen green before? I don't think I have, actually. So let's see what colour... Oh, OK, we get everything again. So we get everything again. Um, and you are going to... Oh, yeah. Right, you will Look see that. that. Yeah. It's almost like little... Um, little coloured strobe lights or... Somebody's left the Christmas tree lights on in the back of the gem. Do you know what I mean? It's like, you think, how's that happening? That's like pure alchemy, pure magic, isn't it? It's like little it's aliens. Stunning. <laughs> <laughs> aliens are going to hatch. Oh, God, don't add that as another myth. <laughs> Honestly, people always already think they're, uh, they're containing tears. <laughs> Alien eggs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's beautiful, though. That Look, is you, stunning, isn't it? Because you're thinking, there's no other colour influence. It's all within the opal itself. Right, nine carat strand. Oh, honestly, Ethiopian opal is, and what they've done with it. Whoever discovered, whoever discovered dying Ethiopian, because you can only do it with jelly opal. You couldn't do it with, if you had Cubapedi opal, oh, you wouldn't go anywhere near that with <laughs> anything that dyed the colour. Could you imagine? Step They'd be like, stop! <laughs> you would be committing absolute gemstone heresy, wouldn't you? Yes. Uh, if you're going anywhere near a Cubapedi opal uh, with, with a dye. Let me just dip this in something and change its colour. <laughs> yeah, insanity. But the Ethiopian opal, because it is, because it is hydrophaning, because it's clear, um, it will take on a colour. It will take on a colour. Right, OK. Now, the reason I wanted to do, the, do this and leave it to the last is because one... Actually, let me... Let me because we'll see the colour, I think. Oh, no, we won't, actually, will we? Hang on, let's see. It's like potato, potato, isn't it? <laughs> right. Now, this... Uh, yeah, right. Can I just tell you, again, studio's not giving you the best impression, unfortunately, of the colour plate. Yeah. Right. Have a look in the, um, in the recording there. Let me just tell you something just very, very quickly. When it comes to opals and when it comes to opals with colour plate, the most popular opal in the world, fat and the most expensive, um, was, was Lightning Ridge Black Opal in Australia. That's the reason why. Is it really, Ollie? What, Lightning Ridge? 
Black Lightning Ridge Opal is said to be, Ollie's just told me that, I didn't even know that, it's said to be 500 more uh, valuable than gold. Wow. Well, I think I'd rather have the gold, wouldn't you? Don't quote me on that, but I'm, I'm, I'm interested in hearing more on that. Anyway, listen. So, the most expensive, the most desirable, the most popular, and now the most unavailable is Lightning Ridge Black Opal. So, what they discovered in Wello, in, in Ethiopia, where this opal is found, is you can dye it as dark as you like. You can dye it to black if you want to, and they are dyeing it to black to create that that second chance to have the wow factor of Lightning Ridge Black Opal that you can't have from Lightning Ridge anymore in Australia. Um, and, that's, and that's pretty much what they've done here. Because if you think about the depth of the blue there, you've got beyond, beyond a tanzanite blue, beyond a sapphire blue, haven't you? You've got a, a little twist and a hint of a, a purplish tone as well. This is magical. This is magical. Right, let's see where we're going on this. This will be the one. Uh, how many do we have, Tom? 25. It's nothing. 25 of an opportunity like this on Jewelry Maker is nothing. 19.99. Look, and again, you are getting the full range of color play as well. I love it. It's brilliant. Right. Multi-buy, multi-buy, multi-buy. Do not be shy to multi-buy. Uh, just absolutely check out as quickly as you possibly can. Hayley, this is ridiculous. It is really. It's absolutely beautiful. I would take one of those and put it on a cord. Yeah. Like a friendship bracelet. Mm -hmm. That's all you need. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. That's all you need. Uh, 19 99 Right, stay right where you are because they will be sold out in a second. Speaking of cord. Oh, we've got oh, some pearl knotting it. cords. Oh, this is. Okay. This is elasticity. So this isn't. Oh, this is, is this not for pearl knotting? Oh, this is like, like elastic for, for any stretches, isn't it? Oh, I tell you what, I've never seen, some of the things that we've seen today, never seen in this kind of range of colors. I mean, it, it was clear, invisible or nothing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and what do these babies do then? Oh, is this for threading the beads onto, isn't it? Oh, how inc oh, incredible. That's so you don't, you don't just get one of those, by the way, you get, Three of those, uh, which is brilliant. Beadalon, they're just so, they're just so good at what they do. And because these stretchy um, these stretchy cords are made up of multiple fibres, so it's not just one strand, so it doesn't have a single weakness, does it? Which I think is really really good. Um, it is a 0.7 millimeter gauge, and you've got all of those different colours going on there. So you've got the, your your neutrals and your muted, if you like, the white, the grey, the brown, and the black. You've got kind of summer colours there in the centre, or summer stroke seasonal, I guess, in the middle. Uh, plus, of course, you've got those three needles as well. Right then. Now I'm trying to think of the last time, I don't think I've ever seen the coloured ones, to be honest no, with you. I, I guess the coloured ones come at a premium as well, do they? They must do, but I, rem I used to um, design for high street brands, mm -hmm. and their elastication on any bracelets, they needed the longer multi-strand elastic mm -hmm. for the very reason you pointed out yes because otherwise like, people walking back into them two days later yes, aren't they and yeah. saying oh, i bought this from you but it was rubbish yeah. it snapped so this is the industry standard yeah it has to be multi-stranded because that because that gives it the the extra strength that it needs oh did you oh okay uh tom launched these as a deal of the day and the price tag was meant to be here how long are you getting on each cord it tell you five five meters five meters of each one that's incredible because you're not going to need you're not going to need to buy this again for a long long time are you no. oh that's brilliant right so we were meant to go here as a deal of the day price tag oh, Derek strikes again don't worry, <laughs> don't worry I'm out of here in 16 minutes <laughs> and then you watch the deal start <laughs> then you watch the deal start. Oh my word. Right, 10 chances. I wouldn't even hazard a guess. Because uh, these are a specialist thing, aren't they? They've obviously been made to more of a retail size. Did you? 
Yeah, see, see, that's really, really good. Right, we are going to, with the three needles as well, remember, because it comes with those two, you're looking at $29.99 for the whole jolly lot. I've never seen, when you're looking at a, a stretch, I, I thought there was only one dimension you could go in, which is like an invisible look. Actually, that makes sense, doesn't it? So that's working out. £2.50 each. It's five metres of each of the, what? One, two, three, four, eight, 12 different colours going on there. Plus, you've got the three needles as well. Oh, is that metallics, is it? Oh, sorry, I thought it was a... Is it? Is it like a coppery colour? Well, yeah, I guess it would be, wouldn't it? I really want to open that now. Can I open that? Can I open that? Well, who's going to say no now? <laughs> you know how, on, uh, how with everyone, there's a good little, there's a good little thing there, yeah. and there's the bad little thing there. Yes. Oh, it, it is does. almost like coppery, yes. isn't it? Yes. That's lovely, that. Oh, that's good. So you've got the white, you've got the silver. Oh, that'd be good for things like um, labradorite and things like that. That yes. brings out the colour play. Yeah. I mean, awesome. um, through quartz beads, clear quartz beads, they yep. will look fantastic, won't Definitely. They? Uh, beautiful. Please. Oh, we've got too many in baskets, apparently. Uh, so please make sure that you check those out as quick as you possibly can. And I'm sorry for undoing the packaging, King. I'm so sorry. So sorry. So sorry. Uh, so we think after today, they will be gone, gone, gone. Right. What we got next? <gasps> it will be. And a half. Let me tell you. No, I'm not guessing. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just not guessing. No, I've been up since midnight. I'm not <laughs> guessing. That would be very, very dangerous of me to do. But we have got a bonus star buy right now. Can you believe he asked me to guess? <laughs> Knowing everything he knows this morning, can you believe he asked me to guess? <laughs> can you believe that? Oh, we're back on the telly again. <laughs> <laughs> that, that does show confidence in his pricing there. Yes, yes, it certainly does. And, and we have broken Tom this morning, let me tell you. He's, he's lost all of his resolve. Which is good. I'm quite glad. The plan paid off. <laughs> See, it's worked. It's all been a naturally. I'm perfectly <laughs> wide awake, really. Uh, yeah, I only wish that were true. Right. Full strand of graduated rose quartz beads. Genuine. Look at the consistency of colour all of the way through. Look at everything you've got there. And that is the entirety of the strand there. OK. Hayley, why don't you have a guess? Because I'm, oh, I'm no. just, I shouldn't be left okay. with this kind of thing. So. Yeah, I'd say about thirty-five pounds. Okay. For rose quartz, remember the difference between this strand and a two hundred and fifty pounds necklace is findings. Hello, do we all have findings? Even I have findings. <laughs> One hundred and eighty-five carats of rose quartz. Okay. Well, <laughs> we've beaten Haley's guess. <laughs> by a fiver. <laughs> Anyone jumping for joy? Anyone? <laughs> anybody? Anybody? Anybody want to jump for joy? No. No, no, and thrice no. Right, here we go. Thrice. It means three times, Tom. Write it down <laughs> in your own little dictionary there. Once, twice, thrice. $24.99. That's more like it. That's more like it. Now, the size of the biggest one there, 14 millimetre round. Oh, my crikey. And see how even the colour tone is all the way through. And au naturel, Tom, au naturel, au naturel, all the way from Brazil. He's going again. Going again. <laughs> right, you guessed £35, Hayley. Look, I'll just give you a bit of context across the room there. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? 
Why, why, why would you even go there, Derek? Why, 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 would, you, why, why would you even go there? I was With your tropical shirt, it would look... Good. I was booked for my body, you see. That's the problem. Uh, 1999. Check out as quickly as you possibly can on that one. But not at 1999. This is like an extra, extra deal of the day. I'm a bit worried now. 1799. That's the kind of strand you don't really need to do much with. You just need to no. restring it, findings. Yeah. You could maybe replace one of the beads with a pearl. Yeah, and absolutely. Then keep one of them for something else as a pain. Definitely. Well, the difference between this it's what's tr it's Teresa Teresa and West. Oh, you're guessing Teresa, right? Oh, thank you, Teresa. Oh, and are we sending through are we sending through dream prices now? <laughs> that's good. Well, that's fine. I'll, I'll, could, you can take over from me. I'll just sit here and I've got a cup of tea here. It's very stone cold by now, but... Talking of stone, Scott's here in a moment. <laughs> well, I'll just, I'll just let the presenters guess the price. Uh, they're, 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 the, um, uh, the customers. Teresa. We should have got Teresa on the phone. <laughs> I'm producing from the floor. Teresa's producing from home. Well, it's it's the way these days. There you go, Teresa. You got it. Eight ninety nine. Amazing. Oh, okay. Now you've started something. Judy, well done. Linda, well done. Uh, Elaine, well done. Good morning. Right, we're at we're at seven ninety nine. What 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 more can we do? What more can we do? What more can we do? How many have we got? You're going to have to be quick. Uh-oh. The difference between this and a £250 necklace is some findings. Six pounds, 49 pence. We're going to be absolutely oversubscribed before we know it. Well, listen, if, 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 this is, if this is one of my last two rahs this morning, <laughs> imagine what Scott's coming in with at 11 o'clock. Six pounds, 49 pence. He's got some amazing pearls coming your way, I know that. Uh, everyone's upping their order right now. Oh, you <laughs> cheeky, cheeky monkeys. Well done. I would as well. Yeah, at that price. I... Absolutely would. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Good choice. Good choice. I thought they they were all going to jump off there. Uh, imagine the jadeite early bird with those. Do you know, I really want I, 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 to... Do you know, the, the struggle I'm having with this auction is I want to keep saying kunzite. I really do. It's got that colour, doesn't and it? And then I want to keep saying morganite. You know, like rose quartz, if you, if you said guess the gemstone, it would be quite a few other gemstones mm. before I got to rose I quartz, to be honest with you. I it was morganite. Yeah. Mm. It, does, it does look like morganite beads. It's yeah. stunning and looks amazing here in the room. I mean, that's amazing, isn't it? £6.49. Over half the stock sold out and gone. I mean, yeah, I'm so sorry to the team upstairs again. I am going to absolutely have to... I think, actually, I saw, I saw a wig in the Gems TV studio, so I might have to leave the building in disguise. <laughs> don't worry, I'll take the shirt off first. <laughs> um, Mar I don't know why there's a wig next door. I have no idea why. There's all kinds of really strange things next door, let me tell you. We are a strange bunch at Gems TV. Uh, Christine in South Yorkshire, Kim in Bristol, well done. Maker in Surrey, Maker in Dorset. So many of you joining us this morning. It's just gone bonkers. It really has. I hope Scott's not on his way yet. Uh, £6.49 for all of that gorgeous, gorgeous rose quartz. I'll tell you what, amazing. What have we got coming up at, um, at 12 with you, Hayley? Uh, we've got some really lovely kits that have got um, multiple, they're almost uh, like satellite type celestial. Ooh. Yes. One, yeah, Ooh. one's got lapis, I believe. Uh, sterling silver and one's gold plated with uh, malachite. Malachite. Yes. So I'm going to be. It's about time malachite was the star. Let yes. me tell you. 
It's been an accenting forgotten gemstone for too long. It deserves its place in the sun. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, look, look at how quickly you've, yeah. I'm not going to nag about checking out your baskets. I'm not going to nag about checking out your baskets, Jack's in Norfolk, Helen in Lincolnshire, uh, Cheryl in Greater Manchester, Teresa in West Yorkshire. I'm not nagging Maker in Surrey or Dorset or Karen in Worcestershire. I'm not doing it. I refuse to. I'm not a nagger. <laughs> Jade in Devon, I'm not nagging you at all. But what a deal. Keep checking out on that one. Right, OK, one, one more wow. for me, and then I'm going to leave you because I do need to go to sleep, I do. <laughs> I do, I've been up far too long. And I am back at Gems, yeah, back on Gems TV tonight. Are you tonight. really? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, so it's fine, listen. It's fine, I'm hardcore. I'm only, you know, <laughs> I mean, I'm in the first fl flush of my youth, I'll be fine. Right, picture Jasper, I wish, Ollie. Ah, oh, thank you, Deb. I will, I'll, I'll, um, I'll come back, next time I come back, I'll come back. How about I'll, I'll do it awake? That would be, that would be a bit of a bonus. I think you'd be pretty sprightly today. Well, not bad considering. Yeah. There have been some moments where I've been like, um, who am I? <laughs> what am I? What am I doing? In fact, what am I doing right now with this? Let me, let me, sh let me <laughs> you show you again. went off into a, another I world. I did, <laughs> in, into a haze. I'm trying to show you the colour here, actually. There you go. That looks a bit ridiculous from there, but just shows you, I mean, picture Jasper, every single one completely and utterly unique. You know sometimes when you find that fur, perfect, perfect pebble on the beach that's a little bit yes, heart-shaped, yes. it puts you in mind of that, doesn't it? I go fossil hunting quite a lot, and this is I usually end up bringing back a little heart-shaped stone. <laughs> no fossils. <laughs> We're at 9.99 right now. And that is lovely because it's beautifully organic. Do you know what I would want to put that with, Hayley? What's that? Baltic amber. Yes. Absolutely Baltic yes. amber all the way. Do we do bicones yet in Baltic amber? Because that would be amazing. I think they do actually. Do they? Yes. Let's see that. Um, Baltic amber, uh, amber bicones would be amazing. Actually, this would work for gents as well because actually, mm. even though they they are heart shaped, when they're all together. You don't, you, you don't really see the heart no. shape, you just see a continuation, don't it's you? It's not obvious, it looks almost triangular. Yes. So I'm just thinking a guy could rock this as well, you know, a bit surfer dude look. That, I love that. What do you think? Yes. There you go, that's what it looks like in a real man. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best one you've told all day, Derek. Uh, brilliant. Now, check those out at £9.99. pence. Hayley, thank you very much for thank tolerating you. me. Bless oh, you. You've done it's extraordinarily been... well. I would have been on the floor. <laughs> it's been lovely to see you. Yes, you too. Uh, it's been lovely to see you as well. But don't move a muscle because you've got the boss in next, a proper presenter, and he's the boss. He can press any button he likes. And hopefully he'll relieve Tom's stress in some kind of way. Hope he's got the big yellow tablet and plenty of water. Stay right where you are. <laughs> Scott's here after the break. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. 
Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. <laughs> I just nervously looked at Haley then and went, is this happening? Are we, are we doing are we doing this? It was the three, two, oh, I'm doing this again. <laughs> here I am. Here Hello, we go. Simon. Hello, Ben. Engineers are here. Does that mean things are broken? Oh dear. What have you Hopefully done? Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully not. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, hello. Uh, if you don't know who I am, uh, my name's Scott Stone and I'm the managing director of Gemporia Craft. Um, and I don't often want to present, but here I am now. So um, <laughs> Haley's going to help me through this very much. I'm going to try and um, keep you entertained. We've got the masterclass with Haley at 12, so that's where, that's where Haley comes into her own. Um, but for an hour, we're going to try and do it's some deals and some things. I think <laughs> you're going to have to help me. I will, I will. Um, so uh, Tom's lined up some things. Uh, I've got a few little bits that we might show you later on from when myself and Wayne went to India. Um, so there's a few behind the scenes parts, uh, a few things that I'd like to ask whether you'd want us to bring. Um, so we saw some amazing things out in India. We saw some really top quality gemstones as well that I just want to kind of show, see what you think. Let us know. Keep it interactive. Keep telling us whether you want to see it, whether you don't want to see it. Um, there's, some, there's some really amazing things we saw, yeah. Hayley. I loved good. every second of it. It was very good. 
so, so you're talking gemstones. I mean, this is my territory here. So there so. was gemstones. So there was some incredible new gemstones that we saw, some incredibly high-quality tanzanite that oh, we saw. Really? There's an image there, but there's some other things that we saw that was really next level. Yeah, why not? Yes. So Ollie's just going to show you. So this is one of the... So this is the tanzanite that was shown at one of the suppliers incredible. who we've very recently just started working with out in India. Um, on the left-hand side, so the long kind of bunch, is top, top quality tanzanite, some of the best that we've ever seen and some of the team in India have seen. Um, and not to do a disservice to anything that we've bought you before, but some of the kind of tanzanite that we've bought at, say, £20, £24, £25 pound, is on the right-hand side of that photo. So that's the quality difference in between. Yes. And we've never bought that level of tanzanite to you. So wow. we're hopefully going to bring that in the next couple of weeks and months. So... Um, there's a few more images that I'll, we'll show later on as we go through. There's a few behind the scene ones of me, Wayne and the team as well. There's a shot of um, the skyline in Jaipur, which again, I'll show you in a bit. But, you know, I might as well talk about India as I will. Absolutely. It's amazing. It's yeah. good. Yeah. Because yeah, well, we so. want to know what's coming up and yeah. Yeah, whet our appetites. So that's the, t that's the team. So that's me, Wayne and the team. So you've got Sharmil who heads the team out there and our man who looks after a lot of the jewellery maker stuff. Um, and then some of the other team that subsequently work under it as well. So, yes, um, I've worked with so them. Aman is next to Sharmil. Sharmil's next to me. Aman's okay. next to Sharmil in the glasses. Yes, yeah, okay. grey shirt. Um, so Aman is the jewellery maker guy. He's the one who helps us and sorts absolutely everything out for us out in Patience of a saint. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. So any brief that us and the guest designers give or any of the rest of the team give often goes straight to Aman, and Aman is... Aman and his team work magic to get things here. They do. We've got uh, some natural pearls coming up. We've got lots of new things that I've blessed to do. Um, we're going to do the natural pearls at half past, uh, so half past 11, so tune in for that. Uh, and we're going to kick off with uh, something that we shouldn't change the price of. Often when I'm here, I end up doing things I should tell everybody not to do. Really, <laughs> so I'm really sorry about this. Do as I say. Um, yeah, do as I say and not as I do. Um, so we're going to kick off with some lever back earrings, I believe. I'll try and show these in the best possible way. That we, I'll do this and then uh, my ears aren't pierced so I obviously won't be putting them in. Um, <laughs> so you're getting five pairs and they're uh, 925 sterling silver lever back earrings. Um, they're 16 millimetres approximately, so um, quite substantial. And again, often, often with our essentials, we uh, get them in, we bring reasonable quantities of essentials in because we want them we want them to stay on our website. We want these to be able to be always purchased by you guys. So we do have quite a decent quantity of this. However, the one thing that we do always do is we remain at a price. We don't change the price. We remain at a price. We, uh, Tom's going to pop that in a second. We remain at a price that we know that we're competitive in the market with. And that's where we want to stay. We want to beat our competitors. However, when we bring them to air, <laughs> that all goes out the window a little bit. And, um, yeah. Fun happens. Fun happens. I've got my laptop with me, so if I look that way at some point, I do some, uh, I do some fun. We've already got people there. We've got Deborah, Lynn, Mary, Wendy, Maker. Thank you so much. Kim's already purchased. He trusts what we're about to do. Um, Hayley, I might need to take this out of shot because I'm going to turn on the laptop okay. and see what we can do. It? Do you reckon? Can we? Yeah. Can we? Ooh, the swap. How did the Passover go there? Did that work? Yes, I think so. It was a bit chaotic. That didn't happen as it happened. That's not much different to normal. <laughs> <laughs> At least we haven't pinged it across the room yet. Yes, exactly. Um, okay, shall we... Uh, Ollie, have we got a clock we could do? Should we do... Let's go 30 seconds. Let's go 30 seconds. Gives me a chance to remember my password because it's telling me I forgot it. Oops. Oh, no. I'll put this in um, a stand so you can see how it hangs. Yeah, I, I forgot my password again. Oh, finally in. One second. Under right. pressure. These new customers. Uh, Tom's just let me know that a few new customers have been on today. So thank you so much for joining us at Jewelry Maker. This is, uh, this is a normal Jewelry Maker. It'll be a little bit normal at 12. This is a little bit unnormal of Jewelry Maker, but we'll take it. Uh, Tom, let's go... Let's do no messing about. Tom, five ninety nine. <laughs> five ninety nine. They have never been near this price point. <laughs> my password wouldn't work on my computer either, so I've just guessed. I've just uh, guessed. <laughs> We're going at five ninety nine. 
Tom, the arrows haven't happened. Are you, are you belittling? We, oh, I regret that now. The computer's kicked in. Sorry. <laughs> 5 99 They have always been. I can see this. I can work this out. 10 99 10 99 10 99 7 99 Oh, my goodness. At 1.799. Get onto social media and tell everybody to tune in. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we're starting with. This is where we're going on. Thank you so much for uh, trusting us. We've got multi-buyers, Maria, uh, Eric, Jenny, Susan, Elizabeth, uh, Maker in Essex, Tracy, Deborah, Jackie. Thank you so much. We do, we do have a reasonable quantity, don't we, Tom? I think we had, do we have 200? It might have been a little bit more. One second, let me just check. Yeah, we had over 200, so please do keep checking out. Thank you for trusting us. We've got a lot of people with it in their baskets. That's over half the quantity has just gone. <laughs> Wendy, Linda, so it's just about four. Yes, would you be and stocking up on this? Area? Yes, absolutely. These are the kinds of things that you always need. And lever backs in particular, because people find that other hooks can loosen out of the ear easily. So if you want more security, lever backs or stars. There you go. Haley said it herself. These have the stamp of Haley's. All right, I'm going to now. I've opened it up. Oh. There's an open. Yes, and it's easy to manage that. It's not like um, a butterfly back. You can, it's just levers open and then clicks nicely closed. Yeah. I think that's what, again, from being in India and, and speaking to the team, it's one of the main things that you try and make sure any time that we bring findings that they work for the purpose. The quality So sometimes good. price, the quality then obviously diminishes yes. when price goes down, but we try our hardest to make sure that absolutely everything is spot and works perfectly. Nice. So these do, don't they? They work yeah. click absolutely straight in. So Maria's just bought four. Um, I, maybe I shouldn't say this. Sorry, Carol. I think Carol just did, six. Carol did have one, and now she has six. <laughs> <laughs> I spotted. There's Carol, a, thank there's you. Another, there's a few of them. Yeah. I think a few people went 10.99, had one, and now... Yes, now they've realised. Can anyone top six? That might be the point that we're at. Um, that's so essentially, you're getting... Oh, what's my maths? Six times five is 35. I was just about <laughs> You beat me to it. Beat me to it. There we go. Right, so there's probably, I would say, about 60% of the stock has gone already, so there's probably about... Oh, it was, okay, so there was a little wow. queue on the phone line, Tom's okay. just told me, so please do stick with us. It's a free phone number, please do stick with us. Um, we'll come back if there's any in stock of that, we're just going to move on to another one now. Thank you so much, guys. Ooh, okay, sticking with the silver, sticking with the essentials, sterling silver head pins with the... Um, with the, the, with ball, the ball on top as well. And they're nice yeah. solid ones as well. They're um, substantial, so they are... Sturdy. 30 pieces. 0.4. Yeah, 0.4, yeah, no, 0.64 millimetres. Oh, OK, so they, okay, that's, that is a solid. Yeah, it is quite a solid, aren't it? Yeah. So we've got 30 of them as well, and they're 95 sterling silver. Again, something that we consistently try and stock on our website, maintain on our website, keep in stock always. Um, always at 11.99, I believe, is going to come in when the arrows work. <laughs> there we go. 11.99. Again, Angela, Deborah, Joy, Lynn, Carol, Diane, Kim from Bristol, all of you, thank you so much for trusting us. You're expecting something to happen, and why not? <laughs> Ollie, do we have that 30 seconds again? Or is it we've swapped, haven't we? It's, it's Mike. It's Mike. Hello, Mike. Do we have a clock there? Bear, um, bear, bear with me. I'm calling shots. <laughs> Apologies. Um, we're going to have a clock. Here we go. 29 seconds. 28 seconds. I like the zoom. Ooh. It's fast and furious. I know. Look at that. Can I keep my hands straight? Um, okay. So I think the clock makes me more nervous. Yes, I'm starting to feel anxious. Yeah, because yeah. I'm going to call the price and I don't know what I'm calling. I've, I've, I'm holding my hand so I'm not doing this. And now I'm trying to compete with Tom in my head so you're, as well. You're, you're going with your gut instinct. Huh? Yeah, just how it feels. What does it feel like? I think it feels like £8.45. <laughs> feels very penny. particular. Every single penny. I'm also trying, Tom tells me a price and I try and beat that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's competitive. I'm giving behind, <laughs> behind the scenes. I'll pop it out of shot in a second and show you how many you're getting because you are getting 30. So you're getting, one second, so I'm not showing them all away. This is going to um, 
work with me. I would like all the balls to be facing upwards. So you are getting a pack of 30. Um, thank you so much so for trusting us again. it's 15 pairs of earrings, really. It is 15 pairs of earrings. <laughs> and is it a bubble necklace that people often do with the pin at the bottom? With the yes. ball at the bottom it is, yeah. isn't it? There you go. Yeah. My jewellery making techniques are coming back. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you, Pat, Maria, Judy, Mandy, Claire, Angela, Jean, Maker and Derbyshire. Thank you so much for trusting us again. Um, doesn't look like many people are buying one of those either. No, they? no. Are there any sixes in there? There's no sixes. <laughs> We've got Pauline with five. Okay, close. Yeah, she's close. Five seems to be the magic number. There's yeah. five on the last one as well. Thank you so much for trusting us. Again, always normally uh, 11.99, wasn't it, Tom? I made that right. 11.99. And we've gone to £8.45. Again, we're going to try and get as many um, essentials in and a few other little things as well. We've got a gold chain that's just been popped in. Ooh. I know that we have decent quantity of this one, Tom, so I'm going to... Ooh, the laptop is out for this one. If I can remember my password under the pressure... What is it keep <laughs> locking on me? So, yeah, let's do it. We are going to take it. We're going to take it to the lowest price it's ever been. I'll just put that out for you now. So, trust us, this is going to be the lowest this chain has ever gone to. So again, traditionally always on the website uh, as an essential line within our essentials category at £6.49. And, and Hayley, that's already, I know, I know our chains are fantastically priced. Yes, they are, yeah. So six forty nine is already a brilliant it's price. It's a fantastic price. And again, and I, I personally, when I buy chains, I buy more than one because if I'm making collections, I know I'm going to need extra. So that's an amazing price and you're definitely going to make profit on that. Yeah. And I know a lot of people that I've spoken to as well, they, when they make a piece of jewellery, they often either add a chain to the jewellery or give a chain to the jewellery when they sell yes. the piece. So it's like an essential to it. Yes. And I think that is because of what we do on the price of chains, because yes. they know they can. Yes, yeah. And chains, can you imagine the manufacturing, what needs to, what's involved? Yeah. So it's very technical. Oh, totally. You and couldn't make that by hand. Unbelievable. Unbelievable that we can get it for the price of six forty nine, and we yeah. were able to bring it to air at that price. But that isn't where we're going to be today. Oh. Um, the tension of the clock, I think, is needed again. <laughs> um, it builds it up for me. We're going to go for a you minute like this time. to live time, on the edge. So 60 seconds. <laughs> um, Lynn's already bought four. She knows where we're she, going. Yeah. She, she trusts. Good. Good on Lynn. She's got the inside track. Lynn well, doesn't want to miss she's, out. She's seen the, how this is going now. Really doesn't want to miss out. She knows she knows what's going to happen. She might have unfortunately had to put up with me on air before, <laughs> and, and know what we might do. Um, Den uh, Denise and a couple of other makers are there as well. Uh, Judy's there as well. Thank you so much for trusting us. Thirty-four seconds, and we are not going to stay at six forty-nine. We are. Mm, I was going to give something away then. I stopped myself. Off <laughs> uh, someone's bought five again. Five is the magic number. Yeah. Sorry, my pause is me thinking. Um, so the lowest it's ever been is 5.45, and we won't be going there. We're <laughs> going to go lower than 5.45. I think, yeah, lower than... F oh, oh, toying with it, I'm toying with it. Sorry, I need another second. Um, let's go 4.49. <laughs> Two pound off. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you happy with that? <laughs> I'm yeah. just prices out of thin air, Haley. Reinforcement. I just. Tom, Tom is stepping away from these prices. He's, he's not, not happy. connected. He's not happy. He's gonna. He's gonna ask me when we come from here to say, "Can you say my name off that?" <laughs> I'm not on the drop down, so my oh. name's never there. So it, it's it's under you, Haley. It's all on Haley. <laughs> Everything's on Haley. Haley presented. She produced. <laughs> she directed. <laughs> Hayley also guessed it. What else happened? <laughs> um, thank you so much. 4 49 So that's £2 off where it normally is. Never been that price before. It's been 5 50 I think, before, was it? Or 5 49 So now down to take another pound off. Uh, that's from Pauline. A message from Pauline. Thanks, Scott. I actually, I was actually writing to ask if you had any head bids, so I brought five. Yeah, thank you so much, Pauline. Um, yeah, that went really well. Uh, thank you so much, Carol. Maureen, uh, maker in uh, Shropshire. Uh, Angeline is sorry. Thank you so much for trusting us. Again, I don't think there's a single person who's only bought one. No, they're all multi-buyers. 
And again, perfect opportunity to multi-buy yeah. when you're saving two pound. Yeah. And it's already an absolutely amazing <laughs> price and you're saving two pound. Um, often when I'm on air, I have the team then look at me after and say, Scott, you know when you said buy more essentials, we need more essentials online. And then you go on air and you and do you the exact opposite. <laughs> yeah. And you take two pound off and you say, oh, it's fine. No one will be first. It's not good, is it? It's not good. It's not good. They're going to give me that look of, why are you doing this, Scott? Why are well, you the doing customers this? aren't, are they? No, no. And it's all for you, isn't it? We're here for you, and that's all that matters. As long as you're having a nice time, that's exactly. fine. We'll be okay. It's about We'll be customer. okay. Um, Carol, Susan, Margaret, please do check out. Thank you very much. That's gone really well. Cheers, guys. I'll pass that over to Kinga. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, can we go to a star buy in a second. And we've got a strand of Savorite Garnet that is brand new. And I have a little story from India about this Savorite as well. Um, go to a star buy. Thank you for coming back. Um, just one thing I did want to say. So Savorite Garnet is something that me personally is one of my favorite gemstones. And when we were out in India, we saw lots of different things. We saw lots of things that you guys have seen before. And we saw lots of things of probably the same level of quality that you've seen before. But on day one, myself and Wayne said to the team, what's the next step? How far can we go? Uh, our jewellery makers are becoming more and more aware of the market and how uh, gemstones are evolving and changing. They're getting uh, even better with their terms of education from Dave, Jake, Toby in regards to understanding gemstones, understanding the world of gemstones. So whilst out in India, we said, what's the next level? What's the next step? We've got all sorts of things planned for probably from July, August onwards, where you will see me and Wayne more often. And you will also see the India team as well. So we're going to try our hardest to get the India team to also talk to you about some of the things that they find as well. So Tom's just asked me a question in my ear. There's a slide that I just pulled together of some, some of the level of quality that we're hoping to bring in August of Savrite. Um, and this is it here. The, thing, uh, the strand on the left, I won't tell you what it is, but I think you can probably guess. But again, that is top tier quality that we haven't seen. On the right is um, some drops of Savrite Garnet. And again, me and Wayne to the team said several times, no, it can't be. It really isn't. That's not Savrite. That isn't Savrite. It's far too good. The quality is far too incredible. The colour that comes from it. But that is one of the newer suppliers that we've managed to find um, and work with out in Jaipur. Oh, and that's wow. the level. So after seeing that, I spend some of the time, um, some of my <laughs> time that I don't have too much of with two kids and uh, all sorts of other things, going to the warehouse and having a look at what we've already got in inventory. And me and Wayne spent quite a bit of time doing that. We found this strand, which is from actually the same supplier that that photograph is from. Um, and this is um, a Savrite Rondell strand. It's one to three millimeters and 20 centimeter strand. But this is of the same quality. And from the same supplier, and myself and Wayne spoke to the supplier two days ago now and said, is this the same quality that we saw when we were out in India? And he said, yeah, you've, you've, you've bought it. You bought it two weeks ago. And we were like, really? OK, you need to tell us this. Because <laughs> we didn't realize whatsoever. And this happens sometimes because of the way that we purchase and we sell and we buy. We buy quite a lot of gemstones and sometimes things fall through the cracks. Yes. And this is one of the ones that was sitting in a lovely bin location in our warehouse and unfortunately fell through the cracks. It is an absolutely incredible strand. Um, it was top noted to be a deal of the day. It unfortunately isn't a deal of the day because I thought, well, if I'm coming on, let's bring <laughs> something really nice. So I thought, why not? Let's bring this to air. Let's do it. It's brand new today. We don't have much in quantity. I think we only had, uh, I think it's under 100. So I think we only had, um, I think it was around 60 potentially. Um, but again, thoughts, Hayley? Well, it's really juicy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, really juicy. You want to, I immediately want to start making jewellery with that. It's the, I just think the deep colour that you just don't yes. expect. And, and Honestly, I'd really like to hear from you guys what you think of it and what you think of the colour of that as well, because 
it's, it's, it's exactly that, Tom. It's a fantastic test for us to understand whether the level of some of the quality that we've seen mm. in India is something that you as jewellery makers want to bring to your customers and to bring to your collection. Um, because to us, this was perfect and absolutely incredible. And the drops will be coming. Um, so, start price. Should we, should we go? Do you think we can get under 100? Ooh. So, we're going to go under 100 to start. And again, for the quality, I think if this was Jake, if this was Dave, if this was Toby sitting here, they wouldn't be at 97.99. But it feels perfect for us to bring this in at under 100 pound now. But I can tell you that won't be where we're going to start. <laughs> I will revert to the laptop in a second. I will have a little look and see what we can do. But this is absolutely incredible. And again, I just want to get across that quality that you'll see. And I do believe that this is one you do have a money-back guarantee, so it's one to get home, have a look at, see what you think, see how you feel about it. It is a deep, deep, deep green. Yes, it is a deep and green. I, I'm trying to get that across, but it is a deep green. Um, so, Tom, I'm going to have a little look at the laptop and see what we can do. Hayley, do you want to do a little yes, hold? Yes, I'm going to I... bring over a bus. Oh, cool. See if there you we go. Can... Perfect. Hey, he's helping me through this. <laughs> I'm the Debbie McGee. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I don't know if it'll work on the grey, but I think it... Oh, it actually it does. does. It looks better, fantastic yeah. fantastic Yeah. That, wow, actually. Yeah. The perfect assistant there, Hayley. Yeah. You've, you've made everything look so much better. Good. Um, this is the colour of strand. It's beautiful, so bold and vibrant, and almost looks like chrome dark side. It does, it does. and that's exactly, does. Mandy, when we yeah. were out in India, what we were, were suggesting was saying, is it? It can't be. It can't be saffron. It must be chrome. Um, and it wasn't. It wasn't. Um, so, let me... Uh, why does it keep locking me out? So George has already grabbed one. George and someone said, thank you so much for trusting us. Um, let's do it, shall we? Um, if we can have another clock, we're going to not stop at 97.99. We've already got a couple of people trusting us. As I say, it was limited quantity. If we have a 60-second clock, we're going to go and see what we can do, Hayley. I will log into my computer. I'm also going to stop it from logging me back out. <laughs> Heather in Nottinghamshire, thank you again for trusting us. As I said, we could only source... 60 of these so it isn't something that we could have a lot of it was something that um, again we wanted to test with you we wanted to see if this quality is something that you as our jewelry maker customers wanted something that you wanted us to bring more of as i say the drops are of the same quality and from the same supplier that we um, worked with out in jaipur so absolutely incredible that deep color i'm on the gray looks amazing I'm not, what would you use it with, Hayley? Would you intersperse it with any other gemstone? I'm trying to think in my head. Uh, really? maybe, maybe some gold spacers. There you go. Yeah. Really nice idea. Or really, even really pearls. Nice idea. Pearls always look gorgeous. Pearls would look yeah. fantastic with that. Yeah. So, Tom, what are you thinking? Tom's talking things to me. He's saying words in my ear. <laughs> We're going to go straight to under 30. $29.99. Tom, <laughs> Tom did say $49.99 in my ear. And I, and I went, no, no. <laughs> I just Instantly when he says a price, my, my brain just changes it back to something else. Um, Michelle, Maureen, Laura, Laura, thank you so much for trusting us. Uh, Michelle, again, you grabbed another one. Thank you, thank you so much. So $29.99 for the quality of Savrite that we just don't see. Oh, that is a really nice yeah, idea, actually. That's, yeah, the complementary greens. Totally. It depends on whether some of the multicolour, it bring out the greens within that, bring out some we of the whites, the some hues. We had multicoloured opals on before. That would look yes. amazing with yes. some of those bright opals. Opal was another one when we were out in India that we saw the quality of opal that we... Really? Was absolutely amazing. And opal is actually my favourite gemstone. Ooh. So I think the guys knew that as well after day one. Okay. So day two was very opal heavy, and right. I think it might have been them asking... Uh, <laughs> Scott likes opal, let's bring more opal. <laughs> um, Kath, Kim, Laura, Michelle, Heather, Georgina, thank you so much for trusting us. That's absolutely amazing. $29.99 for that sav, right? That's incredible. Thank you so much. $29.99, thank you so much for trusting us, guys. Keep going in. Ooh. King has just popped in an opal. Oh, oh yeah. Did we do that, that one earlier? Good. 
Oh. Look at that, a colour pop from that. Yeah, it's almost, um, yes, yeah, so that's exactly what I was thinking. Cherry Blossom Opal, there you go. Blossom. Wow. Thank you so much for trusting us, guys. I think it works with anything. Again, really appreciate, oh. appreciate it. And please do let us know. If you want to see any more of that like, kind of level of quality of Savrite, then please do let us know. We'll show you some other things later on as we go through, but we're going to go to another star by. <laughs> You're in charge here, Tom. I, I completely <laughs> missed. I missed. I missed what you said. You know what you said, Haley. I was in another zone. I was still <laughs> staring at the sapphire. Right? Um, which one first, Tom? The pink or the kind of whitey cream? <gasps> These are really amazing. I wish I was. Um... Can I hold? Yeah, there you go. Go that way. I thought you might have put your glasses on there, Haley. Yeah. Okay, so I was going <laughs> to flick it into, pop it off, and Haley's eyes needed to be <laughs> protected. <laughs> no. I need to get a closer look. So it's a completely natural, freshwater cultured pearl right there, and so they are in the button shape. Mm. You get um, two, so a pair. Um, if I just flip that round. Well done. <laughs> there you go. You've got a hole as well in the back for a finding or a head pin or uh, some wire or anything, I suppose. Or again, not that I probably would suggest it, but it could be, this is very indulgent. Use as a button, Ooh. glued on. Can you imagine? <laughs> I've got pearl buttons. That is very indulgent. <laughs> I would like some pearl buttons, please. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. Maybe. Yeah. Pearl cufflinks again. Um, this is brand new. We've got this one, and we've got um, kind of the whiter, creamier hue. Uh, I didn't expect us to be doing this. I thought I thought Tom, you'd save this for uh, an actual presenter. I didn't think this would be uh, for me. So, oh, I see what's going on. Tom's thinking about the customers here. He's thinking about you guys. He's thinking, if a presenter's here, then uh, this might be a little bit higher in price, but because I'm here, um, <laughs> price is on my back, yeah. So that means that I'll end up doing something, <laughs> doing something I probably shouldn't do and everyone's going to tell me off for. Um, I know that that seems strange to be told off when I technically should be in charge, but um, <laughs> wow. very much think that. It's a bit more fun. Uh, Haley is getting serious. Her glasses are on a flash. Exactly. <laughs> Hayley, Hayley knew what was about to happen. Yeah. Hayley knew what we were about to pick up. Well, the colour's um, beautiful. It's really very iridescent, that, isn't it? Incredible, isn't it? And it's uh, nine to nine and a half millimetres, so substantial as well, substantial size. Quite a large. I think these um, sort of peachy, lilac-y pearls are, seem to be more, more favourable now. Yes. Um, fashionable. People are going for them more. Yeah, totally. I'm drawn to them more. Yeah, I completely agree. I think the colour has had a bit of a resurgence, mm. hasn't it? The lavender kind of colour has yeah. definitely turned back round. Um, so as I say, you are getting a pair. Um, the other one is here, if I pop it there. Um, so you are getting two of them, completely and utterly natural. Um, Tom's going to pop in a price. That isn't going to be the price that we're going to finish at. Um, if you are new to us, this is what we do. Um, we show you a price which is a fantastic price comparison to the market, a price that you would probably expect to be able to pay if you look anywhere else. Um, but what we do... Uh, here at Jewelry Maker, is go and uh, laugh at that price <laughs> and do something quite fun. Uh, so you've got a little price, uh, price comparison there. £31. £31. That has obviously uh, some stunning silver findings in with it as well. But we're at forty nine ninety nine just for the two pearls. Exactly, Tom's just said, it's not like we're just giving you stunning silver findings at under £10. And these you are double the size as well. They are large, a good spot. They are only five and a half to six millimetre. These are nine to nine and a half. So these are absolutely huge. I must say, if there's a pearl that comes to wear and Anne doesn't <laughs> get grab it, that's a sign that the pearl you isn't go, very good. Anne. Well done. You. So Anne has already done this. Anne knows and trusts where we're about yeah. to do. Anne knows what we're about and she, to do. She knows the market. She sells. Totally, on, totally. Yeah. Anne is, I would say more than an in-house designer when it comes to pearls. She is an expert yeah. in knowing what sells and what doesn't when it comes to pearls. Tom, have you changed that price? 
<laughs> that was 49, wasn't <laughs> yes, it? Yes, it was. And now it's 29. <laughs> Tom, are you just... Are we, what's happening here? Is, are you... Are you pressing the buttons? And no one knows. I don't even <laughs> see the arrows. I was seriously looking at the pearls. It, it, I, think, I think it was 49. Yeah. It was 49. Now it's 29. Tom, are you OK? <laughs> Is everything all right here? It's OK. Everybody's getting 29. a bit giddy. I know. They're all excitable. Tom's trying to be... Oh. Yeah, we go. Is, <laughs> Tom, Tom, do you want to be here? Should we swap for a second? That would be good. I know I have it? to press those buttons. I think we might need to swap here. And, right... He's gone to 1999 already. I feel now that he's trying to one up me. Uh, he's trying yeah. to. There's some sort of showmanship going so on. And I feel like. Happening right I feel like here. this isn't what we need. Um, right. Can I have 60 seconds, please? I'm just thinking about what Tom's done. He's gone from 49 to 29 to <laughs> 1999. Uh, I don't know where else I can go from here, but trust, trust everybody. If you're out there. I'm not only going to try and give you a fantastic price, I'm going to try and top whatever Tom's got in his head. So uh, it most certainly will not be 1999. I'm a bit nervous about he's just going to press the arrows and do something before <laughs> I get there. Um, Jay, James, Claire, Anne, Janice, thank you so much for joining us. June, absolutely natural, nine to nine and a half millimetres, a pair in total, no treatments, no treatments whatsoever, natural lavender freshwater culture pearls. This is going to be very impressive. Um, I know that Dave isn't watching, which is good. Um, or Jake, apologies to both of them. <laughs> I feel bad for both of these things, but we do have a de uh, substantial quantity. So please do trust us. Please do keep coming through. There is a short wait on the phone line as you're expecting me to do something a little bit silly. Take 10 pound off that price, Tom. <laughs> I thought you were going to go to 15.99. No, no. Take ten pound off that price tag. It's a bit of a guessing. This is fun guessing what's. Coming I know. Here. I know. Haley can hear that my my voice and the inside voice from there, so she <laughs> knows what's going on here. We're going under ten. 9.99. Let's do it. Kim, Janice, uh, Sean, Caroline, Dennis. Thank you so much for trusting us. Denise as well. Thank you for trusting us. This is absolutely fantastic. 9.99. 9.99. Doesn't quite feel right when you say it. No, it really price, doesn't. We showed you a price comparison at £31. They are going to be absolutely incredible in earrings, a pendant. Um, it's a substantial spot for earrings yeah. though, isn't it, as well? Yes, as so Tom was just saying it is an easy make and it's, yeah, a little bit of epoxy glue or any of the glues that we've sold on air will work. Don't overdo the glue because you don't want it to ooze out, but really just putting the finding on and that's it. And you can see what you can sell them for. So Absolutely amazing. amazing. Multi-buyers, thank you so much. So Claire, June, Janice, Heather, thank you so much for trusting us. Shirley, Gail, little queue on the phone lines. It is a free phone number. The call center already on there, waiting for you to buy. Um, tell you what, 30 second clock, please. They're not going quick enough. I'm putting it down. What? Trust, trust me. Please trust me. We bought a reasonable quantity. Right, I'm dead. 9.99 doesn't feel right. Haley's already said she's getting some. Anne, you might have bought one. I think it's time for you to buy two. Oh. Please do keep coming through. Yeah, we need some more. Pick up the phone lines, guys. Free phone number. Trust us. There we go. 9.99 is not where we're staying. I don't I'm understand. not even sure. It doesn't feel right to say the words that I might say, but I just want to validate it. Um, I'm sorry. Can I have another 30 seconds? I don't think there's enough people there. <laughs> Can I tell the boss off? I, don't <laughs> I think I know what I'm going to say. <laughs> this is a showstopper situation. This is a moment to just stop, pause, pause everything. Oh, I'm going to feel so bad for saying these words. I feel so bad for saying these words. Right, Tom. Right, Tom, it's happening. I'm going to say it. Thank you, everyone who's trusting us. <laughs> 4 99 <laughs> I didn't think I'd actually do it either, Tom. I didn't think the words would come out. It was kind of, Tom was jostling a, 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 oh, a price. I'm so he... glad that Wayne is near a phone, nowhere near a phone or a computer, or would know <laughs> that this happened. We have a Monday uh, catch-up as a team to go through what the last week was. 
Um, no one's going to bring this up because I will just bury this. This won't happen. <laughs> um, this never happened. Someone's just bought eight. Good for them. I won't name you. Yes. <laughs> this is uh, this is what's happened now to where Wayne is. Um, Wayne's on a barge trip. He's just seen what I've done to the prize. Sorry. Sorry, Wayne. He's only going and blowing Sorry. the doors off. <laughs> <laughs> um, not a single person has bought one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to everybody that's ever bought a pearl before that I've just done, don't, done yeah, that. Yeah, Alison, I, I know you say don't feel bad. And I know that you don't feel bad, and that's all that matters. But I now do. Yes, I feel bad, and yeah, I've done anything. Yeah, and yeah, <laughs> hey, as I said, Hayley, your name is all over this. How dare you? <laughs> Hayley presented. <laughs> Hayley did a great job. She did a fantastic job. She presented, she directed. It made no profit whatsoever. She produced, <laughs> and it was just a great job. Hayley loved every second of it. She's a master of all trades. <laughs> thank you so much for trusting us. Alison, thank you for your text message. Um, as you can imagine, we now only have 50 left. <laughs> yes, um, I would like those 50 to go so that we never have to talk about it. If this has to come to air again... Well, can you leave two so that I can get a, pair, a couple of pairs? Um, Hayley, you're welcome. You can go and get... <laughs> well, you, can, you, you can use my laptop if you want. You'll have to try and figure out how to log in because I can't. <laughs> um, but we've only got 30 left now. Thank you so much. Small, small wait on the phone lines. We've only got... Um, I, Tom, we've probably got about 20 left now, haven't we? We're just trying to... Quick maths yeah, on what's going on. Absolutely. Um, there is quite a few people with it in their baskets. <coughs> Please do check out. Um, we've got Les, uh, Leslie, uh, Linda, Marie, Carol. We've got Patricia, <laughs> Patricia. We've got Alison as well. Thank you so much. You've got kind of multiples in your basket that you are over allocated now if you were to do that. So please do check out. That isn't the only one we're going to do. I don't think I can promise uh, to match the next ones. Uh, the same price. It mm. really doesn't feel right. Um, in the offices now, we've got um, a really nice setup where there's computers on every uh, computers. There's TVs on every wall, which ah. has the out, which has the output on. Um, <laughs> it's um, it's a little bit unnerving when you're on the other side of the oh, TV yes, screen. I'm yes. normally the one looking at the TV screen. What are they? Doing. What? Why are they doing that? <laughs> then I either run round or pick up the phone. I know I'm going to be the talk of that room now, yes. and it's slightly unnerving. Yeah. Um, Tom, we're going to have to move forward. I was more than happy with 1999. Just bought five pairs. <laughs> well done, Caroline. Well done, Caroline. Yeah, mm. we didn't need to do that, did we? We didn't need to do that, did we? No, no. <clears throat> Tom, can we make this one really quick? <laughs> I don't. I don't want. I don't want there to be. Oh. Can this stay on the TV for lower, longer? Um, oh gosh. Gosh, that's a pressure. Oh gosh, Haley. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, it's um, so right. Twenty nine ninety nine, and that's where it's staying, guys. I'm so sorry. I can't do that again. Can't possibly repeat it. <laughs> yeah. We'll just have to. Um, sorry. Sorry to everybody. Right. I know. The silence says everything, but we do need to see you there. If you want the same price as the last one, I think we need to see you there. We need to see you trusting us. Right. We've got a minute. <coughs> Here we go. Perfect nine millimeter on this yeah. one. Perfect nine millimeter. Wow. Again, Natural peach, freshwater culture pearls, they're buttons. And if I just try and do the spin without flicking it, I'm taking it out of shot. Sorry. There you go. Hole. Perfect for a finding. Uh, either glued in, as we've spoken about, about the glue that we've previously sold before. I believe it's on the website. And then also, um, absolutely perfect for anything you need to do, whether it be with the findings and some of the essentials that we've done, or um, as I say, very, very quick makes that are just absolutely perfect for. Um, and again, I'd like to think easy profit. Yeah. At the really prices easy that we could profit. potentially make. Uh, oh, thank you. If you can't do it, Tom can. You are very much <laughs> right, Liz. Tom is actually in charge. Whilst I may call the shots, he actually has to press the buttons. Okay. Call centre, I'm sorry. Rachel and team, I'm sorry. 
4.99. The size says it all. It feels wrong. <laughs> Anne's there again. <laughs> Anne's bought both. Well, Anne knows what she's talking about. Anne does know what she's talking about. In fact, about. I think she had a, a fair, a festival this weekend just gone. So she's restocking. She did, exactly. Mm. She's restocking. And she probably wishes she had these for that fair yeah. festival. She's like, Scott, why don't you bring this two weeks ago? Um, 4 99 Someone's just bought eight. Gail's bought eight. I'm so sorry, Gail, if I've just given away the game and you didn't want everybody to know you've just bought eight. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Well, I think she'll be pleased that she's the I, price. I think so at that price. Yeah. I think so. Should have stayed at 1999, Gail, and then that would have been. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for trusting us, everybody. The last one, I think we've got single figures left, so that will sell out. This one, um, got lots of people with it in their baskets. Again, we're at the point where we've already had 100 gone, and we've got about 80 left. But again, we've only been uh, here with this for under a couple of minutes now, so please do keep checking out. Gail, you've bought eight. As I said, Pauline, you've bought two. Linda, you've got three. Olivia, you've got three as well. Jax, you've got one. Pat, you've got one. Sean, you've got one. Maker in uh, Greater London, you've got three. Thank you so much for trusting us. Thank you for, so much for sticking with us for 45 minutes so far. <laughs> um, really shouldn't any other day be 4 99 I need you guys to do me a favour. I need this to not be here tomorrow morning. I yeah, can't... Get rid of the evidence. I can't stomach it. I need the evidence to be gone. <laughs> if there was a fire, I would rip up the evidence and chuck it in. <laughs> I, need, I need this to... Um, That's criminal. Can someone take down the YouTube? I can't allow this to be going back out again. The Sky Feed, can we put something else out, please? Just, just over this. Just a little, just a little tune of, um, of Wayne's Barge, just over, <laughs> covering over this section. You know, it's like this section can't be seen. Um... You know where you vote for certain programmes and it's like, please do not vote. And then the area where you vote is taken out with a slate. <laughs> I need this to be covered up with something else. Um, thank you so much for trusting us. Alison, you've got six as well. Thank you so much. Um, this is absolutely fantastic. Four ninety nine. Again, not indicative of worth and value of this product whatsoever. Just me being a little bit silly. Um, amazing. If they're good enough for Anne, they're good enough for me. Thank you. Thank you, Gail. Thank you for texting in. Yeah. Keep, please do keep your text messages coming in. I need all the help and support I can get. There's another hour and 15 minutes to go. <laughs> Hayley's helping me. Um, we've got the masterclass at 12 o'clock, which Hayley's going to be showing us some fantastic things. Um, is it the planet? Planets? Yes, That's it is. Yeah. We've got um, the uh, the loops, the looped planetary pendants. Oh, incredible! And I'm going to be talking about drilling. So for Absolutely those who are nervous amazing. to drill, yes. that's what we're going to be dealing with. But amazing. That stunning. is. I love that. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Amazing. Easy, easy to wear and very on trend as well. Love it. Yeah. Absolutely love it. So another thing that we saw um, some absolutely incredible um, quality Ooh. and samples of uh, whilst out in India, myself and Wayne, was tanzanite. Um, and you've got here on a, on a slide... Um, Again, this is total transparency and being um, completely open and honest as a business. Uh, on the right-hand side, uh, yeah, right-hand side for you, hopefully, left for me where I'm sitting, um, is some of the highest, highest quality of tanzanite that we've seen from the same supplier as the Savrite that we showed you earlier on. That is, uh, it is graded tanzanite. Um, when it gets here, we will have to have Steve and some of the team look at that to see where we should grade it. Um, if you were with us on uh, over the birthday event, Steve was actually on air selling tanzanite um, and sold some incredible quality tanzanite, which I know you've enjoyed and loved. This is, again, from the same supplier and is absolutely incredible grade. On the uh, other uh, photograph is um, some of the quality of uh, tanzanite that we have previously bought at price points of around £20, £30 upwards of. You can see the comparison of that mm. compared to the high, high grade. So, so the three strands are the oldest quality. Yes, yeah, yeah. Are the quality that we previously bought, some of the better quality of things that we bought as well or that we believe we could get at the time. And again, for full transparency, the, the, uh, the large bundle you can see is some of the real high-end stuff. So we're hoping to bring that over the next couple of months. We think that you would absolutely love it. It will be a little bit more of a higher price point than expected, but as I say... Um, we are going to show it to the team, to Steve, to Jake. We'll hopefully get Steve on to sell it um, because I know he's very keen to come back on air again. Um, <laughs> so I'm hopefully going to get Steve on to sell the Tanzanite for that and, and bring it to air for you. Um, but I wanted to bring Tanzanite today because of that. And one thing that we wanted to bring, or I wanted a strand that I wanted to try and bring today as well, was uh, this strand of 
um, tanzanite rounds, which again was a big thing that we said when we were out in India. Myself and Wayne, every supplier that we met, every person that we saw in India was, can we have rounds of tanzanite? Mm. And can we have rounds in general? So rounds are quite a difficult thing for us to source. And I'm not quite sure something, I'm not quite sure something that we often talk about as being a difficult thing to source because there is a fair amount of wastage when you do a round in a gemstone. Right, okay. Um, and this strand is huge. They go from three millimeters uh, to nine and a half. So that big central one, the deep, deep blue one there is probably, it's not your biggest, the one left of it, which by my ring is the biggest, but it's one of the biggest and the color and saturation of that is absolutely incredible. So again, these are rounds of tanzanite. They have been to a price previously, which I think is absolutely incredible. Um, and as I say, I've just got to be honest, is not the prices that we can give you from some of the things we've seen out in India. Um, there's a brilliant recording here that you can see. Just look at the color of that. That is absolutely, absolutely incredible. Um, and as I say, I believe that any other day, this would have been a deal of the day. It would have been something that um, Wayne would have uh, worked with the team on, spoke to Carol, spoke to Wow, spoke to Tom and Ross and said, this is some of the incredible caliber of tanzanite that we were able to get. It's some of the incredible tanzanite that we actually have had in the warehouse and just haven't bought to air. Um, I truly think that this is, Haley, amazing. It really is amazing. I mean, just that really vibrant, there's two really vibrant ones there. Take those out and you could sell those on their own for 40, 50 quid. Yes. On yeah. a silver chain or a gold chain. Yeah. And then there's a couple that are actually, the clarity on them is ridiculous. It's just so beautiful. And I do think it's one of our uniquenesses with Jewelry Maker that we don't often talk enough about is if you're buying from other bead shops, other places, other websites, which there is some that will have reasonable quality of tanzanite, you won't be getting it in a strand of no, this length. No. You'll be buying individual beads, you'll be buying singular kind of packages or groups of beads. This is a 38 centimeter strand. Tom, Tom is absolutely amazed by this strand already. Yeah, he didn't, he he didn't, he's a bit confused as he to is. what he's gonna do. He's confused he? as to how this was in the warehouse and we uh, haven't bought it to air. Yeah. And confused as to how we've got a nine and a half mil round of tanzanite. Um, right, Tom. Can we start at uh, 199? So we're going to start at 199.99, and some may say that price seems silly, but trust me, this is something that you want to get home, you want to see, you want to look at, you want to understand the quality. And again, one of the biggest things that we tried to say in India when we were speaking to every, uh, to every supplier, when we were speaking to the team, to our man and the team in Sharmel, was our customers, our jewelry maker customers, love rounds. Yeah. Rounds of gemstones are absolutely everything to a jewelry maker. Yeah. It's kind of your staple, whether it's a stretchy bracelet, whether it's a necklace, it's your staple. And rounds are something that we just can't bring enough of. We really just can't bring enough of. Um, so Linda, they are uh, three, and a, three mil to nine and a half mil. So it's a graduated length, um, graduated size, sorry, um, finishing with a nine and a half mil at the, at the, at the centre. Um, this is any other day, a deal of the day strand, and then we'd have a showcase around it. We'd have a few of the tanzanites around it. We're going to have um, a minute clock, and we are, I know that um, you'll trust me on this. <laughs> Again, we have under 100. We actually have under 50. Um, and Tom, if we can... I'd like, to, I'd like to show everybody how many we've got now. Thank you so much for doing that. Yeah, 35. Here's a 60 second clock. Haley, this is one of the ones I don't think I can mess about with. I don't think I can have fun no, with this one. You can't take this to 4.99. No, no, I can't go anywhere near. No. I can't go anywhere near that. And I also just feel like- And I won't like, let you actually. No, I think you it shouldn't. Because it undermines the stuff. You shouldn't, you really shouldn't. Don't, don't let me, Haley. <laughs> um, I, I, we can't because this is, if I say what you'll be seeing in August, September, October is this level of quality and beyond, I won't be able to say those words because this is really something that 
as I say, we said, can we have rounds? Can we have rounds? Can we have rounds? And a lot of the messages that came back was, rounds are very difficult. In this quality, they're very difficult. Because of the wastage, very difficult. It's just generally not something that is openly and out there in the market as much as we would like. So it is an incredible strand. You've got three seconds to trust us. There's already 10 people who have. We started at 50 and already 20 have gone. Thank you so much. We're going to go to Tom, 4999. We're going to go under 50. <laughs> There's a gasp from the gallery. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. 49.99. Alan, thank you so much for trusting. Suzanne, thank you for trusting. Mary, thank you for trusting. Maker in North Yorkshire, thank you for trusting. 49.99. As I say, this is from the same supplier that we were talking about, the high-end quality that we're hoping to bring in August. But it is incredible. We're going to try it on a, if someone's asked to see it on a white bus, let's just try it for transparency. There we go. Oh my gosh. Even better. Oh my gosh. I Should know. Should have done that in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Rounds of tanzanite. It would just, it would just stop for a second. Tom. Oh, sorry, this is an internal conversation. Um, <laughs> how often have you bought rounds of tanzanite? So Tom's response to that was a few times. Tom, how long have you been producing now? Two and a half years. Tom, how often have you bought rondelles of tanzanite? Faceted rondelles of tanzanite. Many times. And that's not devaluing a rondelle of tanzanite. That's not devaluing a rondelle in general. That is suggesting that this doesn't happen every day. Um, Liz has said, I'd sell just the largest one for twice that price. Criminally insane price. <laughs> Do you know what, Liz? Because you text and because <laughs> this is all about fun here and when I'm here, things don't necessarily go to plan. Have £10 back in your pocket, Liz. We're going to 39 99 And that may seem, seem ludicrous. That not make, not, blah, 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 I can't get my words out. <laughs> that might not make sense. It doesn't. But we're going to go to 39 99 And thank you so much for trusting us. Gabrielle, Glenn, Jean, Marie, Anne, Kerry, Cynthia, Heather, Jean, Alison, Susan, Mary, thank you so much. We're going to be under single, sorry, we're going to have single figures in a second. Um, we will continue to try to bring rounds. I have a few, I won't um, show you everything today from India. We have seen rounds and a few other things that we're going to try and bring. But I can stand here and Wayne would stand here and say, and the team will stand here and say, they won't be 39.99. Mm. Um, especially not for nine and a half millimeters. <laughs> I won't do it now because we've got a lot that we want to bring into the show and we want to get to the masterclass with Hayley. But there is some absolutely incredible price comparisons to this strand at 39.99. We're going to just show you, just what quickly before we go to the masterclass, we're going to try and get one more thing in because there's only single figures of that. We're going to do the, I mentioned the box of Tanzanite that Steve did show. Um, we've got under 100 of those um, left over from Steve's show. For transparency, again, we had over 900 of those when Steve launched them on wow. birthday week. This is the last 100, um, and we want to bring that as well. So please do keep checking out on those rounds. Thank you so much for trusting us. If I can ask something on those rounds, everybody who's got them home, please do message in, whether it be a text message or an email. Please do let us know what you think, because trust me, you will not realise that you've paid 39 99 for that. Yeah. It's incredible. I think Hayley was blown away by it as well, which shows it all. Yeah, it's one of my favourite gems, so I'm uh, Amazing. a bit sensitive to. Incredible. Right, we're going to do one more before we do the maths class. I'll just pop that there. Let me just pop it up. Whoop. Right. Wow. <gasps> oh, my heart just started to beat faster. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever wanted to have um, something that you just sit in your house and oh, look at? My word. I'm just showing Hayley, sorry. It's a strange situation where I'm just showing Hayley oh. rather than anybody else. Um, Seriously. Have you ever wanted to just have, have a specimen of, of a gemstone that you just look at and go, that is absolutely incredible? Well, I think this is the one. This is the one that you will, if you bought that, and you'll go, wow, this is what Tanzanite 
looks like. This is an example of Tanzanite. If you're on your craft fair, I think that's a perfect thing to go, wow, look at this. And I can only imagine what Haley is thinking of two, what I could do with that. The ovals are amazing in their colour, first of all. They are, they look like they match. So yeah, we have um, the team out in Jaipur have um, matched all of these, so colour matched them all as well, so they are perfectly And there's matched. several rounds in there, so those would be perfect. You could even make an engagement ring with a couple of those rounds. Haley, I would absolutely love to see what you would oh, do with these. I'm, I'm actually feel giddy. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm allowed to do this. I'm going to suggest something. Hayley, if this is okay, and I've not asked you this before, <laughs> and obviously not now, we will give this to Hayley. I will give this to Hayley personally. The business will give this to Hayley, <laughs> and I would love to see what you could manage oh, to conjure up. Yeah, Hayley. yeah. It's a gift from us to you. Thank you. But I would, with the premise that we get to see what yes, you make. Yes, I'll see. <laughs> I'd absolutely love to see it because I feel like these are far too good to not be in jewellery, to see yes, in jewellery, to yeah. see the quality and to see the level. Have they Absolutely been sitting amazing. in a vault as well? So this has only gone on air for, as I say, the birthday week when Steve brought them to air. It was um, actually sourced by Steve personally with the team in India, with Aman and um, Sharmil in India and said, this is what I want to bring to Jewellery Maker. For our 12th birthday, he said he wanted to bring it. Um, so they are A and AA grade. Uh, they're tanzanite shapes and they are mixed size, but they are colour matched as well. So you will get absolutely perfect colours. Um, straight to it then, Tom. We are going, and we shouldn't do this because this was a um, Steve, Steve special, Steve Bennett price point. This was a birthday. I um, was here when I launched Jewelry Maker. I did Jewelry Maker with uh, Linda and Sheila. Um, I helped build it, launch it. Um, pass it over to Immediate Media, bring it back, <laughs> and I am here after 12 years, and I will do this prize. That's you're, what Steve said. Part of that it. was the story. That was part of the premise. Nobody else should match that price, is what Steve said. <laughs> I'm sorry, Steve. I know you're in today, because um, I've got a meeting with you later. I'm so sorry. Uh, we're going to match the price, Tom. Let's do it. Let's go to 24.99. Wow. I, I was scared that I hadn't said the right price then. <laughs> But twenty four ninety nine, Michelle, Linda, Teresa, Jenny, thank you so much for trusting us. Didn't think that, did you, Halo? I don't really know what to say. No. I've, well, my thoughts are: if you are getting into stone setting, or if you're a gem collecting, um, then this is really something that you should bring in to your collection because you'll have it in your stash. Let me see if I can try it I again. I don't know if my I tweezer game about, is capable. So. Even if you took one or two of the stones from that, that collection, that would be worth more than what that price is. Um, give me one second whilst I try and... Let me see if I've done that. That is stunning. Yeah. So that is the biggest in the pack. And I do just want to say... Why I've done that, uh, so, sorry, why I've challenged myself to do that, and, and it's just to be open and completely transparent with you, because I know that sometimes if you're new to shopping television, if you're new to Jewelry Maker, you'll probably look at that and think, oh, that recording, it's not true to life. You do all sorts of things to it. You, you try and kind of make it look prettier than it is. I've just picked one out. It's come straight from the warehouse in the box that um, I showed Hayley, the box that you've seen. I've just picked one gemstone out and showed you exactly what it is and how it looks. Yeah, it's a beautiful little collection. And just to be honest, nothing against whoever did that recording, I think that one's actually better. <laughs> it looks agree. better. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. That's set into a ring, Halo. Yes. Here yes. we go. Okay, job done. Right. We're going to go to the masterclass. We're going to go straight to the masterclass and we'll see you after this. Bye-bye. <laughs> Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide, this will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Hello everyone, I've got a, um, a mission to make. Oh, it's the first time I've seen that VT. That's an intense tune, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it builds it up for you, doesn't it, Hayley? You've really got to be up for it then. Really building it up for the guests. You go from that, you've got to go, what am I, right, right, what am I doing? What am I doing? This has got to be amazing. Fingers it's crossed. It's intense, I liked it. I really liked it. Um, so thank you for joining us. Uh, if you don't know who I am, Scott Stone, Managing Director. I think I just hit my mic, apologies. Um, <laughs> Scott Stone, Managing Director of Gemporia Craft, um, which includes Jewellery Maker, which is why I'm here. Hello. Hello. Um, I don't like presenting, but um, <laughs> you have to put up with me. Um, that sounds really bad that I don't like presenting. It's because I'm not very good at it. Um, <laughs> but thank you so much for trusting us. Thank you for sticking around. If you saw anything in the last hour, I did some silly things with pearls and when I say silly prices that I regret. And yeah, um, go and have I, a look. I really want them to not be around tomorrow so that no one can say, Scott, what happened tomorrow? <laughs> uh, yesterday, sorry. Um, so please do make sure you grab those. Um, we're moving straight over to Hayley. Hayley's going to, as the Masterclass VT said, Hayley's going to show some amazing things with um, some brand new products, aren't they, Hayley? So yes. um, what was your thoughts when you first opened the package? Well, they're lovely because they, uh, the kits that I've been working with lately mm -hmm. have been very much centred around soldering and stone setting. And this is silver work, mm -hmm. but more accessible. It's, it's like silver work for our beaders. Yes, yeah, yeah. And, and it's got that celestial vibe about it, and that's very on trend, okay. and we're really kind of going down that road now. And I feel like 
this makes jury making, if you're a little bit stressed out about all the other sort of serious stuff, yeah. this makes it much more pleasurable. Yeah. I loved your demonstration at 9 o'clock as well. Oh, thank you. It was incredible. <laughs> Those rings are amazing. So I, I wear a single ring. Yes, so, you yeah. see. So they're yeah, so yeah. on trend so now. I love, yeah, yeah. I love I mean, them. So, they're also yeah. really... Um, that people ha you can pass them down the generations. Yes, yeah, yeah. So my dad used to have one, which is why I wear one. There you go. So my dad still has one, um, but I yeah, has so yeah, yeah, the, yeah. yeah. So. Brilliant. Yeah. Cool. Right. right. Wow. Okay. Hey, so pretty much over to you. We've got two kits that we will do. We'll do them kind of interspersed throughout. The first one, um, I think we've got a lapis and a malachite one, I believe. So we'll go through as we go through both of them. But Hayley, it's really, this is your time, really. Thank so. you. So, um, so on those kits, actually, I've, you know, you could make one single pendant from the kit. So it actually, you've got four rings uh, within each of them. So you've got gold and silver, and you've got four rings. And I've actually, because when you have a display of jewellery um, on the shows, Sometimes it's quite nice to have a bit of variety. So I split the kits up. So you get your, your, your gem bead and you've got your chain. So what I did, I'm actually going to demonstrate how to drill a hole, because these don't come with any hole dr holes drilled. It gives you freedom to do whatever you want to do with them. You could even actually connect them that way, so in a long line and create a real statement necklace. But I'm going to do two of them together and I split them up so that it's the sort of alternate sizes. And I'm going to show you how to drill side on so you get the, the chain that kind of slides through. It's exactly the same as if you're dr um, drilling up to get the bead up through that way, but because it's a little bit angled, I thought I'd show you that one. So um, back to the Dremel, I've got um, apologies if I take things out of shot, or that's my weakness in this. Oh, don't worry at all. <laughs> don't we all do it. That's just me and I'm <laughs> presenting. I don't know. Throw that over there. It's absolutely fine. No one. The so, camera will follow. <laughs> <laughs> we try. Yeah, Mike's very good at Mike's that. Good. He knows You're how funny. to correct me. Right, so into the drill, um, into the Dremel, I put um, a drill bit and. Um, We've pre-sold these drill bit sets before and you can get them in different sizes. So the one I've got in there is, um, you can, I would suggest either a 1 mil or a 1.2 mil because you've got to take into account that you're going to have to thread the chain through. If you're threading the, the pin through, you can get away with a 0 0.8 mil thick drill bit. So in here I've got a 1.2 or a 1 mil. Now definitely with a drill bit you want to tight, make sure that this is tightened up because you're going to be putting pressure on it and it might slip. So put the silver, um, put, press the silver button down once your drill is in. Get your little um, spanner that comes with the kit and that's when you can tighten it up as much as you possibly can. Uh, you might have to do that because it can vibrate loose, but make sure you get that done. And then I'm going to put a little bit of um, the cut lube onto that. So it just will guide the drill a bit more, and it will mean that um, it's less likely to uh, cause friction and less likely to heat up as we work with it. And I'll pop that to one side for now, and then I'm going to work on the loop itself. So it's always a good idea to make a marker where you're going to drill your holes. Actually, in fact, I'll start on the smaller one because I'm going to do tr two holes. Mm -hmm. And then when I've got those drilled, I'll use those holes as a guide to make marks onto the bigger ones. Amazing. Okay. It's almost like a stencil. So on the inside of this, um, now what I would say is you don't want your drill holes to be too far apart because then what you'll get is the chain running taunt across there. That might be a look that you like, mm -hmm. and if that's the aesthetic that you want, then go for it. And you could have that on a sing it's just a single loop and you've got that. Mm -hmm. But if you want it to look more invisible, bring the two holes closer together and then it follows the curve on the top. Okay. Okay. So I've got a fine tipped marker here, and I'm trying to make it as central as I possibly can. True to form, it doesn't um, work as well when you're on air. There you go. So try and make it central. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a scribe or a centre punch that was accidentally fell in the right direction. There we go. So you can actually see where the two holes are marked. Okay. So then with a centre punch or a scribe, I'm actually going to put that onto either a steel block or my wooden block, which I will drill into. And I'm going to now... I didn't bring my hammer, so please excuse me. I'm going to use my heavy duty pliers <laughs> and I'm just going to tap that down. And what that does is it makes a little indent 
Um, and that indent is necessary because when we come to drill, it means that our drill bit is less likely to scooch about on, on, the, on the position that we want to drill. Okay, so I've got my safety goggles on. I've got a wooden block underneath. And um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all. And then I'm going to make sure that you're resting onto something that's really secure. We're going to put um, uh, the drill bit there, and we're going to drill at an angle. Okay. So get your drill on, and I would say this: when you're drilling, it's better to go for a slightly faster speed than a slow speed. So the reason for that is it will work more efficiently. <laughs> okay. Actually, let me move it to that one there. Right, pressure down. There we go, straight through. Okay. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Now that one, the intent, there we go. Now that, I'll switch that off. That was so quick, Hayley. Really quick. And the Thanks reason you. for that is the higher speed and the um, having some sort of uh, something that helps. So it could be beeswax, the, the cut um, wax, or the, uh, some oil as well. Now, we, if we tried to get the chain through that, we would struggle. Yeah, yeah. So I'm actually going to put the drill bit back in the, 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 the marks that we've made, and I'm going to increase the size of that. Okay. So I'm going to add a little bit more of that on there and um, Hayley just before you do that yes. Tom um, because this is all about Hayley I don't mean that in a bad way it's <laughs> all about seeing techniques it's all about seeing demonstrations it's all about the masterclass and seeing the art of making jewellery um, Tom let's just go to the price let's do 19.99 under 20 let's do it <laughs> Tom um, I've just picked that price out of thin air. <laughs> Feels right. Twenty pound for everything that you see on that little slate there. You're getting uh, an amazing malachite, which is actually from India as well. Which I, I first time I bought malachite from India, which is incredible. Um, and all the other sterling silver. And can I just say as well, because that's a gold plated on silver, I had to do a, um, a centre punch and drill through that. The quality of the plating, even when you mark and drill through stays firm. Yeah, I was going to say... It's I, really great quality plate. I was going to ask if that was due to the fact that it was so, was so quick and easy because of the speed, obviously, as well, but because yes. of the quality of the silver. Yes, so, so, well, yeah. and particularly on the gold plating, gold it, you, there's no kind of flaking as you as you work. Okay, So Amazing. really great. Amazing. I'm joining the gang. Good on you. That's what we like to see. Safety. Okay. So now I I'm going to... I sold these before as well. Last time <laughs> I was on air, I think I sold these anyway. We're going to go into one of the drill holes, but just in case it does start to slide about and it scratches, we don't. We want to try and avoid that. Thank you, Ollie. Um, I'm going to go in from the inside, just in case the, the bit moves where I don't want it to move. So once again, I can get the Dremel on, but I'm not going quite as fast this time because I need to aim inside. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a great angle for the camera, but... Um, what you don't want to do is put your hand underneath there of for course. obvious reasons, okay? Yeah, so keep yeah. that, be mindful. And I'm going to push the drill bit that way and that way. I don't want to go sideways, otherwise I lose any of the, the work, you know, what's holding, will hold the chain in place. And you can almost file with it. it. Sounds like a dentist, I'm sorry about that for those who are flinching from the noise. I did just have the uh, flashback to dentist. <laughs> Okay, that's one side done. I will test out to see whether the chain fits through. Okay. I have quite a good grip on that. If you find that uh, your hands are not um, not holding enough, you can actually put it into a ring clamp yes. or a vise. That yes. will be, um, you might feel safer doing that. Right, let me test out the chain. Okay. Um, I won't drill all the holes because you've seen what happens or how to do it, but oh, test out the chain. So easiest way to do that is to... Now, this is a really nice, fine, excellent quality, I might add. Trace chain. There you go. So you can see that slides through nicely, and I want it to do so on both 
both holes. This one might need a little bit more. Oh no, there we go. Oh, okay, perfect. so I'm happy with that. Yeah. Um, I'll pop the chain to one side because I just want to show you how to do some markings. Um, now I did go on the bigger one. We'll have to do that that way around. Okay, so there, doesn't really matter whether it's top or bottom. There I've got my two drill holes. I've got my fine marker. And then I can just get the marker there on the outside. There. Now, I did originally say I was going to do it from the inside with a smaller one. But um, I'll just show you, because I didn't do it that way around, I'll show you how you can adjust that. There you go. Okay, so if you've done what I've done, because you want to draw from the inside just so that it avoids any scratching, you can just bring your marker line down on the side, on both of them, and then bring it round there, and then you can do there. Hayley, the design idea for this, did it instantly come to mind? Or was it, does it instantly come to your mind? Or um, is it part of... Well, I guess so. I guess when you look at the when we get our kits, yeah. you're a, you come you start thinking, yeah. and you do want to try and stretch it out and maximise it or do something a little bit different. Of course. And although this isn't different, it just it is, seemed like yeah. a natural yeah, thing perfect. to do with well, these. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks, it's lovely. It's just I'm always intrigued to know like sometimes things instantly come to mind, don't they? When you see something, yeah. Or you I mean, take some time, or you have you look around for thoughts and ideas. But sometimes you do have to put things down. Yeah. Walk away, Come back to it. and and ideas will form as you're not yeah. thinking about it. Yeah. But sometimes they just happen. Of course, but we clicks. have amazing kits, so we're very lucky. Click straight away. Click straight away. Amazing. Mm. Just remember, it's 19.99. Shouldn't be that price. Anybody else sits here, it's normally 29.99. Um, 99 today, and that's the gold version. We do have the silver version that Haley's using. Um, I do believe it's got a huge gram weight. I want to say, yeah, I did think it was around eight, eight grams, but it's 8.65 grams in total silver that you're getting in that, so it's absolutely amazing. Um, Tom, do you want to, should we move to the silver one? Just very quickly, which Haley is demonstrating with. Um, so the silver one um, is identical. The alternative is, is that it's silver, um, sterling silver, and that it has a lapis lazuli bead, um, a atlas bead, which we've called it, which is obviously fantastic for planets, for the spin. Yeah. Um, so the lapis is uh, completely and utterly natural um, and should be 29.99. At best, the team has said Tom can do 24.99. Unfortunately, I've come along and done 19.99. <laughs> um, so enjoy. 19.99, Tom. Yeah, the more that you repeat the price, it doesn't change it. <laughs> doesn't change it, Tom. Can't just say it over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> Scott has and to just, have a meeting with himself. Yeah, well, to dress myself down, <laughs> talk to myself, tell me what's happened. Um, <laughs> so uh, again, 8.6 grams of silver in this. So huge silver yes, gram weight, is. massive. Um, for under 20 pound, I would urge you to go and. Um, do a little Google, other search engines are available, of jewellery of this kind selling on the high street and selling in the market because it is something that is very much on trend at the moment, yes. isn't it, in regards to kind of planet basics Absolutely. and the tessellation that you get, um, which Hayley will be showing in a little bit as it yeah. comes together. Thank you so yes. much, guys. I just, I just thought over I'd you, show Hayley, you... Sorry, I just took over. No, man. do what you like. Over <laughs> to you. Over to you. I just want to show you this layout here because even I'm going to show you variations on this, but you could really play with this. Um, because these head pins are silver, if you drill holes through there and then you put one head pin through that's got a stopper, you trim off a little bit of excess and then if you bring the flame to it, it'll automatically form a ball okay. and melt down and that's another stopper and you've got an, a natural link. Amazing. Okay. So you could link okay. that up Great. in a way that's connected like that. But um, on this, on this one that I brought the marking down like that. I'm actually going to drill just one hole and then I'll show you how to thread on the head pin with the bead on that one Brilliant. and the other one I'll just put the chain on. Amazing. So you've got okay. a mixed uh, variety of things to do. So here we have the marker being made again. Do you want a hammer, Hayley? 
oh, no, this will be fine. I mean, that, <laughs> I'm not making a very good impression, but... I spotted up the wall that there's two helmets. Oh, is, of course yeah. they are. <laughs> <laughs> there's probably more than two <laughs> I didn't realise there were so many until I just looked as well and I, to be fair I think that's perfect <laughs> Hayley's showing you exactly what you were probably doing at home whatever's closest well, what I'm I'll just use whatever I've got here you can use whatever you exactly. don't need yes. and every jewellery maker does yes. absolutely every jewellery maker does <laughs> whatever's nearest to me <laughs> just use it it's like me when I'm doing DIY of any sort that one screwdriver that I can never I'm sure, find. I'm so. sure there'll be people flinching out there going, oh, <laughs> no, don't do that. That's me with DIY. Anything <laughs> I can find. I can't find a hammer, just take my shoe off. That'll work. <laughs> yes, if it works, it works. So, right, so I'm going to just drill one more hole and then we'll do some threading and connecting. Okay. Oh, I haven't got my safety goggles on, so we have to do that. Goggles are on. Yep, good, well done. Okay, so that's that. That's the noisy stuff out the way. And so with that one, obviously in the kit you've got the head pins, you've got the little um, spacer beads, which I seem to have misplaced mine, but all you need to do is, if you had a spacer bead initially, then you get your bead onto that and you get another spacer bead. And if you're piling up the rings together, you could actually put a spacer bead in between each ring and that will give it the space and the movement to turn around. Mm -hmm. So if you've got the four together, the spaces are there so that it has that satin-like yeah, yeah. quality. Um, but if you don't have that, don't worry, it's fine. Um, you can still use it really well. Now this, you all you need to do is actually do a little, um, I would do a twisted loop. So if I do a little right angle bend on that. Okay, so I leave a couple of mil above the bead where the bead goes. Bring a loop over that and then bring it all the way around so you've got a right angle bend. And what you can do with that tail is actually, now I swap over because I use my holding hand, to so use that tail with another pair of pliers and wrap that round itself and try and be as neat as you possibly can. Um, there you go. And, and then trim off any excess. And there you've got a nice little pendant. Now, because it swivels, you don't really need to n worry about which way the loop is going. I you could actually have that. that side on, and then that would the chain could slide right through that. Or if we go back to the bigger one that we did before, I'll just get the chain through there. So first one, let that fall through. Then you take that and let gravity do the work for you. So flip it over the other way. There you go. Now obviously you can do two together and you could make the holes bigger so that it slides more easily or you just have to work it so that you're feeding the chain up and through in a way that actually is at the length that you want it to be. Yes, I think I would actually make the holes slightly bigger so there's a little bit more movement but then once you've got that doing its thing, in fact, another design has just happened here accidentally with That's a bit of twisting happening. Sometimes how the best designs yes. are, isn't it, Hayley, I think? So, so this has twisted, um, and I'm making more of a hash of it. Uh, but you, you can see what I mean. You can slide that through, and then you've got a little... A little loop drop. Yeah, That's I've lovely. actually got a loop on over yeah, the yeah, chain, the but I quite like that. And yeah. Or you could have the loop hanging down with a bead on it or some charms on it. I think that's part of jewellery making, isn't it? Your own yes. uniqueness. To Serendipity. You totally. And, 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 and actually just discovering as you make it. So, yeah. Really cool kits. I love them. I love it. And again, oh. some of Haley's jewellery there that she'd made with the kit that we did before. Both of them um, individually 19.99. So the lapis lazuli one and the malachite one in gold plated. Um, thank you so much, Haley. My that pleasure. Was thank that was you. amazing. 
Um, I absolutely loved it. it uh, Haley's kits from earlier on, Tom. Do we still have some stock of those? So um, earlier on, Haley, if you didn't see it, we did signet rings, didn't we? Yes. And we showed how to... Um, Texture. Yes, yes. Which was amazing. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, so I was using the scriber pen to, um, to, as a centre punch to make the marks for drilling. So if you've got that in stock, then that would be great. Oh, yeah, that's it. There you go. So have uh, we got these on screen, on, on air? The scriber pen. Amazing. I've never, I didn't see this one, Hayley. Yeah, you show us, so, you show us how you would use so what I was doing okay. is, let me get my specs on again. Of course. So where I was making the drill holes, because it's got a really Gosh. sharp tip, that's actually useful making a mark. Okay, so um, I think, I can't remember if these have actually got a titanium nib. But anyway, so wherever your mark is, place that on the spot of where you need it to make your drill hole. I'm going to use my uh, specialist hammer. There you go. And so that's made an indent. But if you um, want to make, let's say, um, a mark where I want to saw, let's say I want to saw or file, I could actually use the scriber pen to make a mark on there. So if you can see, I don't know if you can see there, I've got a little, where's it gone? There. There's a, there's a, should be, um, I can see it, but there's a, great, there's a, basically a line. So when, if you draw on uh, your, let's say I'm going to saw out a pattern, an elephant's head. I could use the scriber pen to scribe out a delicate line of the elephant's head. So I could put um, a pencil mark on, but then as you're sawing, your hands are holding onto your piece and you're, they're getting sweaty and they're removing your guiding line. So the scribe actually does a little scratch on the surface and that actually gives you a permanent, semi-permanent line for you to follow when you're sawing or filing. And that's only going to be 3 99 today, which is Tom's words, bonkers. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, Hayley, is that bonkers in your world? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I, can I just say that this has got a really good weight to it because um, you, the ones that are pretty standard, they're quite industrial looking. Um, this actually looks really elegant. It looks beautiful and it's really weighty. And I feel like it's actually almost weightier than the traditional one. It is. There was, there was a weight on there. Yeah. It, popped it was like 10 grams, I think. Now, somebody asked popped if you through. can drill without the Dremel. Um, and you can... Um, it's not drilling, it's actually, if you've got one of those, in fact, I've... Yeah, so let me just see, I've got one of, you know, the, the um, jewellery maker... Ten grams in total, very heavy. Hole punch, yeah, one of those. But you, if you're going to do it on these, you need to have the one that's got the smallest width. So it will be the 1.9, because I believe that this is 2.5 wide. So it has to be less than the width of that. Excuse the mark on there. Um, there is something, there is another tool that you can get, but it's all about the attachments, about the drill bit, and you need to have something that the drill bit can go into. So you could do it by hand, you can get like a hand hold handle, but the pressure that you're going to need, you need to ham, you would need to hold, um, hit that even harder to give more of an indent, and then when you start to do it by hand through, half of the work's done for you, but it's quite labour intensive. Amazing. So. Thank you so much for trusting us with the scriber pen. So it's only been on air once before, um, I think a month ago now, um, and we only got 200 because that's all that we could source. And unfortunately, tools do take quite a while to come due to where we source them from. So if it does sell out today, which it looks like it may, it might take a few more months for us to get it back in. So please do um, check out if you can. 399. And I suppose, Hayley, just an essential, needed within yeah, your staff. Yeah, it is. It? It's the kind of thing that you'd be thinking, well, what could I use to do that job for? And that's what it's... And I can spin it around. How do you detach hey, a stone? perfect pen. I haven't got a pocket well, on my shirt. Well, stone is... I mean, that's stone setting. So, there's so, so the question was, how do I attach a stone to that? Um, to be honest, stone setting is a, multi, a whole... A whole course on its own so you could do tube setting you would solder the setting onto the piece 
Um, so I would either make a bezel setting or a tube setting and solder that on the inside of that or on the outside. You could have it with a loop and then the loop could connect to another loop. But to be honest, the possibilities with that are endless. I believe that tomorrow, actually, we are doing um, a solder and a mount show. I oh, believe. fantastic. I Is believe. that with Claire? I think it's with Claire. Yes. I would, so, assume, I would yeah. assume so. Cheers, guys. That's absolutely amazing. Um, thank you so much, Hayley. My pleasure. Um, Tom, what are we doing next? Lee. Ooh, OK. Oh, yes. This was, but this was really nicely um, presented next to me. Let me try and slide it along. I think that's the thing. This actually looks like a gift. Whoa, like... Scott. <laughs> it's... That's the first time I've done that. I know I've only been here for an hour and a bit, <laughs> but I'm just throwing everything everywhere. Um, so it's in that uh, really nice present presentation box. Um, and you also get um, the little... Um, scribe instructions for the planets as well. So um, you've got the difference. So you've got uh, Mercury, which is Labradorite. You've got Venus, which is Pitch Jasper. Uh, <laughs> you've got Mars, which is Red Jasper. Jupiter, which is Botswana Agate. Uh, you've got uh, Saturn, which is a Tiger's Eye. Uranus, which is an Aventurine. And Neptune, which is a Lapis. Um, and the one that I missed out is Earth, of course, which is um, Azurite, I think. Azur Azurite. I'll get there in the end. I'll get my wording right. <laughs> um, so, really cleverly thought out. Really and again, clever. Something that we work quite closely with our team with in Jaipur, um, in India with the team out there, um, is we put a brief in for this. And I don't, I don't think we often talk about the work that goes into the background of that, is that the team will describe a brief that they think and think will do really well um, and that you custom, uh, that our customers, yourselves, would like. Um, and then we bring it to air. We source it, we bring it to air, we put it in a lovely presentation box, um, which I will set up in a second. But your price should be $29.99. However, Tom's just told me a price that we always do. Uh, sorry, I took it out of shot. Um, which is $14.99, which feels... Yeah, it doesn't feel, given that you've got a gift right. box and the thought behind it and the gift and the information card. Exactly, everything that goes little... with it, fourteen ninety nine does certainly not feel right. No. Um, just to show you, that's the front of the gift box, the rest of the box. And you are getting a uh, cord with it as well. And you're also getting... And um, Tom... When do we launch this? Ollie? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. Just heard this. So. This was um, part of an idea by Director Tom, uh, Director Tom, Director Ollie, and um, and Tom, who you all know, that Tom, who um, worked with us, what, uh, how long ago? Now, five months ago. So Tom Stewart, who was part of the team, part of the team for a long period of time. Um, and if you do, again, do a little comment shop to see how expensive these are on other websites, you won't get there anywhere near fourteen ninety nine. However... It felt fitting to go with the kit. Yes, that's perfectly um, aligned with the kits. I want, uh, I don't, I think, uh, Tom, 13 seconds, but I think this is something that we want to uh, make sure that everybody gets, along with the kits that Hayley did earlier on that we did for 19.99 that we shouldn't have. I feel like this is uh, feels only right to do a silly price. Um, why not? Why not? In keeping. Eight ninety nine. Hey. <laughs> I think um, this is what needs to happen. Someone says a price in my ear, and I, I have to beat it. It's a weird <laughs> sort of thing that I've developed. I've just developed this thing. So uh, now everybody's giving me prices that they don't intend to, and now I'm <laughs> beating those as well. At some point, we'll meet in the middle. Can um, we do with the with salaries as well? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the other way. Hey, oh, that might go the other way. That's a good approach, isn't it? Just try that negotiation technique. 
<laughs> oh, what are you thinking there, Hayley? <laughs> Hayley's caught me. She's caught me out live on air. That reaction needed to be... <laughs> Um, thank you so much for trusting us. Uh, Gillian, Maker, Kathleen, who's got three. Claire, who's got two. Jax, Margaret, Maker, Lin, uh, Linda. So the little displays, again, ooh, beautiful. So again, use it in jewellery or don't use it in jewellery. Display it. I know my nephews would absolutely love this. Yeah. Um, just displayed on their worktop. I think I'd leave just it to like assemble that. Each. Yeah. Really nice. Really, really nice. Eight ninety nine. So from Planet Bracelets um, at an incredible price to, yeah, I'd like to do that. Yeah, yeah. We're going to go to a star buy and um, I mentioned Opal being my favourite gemstone. This is a version of Opal that we're going to do after this quick star buy. I nearly chucked that all over the table then. <laughs> it was nearly a drama. Right, I'll move that one in a second. <laughs> Shouldn't have displayed it, should I? That's why I'm not very but good at cleaning up after displayed. myself. Um, so, okay, so my favourite gemstone is opal. Um, and as I may have mentioned, I think the team in India realised that after day one. So um, at one point, uh, Aman took me to a separate room and said, have a look at all of this. And it was just a room of opal. It was just a room full of <laughs> different opals. So that's Aman and the team there. You've got Sharmil there as well. You've got myself and Wayne. Um, strategically placed me in the middle, so I look incredibly tall. <laughs> um, they aren't small. I, it, yeah, weirdly, I must be on my tiptoes. Um, so that's after, that was after day four. So quite a long day, so we look quite tired. Um, but yeah, that was, uh, that was an impressive day. And that was the same day that they took me to one side and said, look at all this opal. Um, and we can't quite get near some of the quality that we have here. This is incredible. Black Ethiopian opal. And I wanted to bring this to air because I know that we don't have many. Um, and I know that it is, again, a price point that is absolutely phenomenal. An incredible price point that we, unfortunately, I have a fear that we won't be able to match moving forward with some of the opal that we've been able to see. And when I say that, I, I, I think we've been a little bit naive in some points in some of the opal that we sold at the price points we sold it at just due to the fact of the quality that we've been able to bring. Um, and every day of the week, this strand feels like 49.99. However, it should be there is probably the main point you should look. It's two and a half millimeters to six millimeters in size, 13 centimeter strand, and they've got nine carats there. I am not sure, Hayley, do you have a favorite type of opal? That's an open-ended question. Yeah, it is an open-ended question. Um, black opal, actually. Is it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, I think there's so many variations and so many um, levels of quality that it's yes, always difficult for me. I'm never, I'm never sure. But this is an amazing quality one. Uh, should we go for a clock? Let's... 60 seconds, it's on. I can say to you... Ooh, I nearly took that out of shot. <laughs> you can tell you right now, this will not be at 49.99. But we'd like to see some people there to, uh, to hopefully take it home and have it as part yes. of their collection. So Amanda's already there, Maker in North Yorkshire's already there. Thank you so much again for continuing to trust us. Thank you for believing that um, everything that we're doing is amazing. We've just seen Haley's Masterclass with some amazing Atlas beads that we had in some jewelry, which was absolutely incredible. Fiona, Claire, again, another maker in Yorkshire. Thank you so much for trusting us. This isn't going to be 49.99. It's gonna be a price point that will blow us all away. And I'm not going to throw that on the phone, but <laughs> it's going to blow us all away. Tom, that price that you just said, is that the price? Is that the right price? I, okay, I'm not even going to try and beat that. That is in its own right, I think. Was it me that did it originally? Because this shouldn't be out there. Under £20, 19 
if it's Wayne, are we having a word with him when he gets off that barge? Because he knows that <laughs> he knows the level of opal. If he knows the level of opal that we've saw, seen in India, he knows the level that we've managed to do. Um, Tom, Tom, on that presentation, is there a strand of opal on there? I think that's moves. Here we go. So, um, not obviously black opal, but this is the level of some of the opal that we're going to be able to bring to you over the next couple of months. In the centre is a closed out day or parcel. The centre is what we have um, friendly partnership. Obviously, we're part of the Gemporia wider partnership. Myself and um, <laughs> myself and Wayne um, pinched those from Jake. They were supposed <laughs> to be going into jewellery. Um, but myself and Wayne said, no, 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 no. We need to be bringing those for jewellery, mate. <laughs> so those centre ones will be coming. Good on um, you. $19.99 for this black Ethiopian opal. The reason I wanted to just show that is just that is the level of quality that we're hoping to bring. Some of the level of quality we already have within our warehouse. Um, and this at $19.99 is absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for trusting us, but please do check it out. That is the price that we're staying at, $19.99. If I could, I would, but that price is already incredible. And I believe that somebody else other than me must have done that because if I saw it go to 99, <laughs> I wouldn't have allowed it because that is crazy. Thank you so much, Amanda, for trusting us and grabbing too. Alan, Joseph, Lynn, Gloria, thank you again. Amazing. Right. Not many left. We're going to do the meter of pearls that has been here from the start, which we didn't get managed to do in the 11 o'clock hour, um, which is here. That's a meter of pearls. Lovely. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. It's just a meter. A meter of pearls. A meter of pearls. Again, sometimes I think we get complacent to say things yes. like, to just say, it's a meter of pearls. Yeah. And we just go, yeah, that's, that's not normal. Not a strand, not even that's a strand. Normal. It's just a meter. It's just normal. And, you know, that strand. What? I just. No. Okay, I didn't realise that. I didn't realise that at all. I so, uh, Where is there? There's the, they're, they're, they're in there. Oh, are they? They're, they're submerged in. So we have gone with two of your oh favourite things. Oh my goodness me. Yeah. They're amazing. We've gone for two of your favourite things and submerged them in one. Absolutely incredible. So forty nine ninety nine. Tom's popped that price on. Tom, when did we launch this? So we launched this last month. I, the reason I ask is I cannot believe we still have it here. With that's a meter of pearls, and then we've just gone. Do you know one thing that you really like, and we can never keep in stock? Stardust beads. Yeah, let's just pop them in the pearls. <laughs> you know another thing that we can never keep in stock? Yeah, pearls. Let's just pop them in. The two things that we sell lots of, just pop them in. It does come with the spaces in there, Margot. Yeah, yeah. In the strand. Sterling silver, mind you. Um, I'll count them in a minute. That is... <laughs> Thank you so much, Jill. Hi, all. This strand of pearls, the stone is the is stunning. What an amazing strand. So we launched this about a month ago. So if you're out there and you bought this from us a month ago, please do text in and see what you thought about it. Please do tell us. Like, we, I, I don't think we hear enough from you, our fantastic customers, about some of the things that you bought from us, some of the things you've made with it. This is absolutely incredible. So forty nine ninety nine. Not the price. No, I don't know the price. <laughs> it still hasn't quite dawned on me that we're still in silver spacer beads in there. So Sarah said, I have this strand and they are beautiful and a silly price. Sarah, did you pay that price? Because that is silly. Yeah. $29.99. Sheila, silly Lucy, price. Lynn, thank you so much. Bidder in uh, West Yorkshire, thank you so much. New customer in Swansea, thank you. $29.99. The two things that are the most popular that we have within the business submerged into one strand. <laughs> Doesn't quite make sense. I don't know why we do it. Amazing. That's absolutely trip to amazing. The cinema, that. And, and again, isn't it? <laughs> the cinema. I, I've not been to cinema in ages. That's what two kids happen yeah. to. You don't get a chance to go. I might get a chance to go sooner though. With my eldest is now. It's turning three. I think she'll be okay oh, soon. Brilliant. So then it'll be, yeah. be good. These pearls are gorgeous. I pushed the. Uh, I purchased these twice. 
Thank you so much, Marilyn. These are absolutely amazing. Um, so we've got under 100 left now. Uh, incredible meter. And just to get that across, a meter. I'm going to try and count how many sterling silver spacer beads you've got in there. I think there's a break between the two. So um, I should do this in an easier way. One, two, three, four. Sorry, this is counting. Terrible TV. Eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30. Is that 31? Is there another one there? I've got 31, but please don't trust my counting. Um, 31 space of beads. It would still more right to be 30 space of beads, but I've got 31, <laughs> so maybe I count wrong. Um, there's a space, so between every five pearls, there's a space of bead, which is absolutely incredible. Um, space of beads alone, sterling silver stardust space of beads would normally be around 9.99 if we're lucky. 14.99, 19.99. So that is absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for trusting us, Patricia, Hillary, Jenny. Thank you. Please do check out. Right. Apparently, I'm told we're doing one incredible special deal to see it out, and it's a Scott special. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Here we go. These? Oh, I, I, I'm not quite sure I can do this justice. I've already done one thing that I'm not allowed to do. I don't think you should give me these, Tom. I really want another, these. We've got another bus. Can I pinch that? that? Yeah. Wow, okay. Amazing. Last 10 minutes, well, last nine minutes, less than that, but um, wow. You saved the best to last here. I honestly do not feel worthy to be able to bring these to air. Um, under a thousand pounds to start, Natural multicolour freshwater pearls. Opportunity for split pay there as well. These are absolutely huge. Wow. And the colours. <gasps> it is single figures opportunity. Um, we only have, Tom's told me the number, and I kind of feel like I shouldn't say it, but I'm going to just to let you know. We only have seven. Seven opportunities. Um, this is... Incredible. I talk about this quite a few times when I managed to come um, and present to you, but some of the pearl buying that our team have been able to do, or sourcing, I should say, has been absolutely phenomenal. And I know that you, our valued and loved um, audience, have managed to grab some heirloom pieces, some absolutely incredible heirloom pieces. Um, Charlie Barron, um, who you saw on Sunday, um, obviously bought you some fantastic pearls. I know that he, yesterday, um, sold a pearl necklace for 50 grand. Wow. He hand-delivered it yesterday. Yeah, you would, though. Hand-delivered it yesterday. 50 grand. Wow. Pearls and the pearl market at the moment is at an incredible point. <sighs> and just to say... The one person who is our validator of whether pearls are incredible or not has just bought one. So Anne, <laughs> our in-house guest designer, the Anne seal of approval right here. Can we have a clock, please, Olu? I shouldn't be anywhere near this because the price points that I would suggest shouldn't be right. Tom, can you just repeat that for me, please? I need to not be sitting here. As you know, Tom, I, I'll just give you what's going on here. I'll put this here. Tom has said 179. He said 179.99. I don't often do what Tom says, do I? No. But I'm not supposed to do this, Scott, are the words that he just said to me now. Um, okay. Tom, just to check, say it again. Okay. No, not doing that. So 149.99. Go for it. Arrows are on. Um, just to let you know, 
behind the scenes, we, that shouldn't be on split pay at that price point either. But grab that and four split pays. So that's only £37.25. Marie, Anne, Belinda, Heather, Claire, Maker, Maker. If everyone checks out, that is over allocated. That is incredible. Thank you so much. Hayley? I'm gutted I've missed out. <laughs> <laughs> Claire, Belinda, Karen, Anne, thank you so much. Tom, can we just pop that quantity on screen just to show the people who are in their baskets just that how incredible this is? We have five opportunities, four opportunities. We've got 90 seconds on the show. Please do not leave this in your basket. This will be oversubscribed, over allocated, and will not be an opportunity you can get again. We, as a team, are going to go to China to go pearl buying again. I don't think we'll be able to bring things back at this price point. 149, two chances. Alan, Claire, Maker, Gloria, Linda. If you're thinking about it, please do grab it because I wouldn't want you to have remorse when it's gone. That's another one gone. We're the last one now. Thank you so much. Thank you, Hayley. Thank you. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. Um, On behalf of everybody else. Thank you for looking after us. Um, thank you for joining us. Thank you for um, everything. Hayley, thank you for your masterclass. Thank you for thank you. Uh, being on the show. We're about um, to hand over to the team at Hobby Maker. Dave's waiting in the wings. I can see him. Hello. You're right. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Scott. I've had We've fun. We've got 30 seconds. That's had a great time. To, um... Um, <laughs> if you don't want to see me again, please text in. Um, <laughs> I don't often do this, um, but thank you so much. Uh, yes. We've got 20 seconds left. Please do check out that last pearl. We're going to go to a break now. I've completely misjudged the county. <laughs> bye, everyone. Say bye, Hayley. Bye. See you later. <laughs>